the original purpose and principle of personal leadership. You are like the kingdom power of self-government. I want everyone to listen very carefully. Self-government, the original purpose and principle of personal leadership. Your life is your call. And your calling always has life in it. All right. Welcome to the world class. I am Noble, Miguel Mario, Tunica Bay, Moorish American Muslim, consecrated and appointed missionary in the Moorish Science Temple of America. And today it's about the smoke. Today might be a long one, nigga. We're gonna get big big mic drop gonna be in here in a minute. Um fuck it, let's get into it. Let's start it off the right way. At the joke or the jester. Let's, let's start this off the right way. Yeah. Capitalism was started off of free labor. <laughs> the free labor of my ancestors, not yours. Give a okay. solution. Cool. But I don't agree with you. I don't think you should get shit. Okay. So that's my solution. You go back to your busty hole, you but keep complaining you about it, you run in the Victim Olympics, and you watch people like me that win. Nigga, that's the solution. Nigga. Let me keep fucking winning, man, and man. you sit over there, and you keep complaining in your Victim man. Olympics. That's my solution for you. I'm not worried about it. Fall back into that hole that you came from, and fuck you and your feelings. That's my solution. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days, bro. Definitely gonna be one of them days. The level of disrespect um, that me and bro had to incur this week is um, it's pretty telling. And um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm just taking my time. I'm taking my time. I seen this little fuck nigga coming from a mile away. Him and that little boy, uh, Jonathan Barronville. We're going to get to that little dipshit too. Um, there's a few things that I've said on these shows. And, uh, you know, I'm trying not to bring drama to other people's platforms, but it kind of started closer to around um, Mr. Palmer's show. But I mean, it's um, we're definitely gonna get into it today, man. It was gonna be one of those just going live for no reason, but as after I, after I set it up, you know, it was just sitting on my head, like you know, I'm not the type of dude to be indirect. I didn't want to, like, I didn't put none of these dudes' name in the title or whatever. Um, it's definitely in the metadata. You know, it's definitely tagged, and I'm just done with the fuck shit. It's just disrespectful. So we're gonna expose these cow these little clown coward little fuckers for who they really are. We're really waiting for um the big mic drop to come through so we can break this shit down. But one thing I can do <clears throat> before he get here is I bring up a, a, a certain video. Kind of where this door dude came to my radar. So I started seeing hearing this these talking points from um this Anton Daniels thing on the lead attorney show. That's when I first seen him. Let's get to it. Where we at, my nigga? Which one? Mm. Gotta find it. That's why I gotta keep doing streams. I, I gotta get familiar with So I got this shit up twice in one second. That's the problem with having so many fucking tabs. Okay. 
got you. All right. So let's do this. I'm going to have to mute out. So it ain't double playing. I can mute you here. And rush this shit right now. Go anywhere. Gotcha. All right, let's mute out. So this is where I first seen this dude, Anton Daniels. That's where it started for me. Um, so out the lead attorney, fair use. Um, until big mic drop you here. Uh, this is one thing I can do by myself. Because, you know, he was the most disrespected person. Um, and he was asked to come on a show just to be uh, ambushed. Uh, luckily, I was able to, I was available to hop on with him. Give him some support with some ambush type shit going on. This is when his dickhead, um, Anton Daniels, was, this is the first time I've seen this dude. And... Uh, yeah, man, you about to see it, bro. What's going on, brother Bernard? Facts and uncomfortable truth. We here. We here. Y'all heard what I heard? Did y'all hear what I just heard? Right? This is the level of intelligence that we're dealing with. How dumb are you to start off like that? I mean, let's just go back to that shit again. Big mic drop, what's up? Man, what up with you, man? How you doing, brother? I'm awesome. Can't good, complain. Good. Good, Pumped good. up, motivated, and excited, ready to win. Yeah, brother man. Bernard, you said you can't hear. Brother, when I play this, when I play this, can you can you tell me if you hear it? For me though, I take a little bit of I hear it. Okay. All right. Oh, that's yeah. our friend, huh? So it's just, it's just, I was just playing a little bit. We're going to jump there. We're going to jump to the other part. But watch this. Watch this part. Word. For me, though. I can't hear that part. I can't hear that part, no. You can't hear that? All right. I got to leave my mic. I'm trying to find a way where I'm not getting no echo. So I'm going to leave my mic on and see if we get an echo. Okay. For me, though. I take a little bit of a different approach in that I'm not focused as much on the visibility as I am on the content and information because I try to separate. Um, I try to be really, really divisive. I don't want ever. You heard it? I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> and I, I, believe, I believe him, by the way. I believe him, by the way. I just, I just, I just, when you don't know when to shut up, when you don't know when to shut up, when you when you when you in what you keep claiming somebody else is in when you in the echo chamber you don't realize how much you telling yourself yeah that's this the is, thing about talking bro like especially in the business that we in you know right. the more you talk the uh it's inevitable that you're going to contradict yourself at times the more you talk and the more you know with the passage of time so it at that point I think what the problem is, is people tend to like attach what they say to their ego and then they refuse to course correct 
when they do find out that they're wrong. So if we're going down the wrong path, you know, as opposed to me wanting to be damn right all the time and just continue going down the wrong path because I want to be obtuse and make myself feel better, I will course correct. Fine. What up, Bernard? Hey, man, share this stream, bro. This is one of them days. It's going to be one of them days. The day I got time, cuz. I got time, cuz. All day. I've been, I've been, I've been I'm doing the best I can to avoid these niggas and, and still with me. When the hat come off, you know you're ready to work. No, I'm going to change the hat up, man. Oh, okay, really? That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, that, that hat was navy blue, man. I like the, you know, I got the black yeah, and white yeah. fire history, yeah. white and black yeah. fire history teacher shirt you on. Know, you know what you got to throw on when it's, when it's when it's time to rough somebody up. Yeah, exactly. It's intellectual, you know. We're not going to threaten nobody's life. We, we nah, adults, nah, you know nah. what I mean? We're just playing. Not, nah, not playing. We're not playing, but we, you know what I'm saying? But we definitely going to get to this. I just want to go over this so we can get a clear understanding of what we're dealing with. Um, with this fucked up little mentality. Hey, let me let me get my J's put on too, man. Let me, let yeah, me, put I, on I, usually, I usually do shows with Jordans on for those who wonder. I, I always, you know, got it. We do that like, bottom half. Yeah, I feel like if you're gonna win, man, you know what I'm saying. You got to be dressed to win. That's right. Yeah. So even though you can't see the bottom half, it's some. The bottom half does something to the top half. I'm with it. Yeah. Let's get it. For me, though, I take a little bit of a different approach in that I'm not focused as much on the visibility as I am on the content and the information. <clears throat> I try to separate. Um, I try to be really, really divisive. I don't want everybody. I only want a, a group of people, right? I'd rather have a hundred people that really, really rock with me, that really get it and really want to learn, than ten thousand people that just casually tune in when I'm getting messy. See, this is. I want y'all to pay to close attention to how traders sound they sound great <laughs> they sound great all i gotta send the missus the link to the show appreciate it there we go yeah absolutely let me get her to put it out on uh, on the book too that's how they do bro they think everybody that's not rocking with them don't got connections and don't got a team probably uh everything on my channel i've been doing i'm just practicing not really trying to do that I, I am not really trying to do nothing other than perfect my skills so I can get my son's channel up. My channel is just a practice channel. Even if this go right. down, it's just that's how it is for me in my mind. Right. It's about close to something like 300 subscribers. I'm not really. I already got a channel. That, I already got a few videos that did some good shit. I, I got off of it because that's not what I'm on. Right. I produce mainly original organic uh, content. Right. I'm not really trying to follow the trends. I could have jumped on all these trends that just happened. The Cam Newton shit. The um all this stuff, man. Even way back with the um what's that kid named the basketball player? The bus life dude. Kwame. Okay. I could have hopped on all of these things. I, I'm yeah. off all of them. I'm doing original content because it's for my child. Like I just mm -hmm. talked with him today. Well, yesterday. I'm like, we're gonna keep he got in the, I picked him up. He, he said, Dad, he said, he said, How many views I got? How many subscribers <laughs> I got? <laughs> Five. Yeah, yeah go get them going yeah. early. Yeah, you know what I mean, that's what I'm trying. To, <laughs> that's what I'm working to do. I'm using my channel to hone my skills so I can give it to him. Granted, it's not like I'm gonna be piss poor and I care for this, but it's actually to perfect my skills and deal with shit the real way. Right. So I really wasn't trying to engage in any fuck shit, but you know, if we doing this, we gonna do it. You know, same thing I would teach my son. Right. Um. So I've been doing my best to avoid this dude in this in, in conflict because how I talk, how I am, my research, you know, I, I get tempted to jump into these conversations and um because I hear the inaccuracies. Inaccuracies don't bother me, false information don't bother me as much as a person that's just being treacherous. Like the treacherous shit is what set me off. You being treacherous and you promoting treachery as if it's noble. Right. Nope. Noble is not my name, it's my title. I got it from another noble. I right. take this shit personal. Right. You know what I mean? I really do. I represent a lot of people who had my title before I 1,200 years, 5,000 years, people have had this title. One of the oldest titles in the world. So I take it serious. So I'm right. trying to throwing the word disingenuous around when ingenuous in, in ingenuous means noble. You throw that shit around and you say certain shit like this kid, like I'm I'm gonna show you, bro. I okay. want to go through this one video, then we're going to jump to when okay. you, you guys talk. Okay. But it's just, man, I I, I I, don't like traders, bro. 
That shit bothered me more than anything. I can't stand a traitor. And this dude is a traitor. He's just a traitor. He's proud of it. On the content and the information because I try to separate. Um, I try to be really, really divisive. I don't want everybody. I only want a, a group of people, right? I'd rather have a hundred people that really, really rock with me, that really get it and really want to learn, than ten thousand people that just casually tune in when I'm getting messy. You know what I'm saying? So I take a, a slightly different approach, and I find that to be a lot more. I think it's a lot more rewarding for me. And always, both financially, you know, because when I pull up, let's keep it a buck, Anton. Yeah. If you could snap your fingers and have a million subscribers, you could snap them right now. No. Well, I got to say something. I understand what he's saying when it comes to that, as far as, you know, dividing people out and taking <laughs> just a, a, a portion of the people and being able to grind that and make money and sell products. But here's the difference. Ain't nothing new under the sun. That's already been in, a, you know, a tactic that's been used. That's an old tactic. Thank you. You know, you got people that go for quality. It's called the quality versus quantity. Facts. Uh, and, and, and so you're not really doing anything different. Facts. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like saying I'm doing something different because I got a podcast. No, it, it's a million podcasts out here. It's a million live streams out here. I'm not doing anything different. I'm just doing my thing. I'm, and, and Palmer says this all the time on his show. Now, what do he say? I'd rather have a uh, hundred, a uh, hundred so a hundred killers than a, a thousand soldiers. That's what he said. He said I get that all day. But again, what I want to highlight is how traders use the same language that we use. You know what I mean? It right. sounds good, but when you already have said, you said divisive. That's what you said, right, Anton? And 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 that word it, that word has its own meaning. Once right. you once you drop that word, you can't spin the perception of the word that you just dropped. You dropped the word with the meaning, so now we know you're a divisive person. Facts. You said divisive. That right. don't mean quality. Right. You know what I'm saying? The the right word to use if you want to say quality would probably be polarizing. Therefore, you still tough. get to you still get to keep your same qualities. And realize that hey what i say may divide people on different sides of the line right you know what i'm saying and that's you still get a chance to keep and keep the integrity of your quality facts but you know i'm not subscribing to anything divisive that doesn't it, make it, it, especially if it's self self self-proclaimed divisiveness or divisiveness whatever you know whatever word they like to say that's another word that's used too much in my opinion though but you know i let's, digress let's jump back a sec Let's jump back a sec because this is he emphasized this part we i stopped and you talked at the same exact time <laughs> well i stopped that you you jump right in there because it, it, it i do like again he's this dude is a system guy and i'll explain what i mean by that in a, in a little later but you're using you already said it you're using shit you're not using nothing that's new no. you're talking about shit that everybody already knows right the lead attorney i'm gonna put up another video that's where i first recognized this dude i had said this i pulled up the wrong video but this is the most recent video where before lead attorney was at like maybe 40,000 subscribers now he's at 137 so he in his he in his face you know what I mean right, he right. rubbing shoulders with Kevin Samuel so he in a different spot I was right. watching this again uh, let's, 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 let's keep it up, yeah. if you could snap your fingers and have a million subscribers you could snap them right now no I wouldn't because I make more money with 97,000 subscribers <laughs> Now, how could you honestly say that unless you've already had a million subscribers and then you lost it and, and now you're back at 97,000 and you actually got the data to prove that? Yo, you see what I'm saying? Yo, just that fast, bro. I want to be divisive. Everybody know he's on some fuck shit. This kid is out of control, bro. Now, I asked him something when he came on, when, when I was on his uh, platform. And I guess that's his platform. I didn't even know who the guy was and I, I wasn't introduced. But, um, you know, when he said something, when I asked him, you know, where did you get these numbers from? Like he, he got pissed off at that point in time when I asked him just to qualify or give me some kind of, you know, cite, cite your sources. This isn't it, this isn't information that you've compiled yourself. So right. cite the sources, um, you know, as a historian. You know, person that does a lot of writing and stuff like that, historical writing and whatnot, you have to cite your sources. If you don't cite the source, man, then you're either plagiarizing or you're making up shit. Facts. 
you have to cite your sources. Yeah, plagiarism but is real. When y'all go through my video, my I always given the sources as much as I can remember. If I didn't, it's probably by mistake. I always get where I got my shit from. Because right. that's that, that helps another researcher go and check behind you. When you when you put claims out like I did with the anti-Mary concept, you, you need right. to, you need to be you get notarized because you because of peer review. Right. Because you have other people with credible skills or, cre or or the credentials them, themselves that go, yeah, this is good work. You know what I mean? Well, you invite mm -hmm. peer review when you're yeah. in, this, in this in this business. It's something that you want. Right. You're gonna, let's jump to that video. Let's get off of this. Okay. Let's get off of this because I, I can play that a little later or do that by myself. Let's hop to where he came in at. I just gotta look for it. It might be this one. That might be it. It's this one. Yep. All right. Take this off for a minute. Now that's talk, JB. Hey, JB, wait, wait, don't want to talk. JB, don't talk for me, JB. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Anton. Anton. So, 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 no, so I had I had jumped. I had jumped. I had already played that part. Oh, Tom, that's your homie, JB. That's your homie. I already played that. I already, <laughs> I had, I kind of I kind of led with that. <laughs> uh, where we was going with it, you know how they do on the, you know they they show the sensational part and then they and then we go through it. But he, yeah, what's going? Um, what's up, Mister Goodbread? Somebody laughs at your point. If there is any time during I, the year I to show. be praying pray for the open. salvation of Jew that's on me. It comes from a a the mindset or I'm what getting. is implied is a superiority. It's like a king laughing down at the joke or the jester. But he's talking about what we talked about um, on your show, how they was all, you know, laughing at. That's when we came in at this point. Right, where, right. Where, where, where you saying something and all of them laughing. I ain't up there at this point. Right, right. And, um, I don't even think we're going to get to that. And I don't really want to go over my shit because the disrespect to you and this was in the, the sabotage, I mean, ambush type shit was going on. And he that's way in the morning, dude, he didn't talk, but he was with them too. He on the same shit that they on, right? Right. You really sitting there outnumbered, even if you want to count uh, cheeky, you outnumbered four to one. I wasn't worried. I didn't. I never perceived it like that, and I think that's something important to understand. Mm -hmm. What you got to understand is, I already know I'm polarizing. I already know I don't. My message doesn't go for certain people. Certain people can't get my message. Certain mm -hmm. people can't absorb the message, and and it's fine. This was an expose. <laughs> And, and just to keep it a buck, I still walk with 10% of your followers that day. Facts. They subscribed to me. Facts. We had about 438 in the, in the chat. I got about 40 more subscribers. So if I walk into Mickey D's and I take 10% of the Mickey D's human capital when I walk in there and get a cheeseburger, I won. Oh, God. You didn't get 40. You didn't get 10% of my followers, even though I ain't got that many followers. But everything is done with intention, bro. I'm a very mm -hmm. intentional person. So I never looked at it as an ambush. I don't know who none of them niggas are. Don't know and really don't care. Jonathan invited me on. I really just thought it would be me and Jonathan. But, right. you know, I, I can I can rock. I like a party. And I'm a big boy. I can handle my own. But what we look at is how I, how I look at things is I got to be responsible for the young dudes coming behind me. You guys got to be mindful how other people rock, how they make stuff look. Like dudes can give you some art, some 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 game like shit a hundred, but then you walk into some shit that ain't. That's not it. Like you said, you y'all wouldn't even introduce conversation ain't even start. And then you as Bernie being a person that he gonna say later, I can nuke this whole thing. I don't even know who I'm talking to. I don't know what's going on, and ain't nobody introduced me. Little shit like that, I'm gonna point out throughout this video. But right. most people not like Big Mike. Most people not like you know you're a rarity. I'm not you. You six foot six. You already in the top one, two, five, what three percent on the planet anyway. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you the way you look at shit is completely different now how the rest of us look at it. I'm five eleven, a little above average, but I'm still within that same range. I've had a, I've had the advantage of having a bird's eye view most of my life, brother. Facts, facts. And some people got to just do that mentally. But um, yeah, let's get into this, bro. Like today we got time, cuz. <laughs> oh, I got time. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, fam, you're expecting me, right, to receive what you just did 
and give you the same understanding that you didn't give me mm, and again right. i understand i understand you and the last point came, and the last y'all's came, point is i don't right. care about my tone i'm gonna say what i say chew the meat speak the spit the bones and all i'm saying is i'm cool with that but just because i'm cool with it don't mean other people is and right. i can't get mad at them for not being cool with it and big mike when i was laughing that was the point like it's just I was laughing in a sense of like, oh, you don't know, no, know, know what like what we were talking about, and that's where it was coming from. It wasn't saying, like, ha, look at you, dumb fool. That's nah, not man, what look, I was coming from. Look, that's man, I, I've been all over the world, bro. I got that, you know. I'm saying I've studied this stuff extensively. I, I'm fine. I, I, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, yeah, I'm yeah, secure, yeah. I'm secure with what I know. I'm not going to continue argue with nobody because, like, if I mean, look, some of the things are intellectually dishonest, like I said. It, it, it's coming from a place of intellectual dishonesty right. to say you know our history and this and that all of that's condescending you see what i'm saying to, to, to sit up and even say that to somebody if i showed up in haiti and said that mm -hmm. they should kick my ass bro they to say that i know you i know the history to say you know our history yeah that's kind of because i'm gonna tell you honestly most of real legitimate black history comes from oral history you're not going to learn that going to these white folks schools looking in their damn books i don't give a damn what your gp what, what makes you think and what you're saying is true <laughs> it's facts and, and and that is the reason they burnt the books that we had back in the day that's why that's the reason they separated us from our elders and everybody that study his history knows that like you keep saying pick up you got to look at the footnotes that's why i keep saying etymology part saying syntax because you're not going to get the real history unless you do this this Thought, unless you do this extensive thought process you have to actually perceive it yourself because you can't read what's missing right which is what i did to him later in the video i read right. what you're not saying like we got a great historian in our community and he do this he do exactly what you're saying all the time and exactly what you pointed to the oral history is a real history from one to the next right because our, our, our great grandparents and grandparents had no reason to lie to us facts I don't have like books by black scholars but dude nothing is real but oral history I'm saying oral history is the realest shit that we got we couldn't so even I read. directly we couldn't, heard the history. we couldn't even read much less write for hundreds of years right so, so the, unless oral I direct, history, so, the oral history and just having that in so big Mike, if you wrote if you wrote a book if you wrote a book right now on the history of you know Alabama right should I just not read it since bullshit disingenuous question to say that one thing is real it's not to say to discard the other thing it's just right. saying one is primary go to your primary and you mentioned it. i don't even know i shouldn't even cut you because you're about to say it now it's not no old. you should you should read the book but i'm gonna tell you a real historian reads the footnotes but i'm asking you should no, i read a your real book? historian reads the footnotes should i read your book? book though you should but you should read the footnotes more important what <laughs> do you understand footnotes See, so like, well, stop that right there. Yeah, yeah. Because somebody that's well versed in history, you don't have to continue repeating that. That's an, a, an affirmative. Mm -hmm. You bring up footnotes or end notes, that's an affirmative. There's nothing else to say after that, man. You know, that's a fact. If you're so well versed in history, you see, one thing that's happening is people are saying one thing and doing another. We used to call it talking out of both sides of your neck. Facts. It's called talking out of both sides of your neck. Either we know history or we don't. If we don't and we're saying we know it, that's disingenuous. Mm -hmm. If we know it and saying we don't, that's disingenuous. And, and, and you know, just fall back. That's all you really got to do. When I'm in a position to where I'm outwitted or outmatched or with somebody that's a professional, I'm going to fall back and learn. Facts. That's just me personally. I'm going to fall back and learn. Right. I'm not going to allow my ego to block any blessings and when it comes to going in rooms i would say this keep on going we'll talk we'll talk about that yeah later. yeah 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 it's it's, it's we, listen keep on going yeah we, we got time cuz yeah. today we going there yeah let me go get yeah. a drink real quick yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let go, me go, go ahead go ahead i'll go ahead. be right back let me let me um hook up the chat cuz we got some new people in the chat um my god mr Bread, what you howling but you talking about folk about to get you up here Bro, if you want, if you um, Mr. Goodbread, if you still on and you wanna, you wanna come up. I mean, I don't know if you wanna deal with all this. You don't have to. 
um just hit me on a book bro and uh i can send you the link we're gonna go in before we open a, uh, open the lines bro said um um and put your link in uh, the description too so people can check you out bro um uh, mr goodbread show romans 15 verse 4 for for whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope one second i'm with it bro let me read that again uh, my son came in real fast for whatever was written in former days was written for our instructions that thou that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope on god so we got mr what is this who who watches the watchman mr real estate they got a lot of videos about you buddy a lot of stuff on uh you you, you kind of on this group too bro from another perspective you say oh don't forget the antwat claims black culture is trash and black pun oh yeah i know about all that like this this kid how y'all go about it is not how i'm going about it i don't care about his money i don't care about his his uh none of that just his talking points i'm a researcher i don't care about the doxing i don't care about the personal shit. I care about what you say in public and because this is not a who spends more money contest or who got what contest that shit does not matter right but yeah i'm definitely aware of his mindset and the shit that he says i've watched him for a while i'll look before i leave um mr real estate says jb falls in the category of dusty immigrants that talks about that talks shit about foundational black americans <laughs> I, i'll say this here about uh old buddy with the um saying black culture's trash yeah if you look behind him like i keep pointing this out just look behind him mm -hmm. all you see is black culture i wish i could i wish i could squeeze let me let me put that up that's all you see is black culture behind him that's right. what he actually values apparently yeah it's there for y'all to see because most people put their shoes in the closet and where i'm from in uh our culture it's bad luck to put shoes above head level wow wow i've never bad, that's crazy juju, but he say he don't believe in luck but it's actually bad juju to have shoes above yeah, he head. Just said that. that's why people don't put their shoes in the top of their closets yeah i've never done that we've always been on the floor right or in a little shoe rack i've right. never done that usually right. usually by the door and so right you won't try to do the carpet and shit like that yeah <laughs> right i mean that's just a little that that that's neither here nor there but yeah. the main the main point is black culture is obviously what he values but he said it's trash though yeah. he, mr brilla said he ain't lying about that he got some other stuff going on with him but uh he ain't lying about that he did say that definitely said that all right let's do let's jump back into it. i was just reading um comments um shout out the game of lives matter that's tribe that's tribe you with the village appreciate you bro glad to see you up i know you've been gone for a minute shout out shout out um, to gail too i see her out there too shout out to gail shout out to gail always 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 she be doing her thing bro she was up like one o'clock two o'clock in the morning helping people oh yeah let's rock let's see where we at with this let's do it <laughs> but oh buddy maybe we can get on the joint. of course i understand but no. oh, okay do you understand what the footnote signify that's that's your that's your primary resource so then you go back to your primary resources and you make the determination for yourself that's research and methodology and for y'all that's listening bro you know he went to college he has you have a degree in history well part not... degree in history my, my degree was mainly in sociology so i i pretty much double major okay you know what i mean not, so it's not just coming from a person like like me who just privately he got the credentials i i just know how to study privately and i, I know how i come to the same conclusion they come to so it's not just haphazard information you know what i mean um i know when people go through my research <coughs> you find out the shit right but everybody not like me so when you have people involved in the conversation trying to challenge you immediately trying to invalidate you because the point i was about trying to point out the thing i was about to point out with jb is that you saying you he tried to invalidate you try to get you to go because you value the footnotes oh yeah that mean don't don't read the books that's not what he said man mm. if you had a book on Alabama then I shouldn't read it that's not what I'm saying you bought books you value the books you want to feel like you involved in the conversation because you got the books great 
but if somebody else is saying something on a different level in terms of oral history that that doesn't negate all the books you bought right. and I, I only bring that up <laughs> not bad i need to drink when i say let's get some water the only bring that up is because it's a theme with them because i've invested this way everybody got to be bonded and limited and come down this way so i can be important well if you're listening to what Tariq nasheed is doing and what Tariq nasheed is exposing uh, on these twitter spaces and other people like the black authority it's a bunch of people on these twitter spaces what they're doing is they're exposing the mentality of these people yes they're not doing anything different than any other groups of american hating immigrants are doing it's all about undermining and it's all about using whatever tactic you can use it doesn't matter how how shady or you know or or or, or um unscrupulous the tactic is they'll use it in order to get a one up and a leg up on the situation they're inherently the they're um, basically the buffers of white supremacy they're the main portrayers and the main uh people that are helping white supremacy manifest in the black community right now it's it's, it's black people facts they if like they would be the dude that's talking about the gun line they would have been the overseers those would have been the niggas they brought in to make sure no other niggas escaped the net they they are modern day adunga men they talk about benin and ghana these were the areas before benin and ghana exist where you had kings and rulers african kings and rulers who sold their own people to the europeans that's what right. an adunga man is a king who sells his sold his people into slavery right between 1400 and um the end of the 15 the end of the 1400s and the mid 1550s around that time frame these are right. dunga men because it was granted it was just business it, i don't like to say it like that because it's kind of it was it was common practice to engage in indentured servitude but they sold their people out in slavery even though they knew how they was what, what was going down right yeah well it's all type of it's all type of um connections there man it's a christianity connection yes as well you know it's it's it's, it's very it's very confused not co confusing it's just a lot of moving parts you you need to be you, it's just it's again yeah it's a lot of moving parts there's a lot of factors of course a lot of things were happening on that yeah, west coast of africa during that time period yes. yes but to say that you've done that in its entirety is intellectually dishonest bro it's dishonest that i've read it's a intellectually lot dishonest it's intellectually you, dishonest. Ignored, you know how you notice because how he, he knows for a fact you haven't done my bad so then you realize how he ignored the whole word he took the word intellectually out of it right you, you see this is how i, I never mind go ahead let's no, no, no 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 i don't, let's, let's I, don't go back. I don't want to say what i was about to say but just go back and listen to just the the, the lack of listening skills it's either total disrespect yes or it's either dismissiveness or just the lack of listening skills trying to run a narrative because you ignore the whole word that I said before dishonest. Mm -hmm. That's the only word you heard. So then you go back to your primary resources and you make the determination for yourself. That's research and methodology. But to say that you've done that in its entirety is intellectually dishonest, bro. It's dishonest that I've read. It's a intellectually lot of dishonest. It's intellectually dishonest. Because you know for a fact you haven't done it, and we know for a fact you haven't done it. And your point is always my point, bro. That we got the I, I, I see why we so that's the that shit irks me when you are bumping your fucking gums, but you know you ain't did the work. You know good and goddamn well you ain't did the work. Shout out to Gail. You, but you know something, but honestly, man, that's the spirit in the black community that they buck out against and say it's trash, but it's that exact same spirit. Facts. No, you have not done the work. You haven't laid the groundwork. It's a victim mentality. Only thing they're searching for is comfortable spaces within their oppression. Yes. It's a sister in um the UK named Kenny. And she <laughs> she said this to me. It might you might notice the saying she's a little older. She was like, she said, our people, she from um Angola. She said, our people, um, <laughs> Just want their turn to hold the whip yeah. instead of and they and they want the whip to, to like them you know they get an opportunity they just want the opportunity to hold the whip 
and for it to like them, just like uh, um, just like the white man. Look at what's going on in their countries. That's a telltale sign. There's no oh. separating yourself from where you're from. Thanks. Look what's going on in their countries. Look how nobody can really go to their countries and have fun and really be safe and have a good time. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. But everybody mm -hmm. can come to our country and, and, and carve out a place and, and, and kind of be cool. But we we the pieces of shit. You, you understand? Like nobody's going on vacation to these places. He got um without yeah, getting, yeah, without getting the and... or, or 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 getting sick because the water's fucked up. You know, getting bit by something and and dying over that motherfucker. Like don't nobody want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't give a fuck. I never go to Africa, bro. I'm Ever. Going, I can't. I don't care. About I never go to Haiti. I, I care more about my niggas here. I care more about getting Baltimore up and doing what I can do here. Exactly. This city raised me. I care more about that. This city raised me. It, exactly. And then you know what I will do? I go spend money with white folks in Sardinia in Europe, where I'll be relatively safe if I want a <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Cause they don't fuck with us, but I, I hey, we got to get into that too, man. But that and that's what's crazy about it: the disrespect that you receive in this video when this was supposed to be about FBA and immigrant relationship. That's what's crazy about it, and this this it, is this would give illustrated them... it. Thank you. It illustrated. It was a perfect painting. It was a perfect picture, all the way down to the brother on the left not even being able to acknowledge what his lineage is. Facts. That nigga so ashamed, he won't even tell you where he from. <laughs> bro, <laughs> this is why they so comfortable, bro. This is why the immigrants is, are so comfortable being disrespectful. Now, it's, it's not, it's a, I, bro, I, I can honestly say I've had, when I just say immigrants are so broad, because you're talking about the rest of the world that come here, right? Right. Um, and the problems I have, it's no different from niggas here. It's the niggas. The ones that are supposed to be us is the ones I have the most, the biggest problem with. Because yeah. the Indians, they fuck with me. The Arabs, because I'm Muslim, they fuck with me. Right. Uh, the Sikhs, um, it, I said Indians already. Arabs, yeah. I mean not Arabs, um, Asians, I don't have no problem with them. Koreans, they assholes. But they do business and they stay out your way. They That's the thing I like about other immigrants. They stay out your way. They stay yeah. out your way. They really Although do. you have a lot of Asians in our culture in our hood making money from them, that's a whole that's a conversation. I I would think if we was talking about immigrants, we would be worried more about them. I would I say I should say I should hope I would hope, but how disrespectful I'm gonna say mainly the, the sparehead is Nigerians. How they order us, you just it just distracts. But the, but, but you, at the end of the day, at at the end of the day, bro, they're they're like really a non-factor. That is true. There is they're really a non. <laughs> I think that's what the problem is now the now the italian immigrants the irish immigrants these people that come in are actually could really truly be threats because they actually gain power and actually get a power base because they know how to use you that white I'm saying? like black immigrants ain't really coming gaining power they parceling mm -hmm. out jobs to them niggas just like they parceling out jobs to foundational black americans yes you know they're not getting these motherfuckers ain't coming over and just getting you know, just to getting it like that. It's just, right. They're just not. They may come over and get a job. They may come over and open a restaurant. They may come over and open a store. You know, something of that nature. But, you know, ain't nobody really looking to their community for leadership and economic leadership. Right. We cherry pick the things we like and we keep it pushing. Throw on a Kente cloth for <laughs> Black History Month and keep it pushing. Thanks. Right. We don't value y'all shit. Y'all don't value y'all shit. Hmm. Proof is in the pudding. Let's cook. It just be a tool. Mike, I have a whole library of all just books on Black history. Okay, tell me some. What what did the what did the last slave ship come into? In oh, the wait, 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 don't no, jump wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Y'all just watching, you've seen that. <laughs> Y'all may not understand. So this is on the Lapeef Network. 
um jonathan jb the one that's in the middle top uh middle um it's supposed to be his show he's usually his guest some other panelists or whatever dude at the bottom left is anton daniels he and um Le uh i about to call him the jr uh is the other dude with the beard and the glasses um and that's mainly their show i think they got some business relationship they you know they do a good podcast overall uh so like i put in my description jb is like anton's little protege so what you just watch <laughs> you watch you you watch the older dude the older little uh dark lord try to help the younger little apprentice dark lord from like jedi and shit not walk into a path where he's gonna get his ass whipped so he's there to protect him and if you just made a claim that you got these books and his your claim was challenged which i love in law shout out to my guy um true freeman when you make a claim a counter claim has to be put with it so you countered his claim oh actually well, it's actually proof of claim he said okay proof of claim let me throw a little thing he was sitting there like i can't prove it and you gave him something to prove it so he, he jumped in there to save him see i just i like stuff like that just qualify yourself i mean if you tell me that then then by all means I, I, I'll concede if you if you have a point. Because you say you had a lot of books. All right. Oh, you all got right. all the books. You know all the history. All right. Whatever I bring up, you already know it. So prove you know it. Stop running off at the mouth when you ain't did the leg work. Hey, man, look. It, it, this is the result of a lot of single mother. And, and if your father taught you how to act like this, he ought to be ashamed of his goddamn self. <laughs> you said it before I could. Well, this dude, Anton Daniels, gives so many, so much single mother vibes. It's, it blows my mind. The, the feminine mannerisms, the, yeah. the, the, the dismissiveness, yeah. that I'm nothing is important. I, I'm I'm the only one. It's just me. Like, that's all single mother shit. Yeah, absolutely. Are y'all... Are y'all just are y'all arguing over tone or y'all arguing about I'm not worried what the fuck did tone have to do with what was stated? I mean, let's let me go back. Let me go back. Because I I'm I i do not know how an adult and who just turned 40 that day. I'm 36. I don't know how an adult would come up with that with respect to the series of questions prior to that statement. Prior to his question. We know for a fact you haven't done it. It'll just be a tool. Mike, I have a whole library of all just books on black history. Okay. Tell me something. What what did the what did the last slave ship come into? In wait, 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 it's a divisive ass uh question. It's it's it, it reeks of disingenuousness. I'm talking about it, it was word. really just it, and I'm gonna tell you why it threw me off because it was totally unrelated. It was just a random ass question. Had We're talking about footnotes. You do you see these people's inability to understand what's being said? It had nothing to but do with anything. If you say black culture trashy, then you you show up with a wall full of Jordans and Yeezys, you obviously not really. Of uh, observing of your background before you open your mouth, because tennis shoes or sneakers, however, whatever your culture is, we say we say tennis shoes here in Baltimore. Some I'm surprised Detroit let him slide this long. <laughs> Just to be honest, Asians. That's not an Asian thing to have tennis shoes or sneakers. That's not a. That's not a. It's not a rich people thing. That's what's crazy. I mean, rich. It, it, it costs a lot, but they don't. Who made buying tennis shoes popular? We did. The right. same culture you said was trash. Right. Like his thing, what he just did is what he always do. Let me bond and limit and restrict the conversation down to where I think I'm right. It's getting out of my mind. It's getting out of what I can, what I'm I can uh, conceive. It's getting out of my scope. So let me bring it back in. Let Let's restrict it. the conversation. Facts. Yeah, That's absolutely. Exactly what's going on. That's yeah, the same. If you, you want to follow behind somebody like that, man, ain't really nothing I could do for you. I ain't got that's no on, And that's on you. Go over there. Yeah, go over there and rock your shit, pop your shit, then your bag, enjoy it. Go in. I'm not making go get your bread. One thing I never do in life, get your bread with whoever you rock with who you gonna rock with. But me and mine, I'm gonna be like, hey, if y'all ask me, don't fuck with that clown shit. But if you want to go over there, go over there. Me and mine, they like if I say something, 
I know that nigga. If he say he fuck, he a fuck nigga. He a fuck nigga. The people in my circle know that. I don't say shit for no reason. Because anybody in my circle, let's talk about getting money. Let's let's talk about moving forward. What you got to do with your health? Where you at? Is the girl letting you see your baby? And I, we on we on that type of time. Right. I'm always looking to help people go go. You know, move up. Right. And the reason I'm like that is because. I know you got dudes like him that's not like that. They want to drip feed you information and leave you dependent on them. Me, I'm gonna take you to this. Now, if I only take you to, the, I'm gonna show you how to create your own stream. I ain't gonna take you to the water hole. So I'm gonna show you how, where the water comes from, and you have that opportunity. So if I'm dead, I need my thing is to make another one, make another me, somebody that's competent, somebody that can't be fucked with. Right. I need I need a bunch of shadows and ghosts that can create a culture from nothing. That's what I want. When I was in corporate America, man, I was extremely successful. In corporate America with what I was doing. Not gonna mention the company, but it motherfuckers a cash register. I just say that. So anyway, my goal was always to do this because I when I was coming up through the ranks when I was young and in college, I was coming up through the ranks in this certain company. And I had, you know, people, black women, you know, white women that were over me that always tried to hold me back. But then something would happen to them and they were bound to the job. It was like a ball and chain to them because mm -hmm. they weren't sharing any information. They weren't Facts. spreading any information. Facts. So what I did is I just took it and flipped it on his head. And I'm like, okay, if that didn't work, then this must work. You know, just, you know, deducing that this must work. So what I'm, my job is to do this. My job is to train as many people in everything I know <laughs> so I can sit back and my day literally consists of not doing shit. Facts. I, I sit see. back, I get the same check. Actually the check got bigger because everybody was on point everybody was on code everybody knew how to do the job everybody knew how we got paid everybody knew how to extract money from different avenues in this in this in this uh business model right. nobody was making any mistakes that was costing us money that came from training and training comes when you're not afraid for somebody to know more than you facts because Absolutely. real leaders you don't have to know every damn thing to be the real leader bill mm -hmm. gates doesn't know how to do half of that shit that he get paid off of elon musk doesn't know how to build a car he doesn't know how to build a rocket he's a leader he knows how to motivate and arrange and organize people facts he has the vision he sets the vision out there and then he organizes the people mm-hmm to execute the job and it's a it's a clear distinction when you got that that model versus this bullshit be watching here right let's get back let's get to it bro yeah, why do you care you about tom she hold up no miss amber backing you up definitely yeah absolutely real leaders surround themselves with smart people facts yeah smart absolutely people. people that think before they move i spent 15 minutes telling my five-year-old that he was he was he had my bracelet and he was twisting it up i'm like bro you can't twist up my stuff man you gotta right. think i'm gonna ask you stuff I'm not you're not in trouble i'm talking to you so you can think you gotta think before you move you know what i mean hey put her next comment up there because we were talking about that this morning. if you the smartest in the room the room is too small facts facts absolutely i never enter a room wanting to be the richest or the mm -hmm. smartest person in the room because people gonna do one or two things ask you a bunch of damn questions or ask you for a bunch of money Fact. I like to fit in. I like to fit in. I want to learn something. I want value. I want to soak something up. So I'm trying to be in a room with everybody that's richer and smarter than me. Indeed. I yeah. guess it might be a height thing. It, it <laughs> may just literally be a height thing, dog. I'm five eleven. I do the same thing. Don't be bothering me, bro. Like. <laughs> I'm, I do the same thing, man. I, and I was taught to do that. I, so was taught that. I had to be taught that it was okay. You know what I mean? My mentor taught me it's okay. Yeah. I used to say, man, I'm trying to be like you. He said, man, you're going to be 10 times better than me. Exactly. That shit all the time. All the time. And I, I just, I learned from a great leader. I know what real leadership looked like. Oh, what you caught me drinking that? What's that? A Red Bull? Yeah. Caught me drinking the Red Bull, getting, getting powered up for the ass. <laughs> Shout out to Giddy. Appreciate you, bro, for subscribing. He said, salute to you too, uh, gentlemen. I rock with the mindset over here. Just subscribe, subscribe to you, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Thank, um, thank tap you. in, bro. It's a lot. It's a whole family in here. I'm glad to hit you. I'm gonna check you out. Um, can somebody hey. put his link in the description? Absolutely. I gotta right, say bro. this too. I hope they invite me back because I want to check out my month over month and year over year numbers. So y'all please have me back. Have Anton and the whole crew have them back because I'm gonna see if I can't get twelve percent. 
next time. Facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that ROI, ROI. Yeah, hey, what? Hey, we got to get that. We got to check out that MOM and that year over year. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? KPIs. Facts. I don't personally care about tone, right? Because I've, I've, I, I have had criticism from my father, and there's things that have built me up for thick skin, right? But it seems like people don't understand why black people have an issue when people communicate in a tone or a manner of dismissive <clears throat> superiority. That's it. That's that. The first word, superiority. I can understand it. I can. I can honestly be okay with the sense of superiority from another race because that's what you're supposed to think. You pulls we, we competing, but the dismissiveness, I can't. Di that shit, but that shit burns me up. I, and my other people may be different on you. May be different on that. You may not like either one of them. I can tolerate the superiority thing because I have that mentality. But when the man dismissed his own people, that's when, that's when he when he dismissed his own grandmama, aunts, cousins, granddaddies, great granddaddies. When he dismissed all of them, that's not a value he has. So him dismissing me is is natural. Yes. See, I understand. That says more about you than me. See, what niggas want to do is niggas want to try to make you feel a certain way about you. Motherfucker, you can't make me feel no way about me. Facts. <laughs> you can't make me feel no way about me. And, and, and I'm dead serious. I am yes. so serious when it comes to that, bro. I give, man, I don't care. I wouldn't piss on them niggas if they was on fire. Gail said they'll bite. they bite you back, Big Mike. Did me, you, huh? Gail said they'll bite you back, Big Mike. Uh, did you want to go on Wednesday night? Yeah, whatever nights they got the highest people in the chat, so I can uh, so I can yeah. siphon some more subscribers. Flip them. Hey, support our moderators, man. Support the channel. Share, yeah, like, you, yeah. um, when you when you come in, if you're a content creator, let us know so we can check your stuff out. Whether you agree with us or don't, um, let's build a network and we can have um genuine conversations um and uh get our get, get this thing to another level you know it's been cool the kevin samuels jump but let's just raise this thing in terms of the accuracy and um the respect level um and let's get this thing to a genius level i like that genius level and to me it makes sense right, give me an example okay for example yeah yeah go ahead go ahead the example ahead. thing niggas always got to have an example in order to even be effective, don't give them niggas no examples. Make them niggas the example. You are the example, sir. You were the example. <laughs> you know, you know what? You know what don't give these niggas no examples because what they're gonna try to do is minimize it and turn it into isolated incidents. Then they're gonna start asking a bunch of hypothetical questions. And at that point in time, they just start filibustering. Go ahead. You know what I do with that? <laughs> I learned how to do what they're doing in sales. I learned that a long time ago. I think you mentioned it one time, the Toastmaster shit, um, the Tom Hopkins uh, shit, the Phil Felt Fine. John Maxwell, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, John, yeah. I, I, I learned how to do that shit, but what, what, what really changed my mind, and, and we're gonna see this too, is being, learning sales from the finance, or financial arena, financial, those guys are the best salesmen on the planet. Insurance agents, stock brokers, their skill set is extreme, is that, like my mentor taught me principles and when you come from a principle standpoint you all you have to do is equate and then ask questions i don't really need to do that example shit or that hypothetical shit now i learned how to do the hypothetical shit in, in sales because uh you, when you're selling finances you're selling responsibility not to say that all of them are responsible because some financial vehicles are fucking irresponsible i'm not gonna get into that right now right um but if I if I deal with you on a principal standpoint, which is what I've been putting on my my channel, if I if I just take that principle, if I equate your value system in another area, what will it work? Will it work? Then that tells me what what percentage I'm putting myself into. So when I see them try to give me an example, you're trying to compartmentalize it. Why are you compartmentalizing it when you can do the exact opposite? Use principle. If it's principle, then it will apply in almost every area. I can transfer that thing from one place to the next place to the next place to the next place. And what Everybody you see a lot of people have a macro mindset. They that's what I'm saying. That's exactly the point. A lot of people are microscopic in this world, 
and their minds are microscopic. And and so they're not going to be able. They got they have to break it down. I'm one of those people that's macro thinkers, but my mentor is a macro thinker too. But he taught me micro management. I had to understand that too. So you can you can reverse engineer it when you have micro thinkers. You have to get them to think macro. That's why right. I said what I said when I first jumped on this shit. It's not going to be on. I'm not even going to go over what when I jump in. But I I like that you highlighted that. Because when you know what they're gonna do and you see it, you can be like, that's the shit that that Noble and um the big mic drop was saying on his on their show. You'd be able to see that bullshit because they have to do that because you you don't you're not genuine. You and, just and, watch, you just he just listened to y'all talk about footnotes and then he said, Well, so so y'all asking about tone or that's why he didn't even have nothing nothing to compare it to. That nigga don't know what a footnote is. He don't he's not a researcher, right? You don't know he's what divisive. A shout out to, shout out to Cheeky, man. Hey, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeky, Cheeky held it down, man. Like I said, yeah. and, and I would say, Cheeky, don't don't be afraid to to grasp your lineage, bro. Yeah, don't don't be like them and be afraid to say where you from and, and, and where you come from, and what you're doing. It really don't. That's that's my only message to Cheeky. I appreciate Cheeky. <laughs> he was fair, and I think he was genuine. And I love when people are genu genuinely wrong. I can deal with that. That's fine. But when you got some bullshit agenda that you don't know, like like you said, intellectually irresponsible um, or neglectful, I can't tolerate that. When you know you ain't did the work. Right. If if somebody comes to this country, or let's say it's just you, and somebody gives their experience of what they've gone through, right? And then you go, Oh, that's cool, whatever. That's uh that's victim Olympics. Mm -hmm. I will un I would understand because they're human. Uh, getting upset because somebody dismissed what they think or uh, what they what they have experienced i can understand that right that's not foreign to me i may not agree with the action or how they respond to it but it's understandable right we seem to be we seem to be having a conversation and nobody's understanding why you know black people have get upset or emotionally charged or want or say certain things towards why are they upset and emotionally charged i still don't understand it because of again it's because of the tone it, it's because of the the so i didn't get into this but tone okay. tone is not just your voice tone is the thing he spoke to before i know we talked a lot between that um in terms of the superiority and the dismissiveness the tone of what you're saying a lot of uh, people take a, a certain tone with the syntax or the word order or the, or whatever it is that you're actually saying that's a part of tone it's like what what tone are you setting the, the tone you're setting with your statement like if you start with you know i'm the best nigga here so you know when you guys with like that when you start with a little shit like that your tone right there if you might say the gentle gentle but people don't just take tone as just how you know the volume of your voice what was you about to say no nah, no nah, go ahead nah, i'm listening i'm listening yeah that, that was that was it that was all i was saying on that i, I didn't bring that part up yeah, uh, and, and, and the thing about this too, man, as human beings, be careful when somebody tries to separate you from any feeling. See, emotion is just feeling. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you see, and, and with men, they want to try to shame you and be like, you're being emotional as if men don't have emotions. And they yeah. teach you to try to, they want you to suppress your emotions. But Again. I, I think it's going to be cool because after we show this, we will find out who actually got in their emotions by the end of this exchange. <laughs> Again, shout out, shout out to Mrs. Amber. Oh yeah, that's my Mrs. wife. That's your, oh yeah, that's my wife. I don't got no. I don't, man, hit the. Uh, <laughs> hit the. Hit the. Hit the <laughs> thank you. A clap. Which one you want? <laughs> all of it. That's my wife. You, you can see, you can see the wisdom. I appreciate it. Shout that's out. my wife. What's up, Mr. Yeah, this, up? This, this is my household. This what this what Big Mike got going on. This is what Big Mike is put in place. Right. The tone. And timing are both critical. I love that word critical. Yes. I love it because it it it's perfect. It's the tone, it's the timing. I would I would throw like I said, the words too, but the, when you if I'm in the middle of saying something and you saying something, it's like you're trying to invalidate me. But it's what I said before with, with, with respect to what you were just saying. This attempt to invalidate me by saying I'm emotional, which brings right. up your point to say that men have emotions too. So how is that an invalidation tactic that right. you're using? You know but I mean? we'll see who actually lost control of their emotion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's there. We got we're gonna get as, to it. As, yes. as this thing progresses, when people cannot go ahead, keep on going. We'll just keep going. We, we, <laughs> I, think it, I love it, man. 
We on our lead attorney shit today. We, we I, didn't get what, I didn't get what Palmer was saying. Like he wouldn't have did it. Look, dude, I love exposing niggas <laughs> like this, and I got a benefit out of it. Mm -hmm. Because them niggas on some they on some fuck shit. Like they all because the Palmer shit is they want to distract you from your shit, and I get that. And he and he right in that regard. But on the back end, there is some. That's some pickup from it, you know. Palmer's right in that regard because Palmer specializes in a, a specialty, right? You know exactly. what I'm saying? So he's a little bit easier right. to target. So I understand from his standpoint, right? That's why it would be frustrating because he's in a special lane. Me, I'm a planet, all type of shit come into my orbit, and I deal with it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a perfect example. When you when you much more broad. When you have, when you touch on more more topics, it's like I can go there with you. <clears throat> you know, I can go there with you. Whereas with, with with bro, the fuck child support had the disrespect he get before they they don't even get to have conversation because they don't right. like the hat. Like that's a stupid thing. It's like, it's just a hat. Right. Or they right. don't like hearing baby right. mama terrorists. Why do you have a problem hearing baby mama terrorists when they are terrorizing? Because the niggas yeah. grandmamas and, and single mothers mm -hmm. in, 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 at heart. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's single. It's that. It's a lot of single motherism in this video, even though it's no female. Well, it is. Nope. Um, no like, brain, yeah. all heart. Listen, no brain, all heart. They showing. They showing the wife love, bro. Thank you. Thank y'all. Definitely. Appreciate you, Mrs. Amber, for letting them let let me have him right now, letting us uh being able to hear this wisdom from the brother because uh it's needed, you know. Um. Yeah, that's right, man. It's just, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff to get into just with this video. We need to do a part two. We got I got stuff queued up, bro. Man, I got man. shit queued up, bro. We could do uh, a part two, part three. We could talk about these niggas <laughs> every week till we actually figure it out. Facts. I, 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 Who's I, the tone? I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm, I'm good either way. Who's the tone? Huh? Who's the tone police? Who determines whose tone is valid enough yeah. for somebody to be able to hear? They what they be, hey, what they be <laughs> you know, black people have get upset or emotionally charged or want or say certain things towards why are they upset and emotionally charged i still don't understand it who's the tone police <laughs> thank you thank you thank you who's, who's the thank tone you. police i just don't oh my god i just don't know You're feminine bro Ooh. 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 <laughs> So feminine, my nigga, like you, yo, come on, my nigga, nigga, man. Bro, I'm not. Listen, my dad's on, from Detroit. Bro. My dad is from Detroit. My hey, dad bro. is from Detroit. You're a real motherfucker. My that's cousin's from Detroit. Yeah, bro, I got cousins. Right, in that's Detroit. what you said. You said yeah, I don't I, know how to. Yo, I don't even know how Detroit let this guy get this far. This nigga, he couldn't survive in Baltimore, bro. Doing this feminine shit, you wouldn't survive, bro. Nigga, you do not have never made it. You that all that <laughs> caressing your neck and shit. Ooh. Mm. You know that shit not big enough for you. Find a bigger shit, bro. <laughs> not trying, yo. I can clown this nigga. I'm not really trying I'm, to get out of that. Clown this nigga, man. But that shit right there, bro. I'm glad you called it out. I was, I was going to let it rock, but I, 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 hey, hey. Like, it, I was going to again. I would love to keep it to the shit he's saying and nah. what, what he's saying in response. Just like what your wife just said, the tone and timing. The timing, like, what are you saying that in regards and and in, in, in response to what he just said? Right. I don't understand. Well, why are they upset? What do you? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, what are you talking about? How do you <laughs> at the third at forty today, or we had forty that day? Yes, it was a couple of days ago. How do you not know what they're upset about? If you call, like, oh my god, bro! If you, oh my god, this, 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 uh, hey, if no, you fucking man. keep saying that they playing a the victim Olympics, how can you then sit up after that and say I don't understand why they're mad? No, look, man. Look at look at. See, one thing about communication isn't just verbal. That's what these niggas fail to realize. All that goddamn, you uncomfortable. Facts. Motherfuckers start damn playing with their neck and shit. They be uncomfortable playing with your neck. You about to lie, mm -hmm. or, or you about to, or you about to become more guarded. It, I mean, look, it's it's all type of cues here. It's, I mean, it wasn't just what was coming out your mouth. See, that's what. The, the 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 masses believe they believe what you say i'll tell you like this my nigga a parrot can talk mm -hmm. my granddaddy told me that a parrot can echo points facts so it's the other talking shit. talking, talking is just part of the battle that man that was in the video 
that <laughs> that was on he was on last night and jt parker watch with jt was telling him telling him the same shit. you know it's not just communication is not just verbal it's 80 percent uh body language right like 80 percent body language but uh, i said what but i said it's 50 percent the wall behind you full of black culture that you claim is trash that you actually spent your money on and you got a group of dudes you have a group of content creators constantly trying to protect this dude or attacking people that's attacking him granted a lot of the dudes that's coming for him it's just trash shit. leave the nigga wife out of it she didn't say anything she didn't do anything leave her out of it that's what i would say to y'all oh, I'll say this. you talk about my wife on this motherfucker i'm not responding we just gonna be trying to find your location Mm -hmm. that's why and that's what exactly why i don't that's the roll link right there don't bring my wife or my family into this motherfucker all so, that bringing that's, family that's, that's, that's dead we're not talking about families this is not <laughs> but you bring those who are not in it into it i don't agree with talking about the man's wife as many no. problems as i may have with the man don't bring his family wife and kids into it and this is just how we gonna handle that situation facts and the, and the, and the dachshund and all that that's not gonna solve the problem now he talks about his bread i don't talk about other people's money i never did that i talk about what you we on the internet or we would having handling the task the facts of the matter is what i deal with i don't deal with nothing else i don't care about none of that i don't care about you i don't care what i don't put on your underwear i don't have your social security number i don't have your cars i'm not gonna spend your money i'm i don't i'm not with your wife i'm not with your girlfriend i'm not raising your children right i'm not gonna be there when they're hungry i'm not bringing them up right I, I deal with integrity always at all times right and <laughs> and i would i would hope people keep the conversation to that you know what i mean but so i said all that to say these dudes that are going to probably use this because it's going to get bad um step your game up like i said let's get this thing to a genius level let's operate at a high level of thinking whatever you've done before today let's move on i'm going to show you how to actually dismantle somebody to a nothingness Y'all never gonna come close to what I'm gonna do in this in this live today. You're not gonna come close to it, okay? <laughs> With all that other shit, you see, we ain't even got nowhere, and we already picking out there. The dude made like dudes. Right? That's what I'm saying. You know, what I, mean? I don't know what you on, but I see a single mother. Put what Gail said on a... real quick. I read it. These YouTubers have no idea how far of a reach people have have on here. Right, facts. You, you, I'm telling you, they don't know where people are or if they're willing to catch a flight and tap you on your shoulders. That's a fact, man. That's a fact, bro. I'm telling you, the dudes I was around, they told me to treat everybody with respect. The dudes that I knew were hurting people, treat everybody with respect, especially civilians, especially the dude, the hardworking man at the corner or the hardworking working man with the truck that's always working on his truck in the morning or Saturday morning. We don't treat people. We treat everybody with respect. We don't just be disrespectful, bro. Because right. one, they hardworking people, and you don't know what they've been through. A lot of times, that old man <clears throat> that knows how to fix cars was in the military. Right. Probably got a faster reaction time than you in pulling that gun out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who he helped. You don't know that the houses, two houses down the street, what he did for them. He don't brag because he's not that type of dude. But if it wasn't for him, that house would have fell a long time ago. We don't disrespect people. We don't know who. That's just home. That's what I, that's what I learned as a little boy. Then you on the internet, bro, it's... Brother Bernard was up here talking about somebody that he has a link to that is the 23rd. He's ranked 23, the 23rd hacker in the U.S. or in the world. Right. You, these people got talents that you don't have, bro. You don't, you don't, you can't. Yo, this kid, the thing that tripped me out about this stupid little boy, he's 40 years old. He's just like a kid to me. In my mind, he's like a little boy. Why are you threatening the internet? What 40 year old would do that? Another thing for the husbands. I've been waiting to say this for a long time because it's just it's my personal thing. What 40 year old man gonna get on the internet and call his wife his chick? Who does that? I've never heard that in my 36 years. I've never heard no what wife went uh, his her husband on the internet referring to her as his chick, as her as his like who does that? But the mindset of this kid just blows my mind, bro. But to me, he's he's like to me, and every time I see him talk, he's like a 16 year old. <sighs> Look, man, I love shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not going to point the finger at the brother with the shoes. I got dozens of pair of Jordans and shoes and shit. I love shoes. I wear a size 16. So that's the biggest thing on my body. 
you know, I always try to keep my shoes going, my shoe game going. But like I said, if you're gonna trash the culture, just take just trash the whole thing. Right. Trash the whole thing. I get it, man. If you don't like what black folks got going on, then you know, trash the whole thing. Get some Sammy Sosa bleach cream and get started, bro. Fuck your shit, man. man you're bad. Fuck your shit, bro. Oh, what Bernard say? He said, Whoa, I will never call my wife that. Right. My chick. My chick. My chick. You might as well call her your bitch. That's what I hear every time. <laughs> No, chick is a way to say bitch without saying because you're really afraid to say bitch. Facts. It's an animal. You see, what <laughs> it's, I mean? another, it's another animal. Right. What uh what giddy say? That's why I'm not um not with doxing people. It's all fun and games to somebody get hurt. Facts. Right. What Gail say? Big Mike, the people who know you knows you got it, right? What she say? I'm sorry, I'm reading wrong. She said, uh Big Mike, the people who know you knows you got it. Facts. Right, you don't have to flash it on YouTube. That's a fact, man. That's right. a fact, bro. I and said the same. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say this to the people that listen to this nonsense: you cannot spend your way into prosperity, and you cannot borrow your way out of debt. Facts. That came from an old, real rich white man who was really rich. That's how rich people get rich. Rich people don't get rich <laughs> by spending money. I wish I had a link to it. I would put it. I'm gonna probably grab the book and put it up again. Y'all have to go read the rich um the millionaire next door, man. Gotta get the millionaire next door. Have to, have to, have to. Have to. Um, uh, most most millionaires around earth, let alone just in North America, are frugal. They get discounts. Um, they did it through investing over time. They're not flashy. You would never even know it. They work regular jobs, work regular jobs. Most millionaires work regular jobs. And uh, most millionaires are investors, you know, and I, and I say regular jobs that I mean, I am including six figure jobs or whatever. Um, and it, they're not flashy and loud. I, my mentor was a millionaire when I met him in 2006, right? Where's the same stuff he got he lived in the same house he lived before, right now? I have no idea how much you work, could be 50, right? I have no idea, but he's a regular, he's a regular dude, and he's not loud in the time. And the term millionaire, too, I think needs to be put into a context as well. Let's do that. The, the term millionaire in a place like Atlanta equals middle class. Especially, oh, yeah, especially in California, like, New York. So, yeah, I mean, California, really New York, York, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta, I'm saying. Texas. Mo in most places, the term millionaire means middle class. So it's a lot of people out here who've saved 10% of what they made since they were 16 years old. And, and invested money and got stocks and bonds. There's a lot of people out here worth millions of dollars. Yes. And, and, and they're not running around <laughs> with Versace robes and Jordans and Gucci shades on. See, that's 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 clown shit. I love I, I like I like stuff. Don't get me wrong. I like to have nice stuff. I like to look nice, I like to smell nice. I like to be in nice environments. But that's not the number one determiner of whether somebody's rich or not. Because I'm going to tell you, the average credit score in Atlanta is a 580, my nigga. And it's more Benzes and BMWs and goddamn Louis Vuitton and all that shit running around. Here. On, yo, in Baltimore, it's niggas on a bus with Louis hey. Vuitton belts. Right. I think they want, what, day 200 or something like that? It's something something crazy. Right. Said, what? Right. What are you talking about? But then he sits up and he argues with JT last night. That, that, that it's not harmful. Like, bro, what part of leadership do you not understand, bro? Put my wife's next statement up there, man. Oh, pocket. Changing your pocket is loud, but dollars full quality. Facts, man. Come on, man. Facts. Facts. You don't even hear them dollars in the pocket. I don't. I do my best not to have money on me, period. <laughs> I only want it on me. I don't. Because it distracts. That shit is nothing, bro. I'm fucking 22 years old. I made 100 racks in four months junking cars because scrap metal was high in 2008. Exactly. I was making $1,000 by 12 p.m. It didn't make me no better just because I can buy more stuff. No. It doesn't matter. My my homeboys didn't have my mentality. They didn't they didn't have the access and the resources I got. They got they had me, but they don't. What if I died? Right. So I'm like, that's not what's important because if I got to go and meet new people just to do what I want to do. It's not what's important. Right. It it just doesn't buy more stuff is not going to solve anything. Knowing that you're a person that's worthy, knowing that you're a person that can 
to help everybody around you that love you that's what matters and that's what the fuck the millionaires i got to be around i, I, I praise god for it that's what they taught me most of the millionaires i've been around been fucking assholes in my life that's just my life story about it mm. most of them i've been around have been assholes the rich are the worst they are mm. Mm. you know what i'm saying the richer they are the worse they are this is so, like so yeah what, what you know and, and then then we got we can't we can't take this out of it man you got to think about the biblical principle and what that means it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to get into heaven mm. What do you think they meant by that? Because you Everything. know, getting damn well, a camel can never fit through the eye of a needle. When you do like this, this person here <laughs> is a perfect example. When you are arrogant like this, because you it's just as simple. You value what man made over you over you valuing what God made. You got a million dollars because or, or more because of how well you took care of your money, but did you take care of your body as much as well? Do you take care of your statements as well? You take care of the people that God gave you as well. God gave you people. God gave you that value. And you, the shit you boasting is the stuff you can buy. So definitely a person like him, a camel will get through a needle before he'll get to heaven. When you sit on the internet and lead attorney show, and I got that shit queued up, talking about I'm the example of righteousness. That statement in itself is unrighteous. What? At 39? Oh, okay. That statement in itself disqualified. It just negated everything you're trying to say. Just, just the fact of saying that negated what you were trying to convey. The thing mm -hmm. that's gonna, the thing that's gonna make you that that makes your life the measure of a man is the is the amount of people who are left afterward that can preserve his memory. Facts. Back. That's the true measure of a man. How many people Back. after you're gone, which is inevitable, it's gonna happen. We all got that appointment to keep. Yeah. But how many people after you're gone are gonna preserve your memory? Absolutely. <sighs> Let's get into it, bro. Again, it's because of the tone. It, it's because of the the. the so who's angle the tone? The who's the tone? Huh? Who's the tone police? Who determines whose tone is valid enough for somebody to be able to hear what somebody else says? Because growth comes in and it comes from being uncomfortable. It doesn't come from somebody making you feel good about yourself. Right. So being uncomfortable doesn't have anything to do with how you speak to people, though. I can speak right. to you in a respectful manner and not, or I can speak to you respectfully and make you feel uncomfortable. I don't no, have to say I can, I'm good. You want to touch? I'm. He did it for me. I'm sorry. No, no, what, 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 what you said was the facts. Mm -hmm. Comfort ain't got nothing to do with it because, I mean, you know, if you think you're going to talk to somebody any kind of way because they're going to grow in being uncomfortable, what if they decide to punch you in the face? That's going to be uncomfortable for you. Are you going to grow from that? You, you see what I'm saying? That could go, that, that kind of logic goes both ways or lack thereof logic. The real logic is this. We talking to men. We ain't talking to a bunch of women. We ain't a bunch of uh, ATL housewives out this motherfucker. Men's violence is different. It's always a potential for violence with men. So right. I always watch how I talk to people. I watch how I talk to people, period. Because even if you get disrespectful with a woman, <clears throat> what's to say her man ain't somewhere nearby and she gonna go get him mm -hmm. and not be in, involved in the violent confrontation. Hey, I want to I want to say something to that right now. I want to say something to that right now because um mr my guy mr palmer talks about these simping forces and you got these dudes that will cape for these chicks that are wrong right and i get that however there's situations where nah, it's not even a situation principally speaking a woman is supposed to go get her man to talk to a man that's what she's supposed to be doing absolutely you understand so it speaks to your point but we I don't want I don't want the sipping force the thing to distract from the truth that if you have a man that's at a woman, he needs to go get she she's not her nature is to go get another man. Correct. Right. She shouldn't be in there, you know, talking shit. You know, if you if you're in this situation again where you're trying to so-called mentor or teach somebody to help him grow and you just being belligerent, 
and she go get her nigga and fuck you up. Is that is that him simping? Hell no, that ain't him simping. And then at the end of the day, what's, what's crazy to me is that you're trying to use tone or or tone police being okay because it's growth, really, when in reality you're trying to distract from the fact that the shit you said was stupid. Yeah. You say dumb shit. We went from we went from immigration and having having a real serious conversation to being speech pathologist and nobody got a degree in that shit. <laughs> just, it's like, that's why I told like him, that. that's why I told him. And, and you notice and it's one thing that's funny. I have to say this talking about leadership. When I told them that I'm going to leave because I'm extremely busy and I'm not here to talk about speech pathology. I'm not here to talk about tone or none of that shit. Them niggas got back on track. Facts. Follow the leader, my niggas. Facts. <laughs> Follow the leader. Mrs. Amber says, your personal brand and your legacy are important. Facts. <clears throat> your self-respect is important as well. Exactly. And your time. Say it as nice as I want to and say, oh, man, I'm not really feeling what you're saying right now. And you're still not going to fuck with it. So what difference is it going to make? I can't say that. Yes. The same difference that it makes when you set up a business and you put advertisement out and people walk by your store. You don't close it when the first person don't accept it. The same the same difference it makes when you or you are in sales and you prospect and you're talking from this person or you call calling and you cold calling and you cold calling. You're looking for the person that's going to do it anyway. The fuck are you talking about? It's right. a stupid thing. So when you the other undertone, when you when we go through him and Jonathan, these people are, are afraid of people. They're afraid of rejection. That's exactly it. See, I make it a point to get rejected three times a day because I already know that's going to be something you have to overcome and, and, and to sell something, to be a, to, to hustle something, to move right. something. You have to overcome rejection. Yes. So to say I'm not going to start because I may get rejected, that's a feminine characteristic. Mm -hmm. It is. That's a feminine characteristic. It's not masculine at all. It's not masculine at all. Yeah. No, the difference that the difference that it makes is how they interact or respond to what you say. It's not. It's because I'm gonna tell you the truth. How is it? I'm a lie. Then I'm a, the next thing I'm gonna say <laughs> is I'm gonna tell you the truth. It is what the, the, the that it is a part of the difference. It's how they respond. Because yeah. if you you saying something, I've been told some tough shit. Like my mentor told me, said you. I said, man, I ain't quit. He said, man, you sometimes you quit. And you don't even realize it. And he just looked me up and down. Right. And I'm like, damn, you're right. Well, you usually if somebody realize. tells you, I'm going to tell you the truth, that means they could have potentially been telling you lies beforehand. So, <laughs> it's a Facts. statement. <laughs> like, <laughs> I say it all the time. I'm going to be honest, which means I could have, might not have been honest beforehand. So now you're just putting on your, your honest hat right now. Yeah, or, now you, or, you, or you was thinking about lying to me. Be like, look, I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie to you this time. You just add more right. to the sentence, and it actually it actually conveys the idea. I'm not gonna lie to you. Can be a, a complete sentence, but oftentimes it's not. <laughs> Listen, the reality is that people don't people don't care. The growth comes from the information, and sometimes there's a barrier to entry before you start to get to where it is that you need to be. Hey, the reality. This is actually the part I did not hear because when I went off camera, I stopped listening. So this is the part of the show I didn't hear. So if they threw any 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 constant uh, insults during this point in the show, I never heard it. All right, let me see. People don't people don't care. <sighs> now remember, this is in response to tone. Even this has nothing to do with the fucking conversation How did the tone come up? cheeky said it and that's what prompted him to come up because cheeky used a hand anton as an example and then he got in the chat and then he came up them niggas filibuster they just being dismissive it's, it's the growth comes from the information and sometimes there's a barrier to entry before you start to get to where it is that you need to be the reality is that nobody anybody in a position of power that's actually giving you game don't give a fuck about how you take it because more more often than not, you the one that needs the information. You that's not true. Another lie. 
because nobody in power is going to just give you game and not care about how you Thank you. You're not going to give everybody game. True people Thank that you. have true power don't surround themselves with any and everybody who could pay to be there. It's exclusive. True power. See, that's that African energy power. That's that uh that's that warlord uh Congo cut your arms off power. That's, that's that, that that type of power. That's that, that, that dunga man sell everybody out shit. Yeah, yeah, that's <clears> that, that sell everybody, everybody, everybody out. out power. You against me type of shit. Um it's just theta male. T H E T A theta. Theta male means dead, actually. That's where you get the word Thanos from. I mean, they, they use theta waves to help people sleep. This little boy is asleep at 40. That's just shit. Just, this shit is just dumb. The shit he said. Somebody that don't give a fuck about you just going to randomly give you game for no reason or don't care how you they think. Don't give a fuck about what how sense you. does that make, bro? Right. Usually people with real power are trying to consolidate their power. So it's really actually important that people that are under you that you're giving the game to, that they get it and that you care that they get it. I'm going it's to do a like lot. That Joseph Stalin didn't <laughs> give a fuck about whether uh, Molotov, what he thought about the power that he, the game that he was transferring to him, when it was very critical that he understood. He, 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 whatever, whatever. Facts. I'm glad we got a chance to listen. To Doing your own self no. a disservice by not actually paying attention to what it is that the person is saying and more focused on the tone. So. The, the fucking thing that's dumb about what you're saying is, and this is why you know who's a leader and who's not a leader. The fact that they're hurt about what you're saying, that they just so hurt and they're so weak, is that you had their attention before you said it. That's why it hurts their feelings. That's why it distracts them, because you actually had their attention. You had it. They were engaged and focused on what you were saying. Right. You don't say dumb shit just to get an effect. Because remember in another video, he just said, I'm divisive. This is within the same couple of days. This video and the one I showed him before. So it was like two days apart. Maybe oh, he'll right be next so different next video. Yeah, he's he's whatever he <laughs> thinks he works, gets. man. This but is how it works. It's single mother shit. You can he'll whatever I can get away with. Next video. <laughs> so the person that's offended is often the person that's the most that needs the information. That's the fuck are you the fuck. That's the person that's offended is the person that's listening anyway. What the fuck are you talking about? But listen, who got offended at through this whole process? <laughs> See who got offended through this whole process? <laughs> hey, I can't wait to get to all <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to get this shit. Yo, you can't make this goofy, stupid, retarded, satanic shit to fuck up. This shit crazy, bro. Give me, give me one moment, man. I'll be right back. Got you. Look, look, look at the chat. What's up, brother Bernard, bro? What you say? He said that's he said that's real right there. Big mic drop. It's exclusive, straight facts, bro. This is this is hilarious, bro. So I don't want bro to miss out because it's that part that he 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 stepped out on, man. Um, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Um, whether you like or don't like, you know, you can always free to scroll back, like a couple of things. If you um, hey hey noble, uh huh. Hey, let it rock. I'm listening to it. Got you. Yeah, I'm listening to it. We can get that going now. So why, so why, so why are we, but hold on, wait, 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 pay attention to it. Why are we caring or validating the tone instead of paying attention to what the message is? It's not about caring or validating the tone more than it is understanding why you get the pushback that you do. But it's not, okay, I'll give you an, I'll give you an example. Let's say I get pushback all the time, right? I give a perfect example. I got one. Okay, right. cool. I've seen, I've seen, I saw I've now that I've joined the Lapeep Network, there are videos that pop up. I saw you and Tawana and her, her husband getting it. I, I don't think if he would have came at you all loud and rowdy, you would have came back at him like that. I don't think he I don't think you would have. I think y'all energy, one energy was this way, and the other and the other energy ma matched it. I don't think I don't that's what I mean by having a conversation. No, like somebody, so if we're talking, if we're talking on this, he was coming right? no matter what. What you talking about? What you say? He was coming no matter what. What you talking about? No, but you no, went there. You went there. He no, you went there though. You, but once, but you wasn't there. But once he got up there, you got up there. 
but he was coming up there with that no matter what. Either way, it was going to go left. Um, no, Either no, way, no. that conversation was no. going left. Oh, no. But, but, but that's not even a good example because what okay. you're saying is that somebody needing to validate their experience. We're not it's talking not. about somebody that's coming in hot in an argument over a girl. We're talking about somebody you the example you initially used was somebody validating somebody else's experience based off of how they've them be no i am talking about so Chiki, how come, yeah, how come? no active listening is uh it's an incredible skill i got it in person so i don't even know who to refer you but i mean you know what you can do it's a guy named jim Rohn. He's he won a few uh, speaking awards. Um, please go check him out and just listen to him. Helps your brain, helps you learn how to pay attention because that's what I did. I listened to him and I listened to my mentor and I learned how to. I got a, a lot of active listening training and to, ex to expand your attention span. Because um, <laughs> this is man, this is this this kid. He says any fucking thing. Earlier, and, cheeky. How come earlier when we even when we're talking about Cam Newton, right? You were one of the first people to say, you know. Uh, I, I don't want to misquote you, right? But you were saying basically, uh, screw them, and 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 I don't want to misquote you. I'm not, I'm not quoting exactly. What right. You said, right. I, I, I said somehow, I somehow you understood. You understood when it was Cam Newton talking, and he had a certain tone because he got all this pushback from women who, like Anton said, and you, in fact, you actually said this. You took the, uh, you took, um, was it you or Jedi who took Doctor Jordan Peterson? That was me. Said. That was me. That was Jedi. You have to risk offending people to, to think about, differently. To think yeah, differently, not, you have to risk not, offending people. Oh, Chiki, are you telling me that? I'll pay attention to Jonathan Barronville saying that. It's interesting he says that. There is no time where you get better results. Nobody said that bullshit. I hate that single mother response shit. Baby mama terrorist. That's baby mama terrorist right there. Bullshit. Ain't nobody say all or no. Nobody said that. I'm talking principally speaking on how what reaction you get out of people and why. Because you think it's you got car blanche just because they moving, they're trying to improve to 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 use any tone. So hey, no, what did that nigga say if you get hot over a girl that's different? It's okay if you come in hot over a girl. Let's go back. I don't want to misquote. I, 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 initially used was somebody valid. I think y'all energy, one energy was this way, and the other and the other energy ma matched it. I don't think I don't that's what I mean by having a conversation. No. Like somebody, so if we're talking, if we're talking on this talk, right? no matter what, what you talking about? What'd you say? He was coming no matter what. What you talking about? No, but you went there. You went there. He no, you went there though. You, you, but, once, but you wasn't there. But once he got up there, you got up there. But he was coming up there. Which means he's saying you respond in the same way that you're talking against. That's what he's saying. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I meet force with force. Yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do. Nobody's getting ready to take any kind of tone with me that I'm not going to take back with you. But guess what? But when it comes time to do something about it, somebody that's a little bit more capable of doing but, something. But, about but, the, but, the, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, capable. he's fighting against a person responding to the tone when they just proved that he did it. So with Anton Daniels, only Anton Daniels can do stuff, and you can't. And that's the shit that that's the shit that's throwing at everything. That's what they call him out on. My bad. That's just there with that. No matter what, either way, it was gonna go left. Um, no, either no, way, no. that conversation was no. going left. Oh no! So because it was gonna go left, it justifies the shit that you just spoke again. Right. Mm. But, but, but that's not even a good example because what so you can need a feminine thing and think something gonna happen and then I can be an asshole and be stupid and go against my principles and then make it right. No, I could control it all the way and run it off a cliff. Total, it's feminine energy. Single mother. As long as I'm in control, it don't matter where it ends up at. Mm-hmm. 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 Single <laughs> motherism. Your thing is that somebody needing to validate their experience. We're not it's talking not. about somebody that's coming in hot in an argument over a girl. We're talking about somebody you the example you initially used was somebody validating somebody else's experience based off of how they've them I'm being black. About, no. No. It is not necessarily validating, it's not invalidating or attempting 
to invalidate. You can't validate or invalidate my motherfucking experience. And I'm fully aware. I was fully aware of this. I'm fully aware of all of this. I wasn't there for validation. This was an expose, fam. Mm -hmm. It was an expose, and it was a subscriber grab on my behalf. I appreciate nice. you. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank no, you. I, I really do. I appreciate you. And, and definitely come back. Facts. I am talking about so cheeky. How come, cheeky, yeah, how come earlier, cheeky? How come earlier when we even when we're talking about Cam Newton, right? You were one of the first people to say, you know, uh, uh I, I don't want to misquote you, right? But you were saying mm -hmm. basically, uh, screw them, and 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 I, I don't want to misquote you. I'm, I'm not quoting exactly right. What you said, right? I, I, I said, see, I somehow, said, I'm somehow you understood, you understood when it was Cam Newton talking and he had a certain tone because he got all this pushback from women who, let's like Anton said. And you, in fact, you actually said this. You took the, uh, you took. Uh... And let, let's let it let it rock, cause it's like it's a. It's a I want to get rock. some of these points in the end. I want to get some of these points in the middle, because we won't get to that ultimate shit in a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to. Let it rock. Yeah, let it rock. They ain't Wasn't you about a you. Jedi who took Doctor mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson? That was me. That was me. That was Jedi. You have to. But it's really what. Good. You have. To... Yeah. But you can be what I was going to say. Yeah, you're not even bad. What I'm teaching you also, in addition to that, is. In reading the situation, it can be right or wrong, but at the same time, it's not always tone that makes somebody turn away from it. Sometimes it's that. that aggressive tone that they need in order to get them over the hump. So we have to determine when it's necessary and when it's not, but it's not always tone that we need to censor ourselves because you might be doing them a disservice by pulling your punches instead of ripping that band-aid off. I agree. And that that so what are we talking about? Okay, cool. But the, the the issue is every time somebody that the problem is when most people talk to black people they think every single time is to rip the bandaid off and it's not yes That's it just is. Not. Hey. you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying like i i didn't make that i didn't even think that was i i, I didn't even know that was i forgot that happened that shit's stupid do they have band-aids in nigeria <laughs> for in, real injuries do they have band-aids in Haiti? I just want to know. They got them in Detroit. <laughs> they got them in Detroit. Oh, That's what I'm trying to figure. Every single time? The reason why you have so many fuck boys and so many people running in the Because they don't have daddies. Not because they don't have a tone. Somebody to yell at them. You got to let me finish. Okay, my fault. You're right. Fault. The reason why you have so many fuck boys and so many people running in the Victim Olympics and so many guys that's comparing themselves to women is because they've been treated like women. And the thing that fathers do, similar to what you were about to say, is that they don't have daddies, is they daddies tell them the uncomfortable truth because they're not trying to be their friend by being a tone police. They're trying to get them, get them to where they need to be and be their parent. The thing that's beautiful about parents is parents tell you the truth when they really parenting, whether you like it or not, because the only thing that matters is the results. And so if we start being more matter of fact and telling these guys, yo, yo, you acting like a bitch right now, or yo fam, stop being a sucker and actually stand up for yourself instead of trying to, trying to make them feel good or pacify them in the process of trying to teach them. They don't hear it unless they hear the truth. You on mute, bro. The problem with everything that he's saying is what was said prior to. The cheeky just said the problem that we got is that everybody thinking it's time to talk to us. That every time it's it, it's time to rip the bandaid off. And in his mind, he said, "Yeah." So you just doing it just to do it, which is what I talked about before. You have dudes that are good in one area because you're a system guy. So that's all you know. You needed that. Do you like me? Don't need that. Dude like me might punch you in your fucking face. You right. was a dude. This is this little dude here. I can't even got the mouse on it. You the type of dude to steal on. You the type of dude that they play game. They had to get you up there. And you think everybody needed because that's what you needed. You needed right. that. Right. And and he, I got a dad. And uh and that's why I didn't engage a conversation about tone with no motherfucking six niggas or five right. niggas. Because right. <laughs> I got a dad. So, so you know what I mean? So it's like in the conversation. When you overindulge in one area, you think it's okay to do that everywhere. 
you can't do that in, with with other people that's what you needed for your own personal self everybody don't need that that's what leadership is about what you need what she need okay what that person need okay they, they're a little different with that they had some training that's how you do but when you when you think in your mind that, that your abuse is okay because his type of training that he got i can promise you in his patreon and in whatever little thing he got they 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 push obsession he already uh, admitted he don't give a shit. fuck how anybody that's underneath his underneath his guidance he don't give a fuck how they take the information facts he doesn't give a fuck how they, how they he doesn't care so you know he's already admitted this out of his own mouth mm -hmm. so like i said if you follow this individual <laughs> then you obviously don't care how you what, what kind of information you get neither because they don't care how they're giving it to you and they don't care how you take it they just care that you pay them the thing the thing that's valuable about a leader a dad it's not that his, it's not his tone it's the opposite he actually cares and what he's saying is accurate the foundation of what's important in success is accuracy right because the dad is in the field the dad know how much it hurt to win so he's going right. to convey that it's a conveyance of accuracy with respects to pain not just telling you not 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 caring right i can't wait till i do this live on this guy named mark Pasillo. he's he's a guy who says he's a deocultist and he, and he talks about this principle amongst the occult that most people don't know i'm not gonna say it now because i can't i can't wait this shit's dope as fuck and it's you can see why certain people are certain places and dudes like him or where they at can't keep trolls off your neck on the internet yet other people like me i say i'm direct but ain't got nobody called me a coon i don't tell nigga shit all that all I, I tell nigga shit the worst shit the shit he talking about he do i do in real life but i don't, i've never been called a coon a day in my life ever right I tell niggas you lazy. It's because of you. It's because y'all niggas don't want to read. Y'all niggas it is. Did it there. You lazy. Get your ass up. They don't call me no coon. Why they call him that? Right. The truth comes sometimes. It's not just in what you say. It's how you say it. Uh, hey, don't, hey, be don't be frustrated. Don't be frustrated. Look, look, look. Hey, I'm, hey, not, hey. I'm not getting frustrated. I really, I'm, I'm not. Right. Like, I understand. Well, why are you your head? Because hey. it's. it's I understand that you understand, right? We don't have a disagreement here, right? Mm -hmm. And I understand we both are relying on a level of emotional intelligence to determine whether or not we need to say something direct or not. I, and I don't, uh, I don't disagree with that okay, idea. Okay, so, so let's move away from tone. Then, what's the, what's the, what's the, the premise of what's going on in this conversation right now? The premise is uh, immigrants coming to America, mm -hmm. having criticisms, right? Nobody. I personally don't care about the criticisms because mm -hmm. you can say what you want. You're allowed to do that. But then black people or those who are, you know, descendants of slaves having an issue with immigrants because of their because they need it. because of their perceived um because they're losing. Because they're losing. And, if that, and if you're saying and if you're saying that they and if that's your viewpoint. Losing. We're not losing. Anton, Anton, and if you say that, I <laughs> you see. Where's the numbers? But, we're, but see, here's the. But watch, watch this. Watch wait, 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 come on, come on. Where's the numbers to support? They losing. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Hey, hey, y'all, look at me. Watch this. Watch this. Mm-hmm. Keep looking watch at me. They, just a girl, a little girl that want attention. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. No, Anton. Wait, that's what I'm gonna wait, do. Wait, Anton. Wait, wait, that's what wait, I'm gonna wait, do. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Wait. Hold on, Chucky. Hold on. Give me a second. No. Give me a second. I promise you, I'm gonna let you go. I promise you. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you say it. Please cook, watch. please. I am, I am. But I'll just, just watch Big Mike. Go ahead, go. I'm just asking, like you, you know, uh, I, I, we kind of got off a little bit, but I'm asking, how are we losing? Well, see, the funny part about it is, is that I didn't even know that you were what you were, but you, you the hit dog that's hollering right now. What are you talking uh, about? I asked a question, man. I, I, all that other stuff is because I, I never was speaking to you specifically, but as soon as I mentioned it, you jumped out the window and you wanted to have a. This is a, a, a stupid statement. The conversation is about FBA and, and, and really all people who you've already established it. You mind you, we into this recording. I only recorded about fifteen. It's fifteen minutes ago, but he's his face been on here almost the entire time, and you just asking what the conversation is, right? And we know for a fact that Jordan and Yeezy aren't losing based off his back wall. They're not immigrants. And they're not immigrants. So we we in this situation where we've already established who's who, who's on what side, who's not on what, what uh, the other side. You being an asshole not explaining who you are. 
none of this shit, right? Then you go and try to say you're a hit dog because you just want the attention. You're trying to do some more little girl, black, female, single mother bullshit to try to hurt somebody's feelings to be able to control something and get a reaction out. And you didn't get the reaction. To say that you're a hit dog hollering when we've already established something and you throw some shit out that they are losing. They are losing when it's already established who's who. And you coming in being a fucking dick. Like shit like that is irritating. Right. It's right. Shit. You know the Jedi Mike ain't saying nothing about about none of that he ain't on nothing because right he nigerian like y'all credibility is yeah jedi mike ain't saying nothing <laughs> might not want to talk and to be honest like i say we losing but we not running around this bitch with polos adidas track pants and flip-flops on <laughs> calling that shit an outfit my nigga <laughs> we not doing it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm really? talking about tone Look, I'm a busy man. No, I'm not talking about Tom. I said that immigrants, black immigrants that walk over into this country, they kick the they kick the ass of the African descendants of slaves or the people that was born here. Okay, and and where's your proof? What do you mean? Where's my proof? Where's over, proof? The majority of the wealth that's created in the country is generated by immigrants. Black immigrants, right? Right. You can't make that up. Oh, oh, oh this is what you're saying. Hey, expects me remember, to believe just because he says it that the majority of wealth created in this country comes from immigrants. You can't make this goofy still. I like my brain was trying to. Y'all that's watching, just from two, two hours, four minutes, whatever seconds, four to a couple seconds into this live. That's what this dickhead said. Remember, he said that the majority of the wealth created in this country is by immigrants. That's what he said. That's what Anton Daniel said. Just he said that. And I'm going to use his stupid ass to fucking fuck his own point up. Oh, that's yo, beat the shit out of people with their value system. I'm going right. to show a fucking clinic on how to do that shit with these pitiful piece of shit mentality little fuckers this is an idiot an idiot man, he's a look, fucking man, idiot y'all can follow that bullshit if y'all want a, to oh, oh, he's man. a fucking <laughs> idiot y'all can follow that bullshit if y'all want to bro i don't know what to tell you i, I don't know what to tell you <sighs> hmm mm, yes from where black immigrants are significantly more successful when it comes to From what where? it is they generating and the revenue that they're bringing into this country than 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 people that are born here that is a fact so he said black immigrants bring revenue into the country <laughs> all right all right all right all right Let's, uh, all right no, I'm, um, mm, mm. And the reason i'm not if you happen to watch this, the reason I'm not crushing your stupid fucking face is because I want you to beat your own stupid shit. Yeah, go and let him finish beating himself. And then watch From where? Outburst. And where oh, you, want, you want me to cite it? You want me to go and grab all of my books right now? Yes, dumbass. Yeah, nigga. You said the shit. Right. Fucking idiot. Yeah. You grabbed the weapon. Come on, man. Before you came, you should have grabbed the book. You could have put books in the back of your fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Shout out to um the big Nate, uh little big Nate. Shout out to him. You know what the office is supposed to look like. You could you could have had books back there. Yeah. You got shoes. We're gonna have this conversation. We're gonna have to have it you based have off, of, a, based off of the general sentiment that we both agree on. And if we can't agree, then we're gonna have civil discourse, and I'm cool with that. But don't start telling me to bring out a bunch of facts when you hey, did he say we're gonna have civil discourse? <laughs> Yeah. So it's I didn't know it was this bad, bro. Don't, don't ask me to bring going. out no this facts. Is horrible. Don't ask me to bring out a bunch of facts. Don't you even got to bring out a bunch? Bring out one. Cause goddamn five immigrants that make forty five thousand dollars, and that is y'all's median income, versus the five thousand black people that's from here that make thirty three thousand dollars. That's not accounting for most of the wealth. That's what I'm telling the nigga. Per capita does not count when you're talking about real shit. Hey, yo. It doesn't yo. count. 
You can't make this goofy, so you stupid talking shit about up. Tangible shit per capita does not really count. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. That's why he's saying this. If you're going to war, okay, we're going to war. We're one country and another country, we're going to war. It's five of us, and we got three weapons apiece. Right? We got more guns per capita because it's five of us with three weapons apiece, but it's 500 of them with one weapon. Are we winning the war because we out we outgunned them per capita? Facts. Are we going to win the war because five, this, hundred pe five people got three Facts. weapons apiece? Because all you counting is the assets. All you counting That's is the number. <clears throat> That's right. All you counting is the number, in which case it, numbers can get to a point where they really don't mean shit. Bro, I'm still stuck on he talking to you like you've offended him asking for facts. Like, oh yeah, I offended him from being there. I offended him just because I was there. And y'all keep watching, y'all will see. And y'all, and to give y'all context to why I'm doing it, <clears throat> I was on that, that show the day before. Or maybe the day a couple I was on K and Kayla's show that came on before this. And I trashed them niggas. Four of them, I ran through them. The last dude, we kind of agree. We was talking about military. I, I posted a video on my on my channel. I trashed them niggas. And I kicked his little talking points around. And I kicked his little friends around. And uh I could actually put up the videos and show you, but I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna get into this. Hey, this is what he upset him. That's why he got Sway. on. Isn't there a dude named Sway in the morning that's like a real dude? Yeah. Yeah. So he just changed the name a little bit, and, yeah. and, and then he took the name. Yeah, and then never talked. So is this a type of imagination and creativity we're dealing with? I have no idea. I, 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 okay, I don't even know what that word means. I have no idea. I don't know what W S W A E mean. I don't know what that means. I'm not even gonna look it up. But um, I, I wanted to give y'all context on why this little boy was so upset. Why he was upset. He, he's got his little friend that got their ass kicked the other day and again <clears throat> we not gonna go through it on this video but anton i'm sorry jb and big mike um shout out to gail they had all met you know recently and they had a heated exchange that's in the beginning of the video i'm gonna try to find it and, and post a link to this um to this so you can see it and do, look at it yourself um for those that's gonna use this video um to further kick anton's ass and jb because they, they have enemies because jb jonathan baronville I've had multiple occasions in dealing with this dude and he wants to be in a chat trolling. And I don't like, I don't know this dude from watching him. I know this dude from trying to troll me when I'm on a, on a panel talking. I'll get to that another time. He gonna, stay out, he, he gonna stay out your way from him. Oh, he, he know I ain't the fuck. I'm not doing he the fuck. Stay out away from him. He know he don't want none of this. Yeah, he he gonna stay I trash that shit. He said we victimized him. So, you know, I'm sure he don't want to come back for no more punch. You know he can't fuck with me. That's all that. That's all that is. No, ain't nobody sitting here with with a with a whole group of facts sitting in front of me when I just asked y'all what's the premise of the conversation. You being you're disingenuous because you know you're about to get cooked. Are you not sitting in front of a computer? Somebody should ask you're not me. sitting in front of a fucking computer. Pure research was right there. I looked it up. You go on <laughs> Google and go to Pure Research. You can look up all of these factors that he was talking about. You can't make this stupid shit and, up. And really, the honest opinion is not enough of y'all here to make a difference. Not saying y'all ain't doing y'all thing in the small, very small numbers y'all are. It's not enough of y'all here to make a difference. And at the end of the day, when all of this shit collapses and you got to go back to where your folks <clears> are from, <throat> what are you going to have then? The arrogance. The all arrogance. you have is that arrogance. And your people can't eat arrogance. Like he said, I don't, I don't have a bunch of facts here. What? What? I thought it was supposed to be here. Right. Why can't you just word the reference? You can't say it out your mouth. Yeah. What you? Where you get your stats from? It's pretty easy. From the U.S. Treasury? Is right. it from the CDC? Is it? Where's it from? Okay. Can't do that. Is it Central Bank? Is it? Is it from some private study from Princeton? You know, or uh, you don't know how to do that? Okay. Right. <laughs> Station. You know what set him off? Because you're a loser. <laughs> you go. You about to cook? See what I, mean? I, ain't, I ain't losing. Okay. Well, let's. Yeah. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Family is losing. I'm talking about on the on the on the on a deeper philosophical money sense because I know that's all we talking about is money. 
Let's talk about money then. We can take listen. We can skin this cat wherever wherever you want to go. I'm gonna let you guide the conversation. Oh, okay. So who you think own more property in the United States? Black natives or black? Wherever you want to go, provided you don't need any facts. This don't bring the facts in. We don't need that. I don't have a bunch of facts in here. We can skin how you want to go. Anyway, with the facts direction. Your wife said, "Somebody drop this fool for me." She said, Mrs. Amber said, what, what, what's wrong with asking for fact for a fact? I'm lost on why that is so off-putting. Oh, oh, I can help you, love. It's because when you don't have facts, but you're loud and you don't want to look dumb, and you really have to make somebody else look dumb, and what you usually do don't work, then you gotta finesse and you, you know what I'm saying? So it's wrong when you're wrong, but when you're right, it's not wrong. And that's the type of world we live in, and it's toxic terribly uh opposite land. Uh, did this little idiot thing live in? I'll say this too, man, for them niggas out here. When you dig one grave, make sure you dig two. My mama told me that. When you set out to dig one grave, make sure you dig two. One for yourself. Facts. Real, real facts. You gotta expect what you're putting out. Exactly. You gotta expect it to come make back. sure you dig two. Immigrants. I don't know. Educate me. No, dude, you the one who said we losing. Because by, by well, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on, JB. JB, JB, let me tell you why this is a disingenuous argument. Because it's a question, not an argument, little boy. You man, have to base it on. Hey, JB, you don't even want to let me answer yet. You don't want to let me answer yet. You, you tripping? You, no, 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 no. We we gonna have this conversation, but let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it's a disingenuous argument. Because you have to base it off of the amount of immigrants, the amount of black immigrants that's in a country compared to the amount of people that's born here. That's what invalidates your stupid ass statement to cause him to ask the question, dumbass. Yeah. This narcissistic shit is I just annoying, bro. Out rope, bro. I just issued out rope on this one. You need a little bit more. Here you go. <laughs> you need a little more rope. Here you go. But when niggas losing on their home field, when you losing on your home court, but the crowd still cheering, you down by forty. But they still when you dunk, oh, he dunk. They just say for you to be a spectacle. They don't care if you want to lose. They want your spot. You stupid. Right. So if I say, for example, okay, well, more black people that were born here own more property. Is it based off of the percentage of people that own property as far as? If 50% of immigrants, black immigrants own property and 25% of, of black people that's born here own property, technically black people that are born here own more property than. Y'all remember earlier? Yeah. When he said, and I wouldn't even think about this part. When he said that immigrants have, they create, they generate more wealth. We generate more wealth. When we own property, you generate wealth. Don't. Property is wealth. It could just be the self. That's why I wasn't saying anything. That's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. It was just uh, issuing out rope. This nigga beating himself. See, I recognize he didn't know what was going on from the jump because all of this shit and all of this shit. <sighs> yeah, I recognized all of that. Hey, y'all not going to say nothing. I was like, type of time we on G? Like, look, look, man. I got that same thing Tom Brady and Michael Jordan got, bro. It, it, it's it's a it's a killer instinct to compete. I pick up on weakness. Silence is weakness, I was like, bro. A lot of loud talking is weakness. Uh, a lot of over talking. A lot of over talking is weakness. Deflection is weakness. Yo, he's a beacon for it. That's not having is. facts, not having documentation is weakness. Con artist, man. You're watching the difference. Hey, cape, caping for birthday wishes is weakness when you're a man. We're not 15-year-old Mexican hoes having quinceañeras. Facts. Yeah, yeah. She said, um, Gail said, um, Laura Class, I thought you were on this uh, panel as well. Or was it later? No, it was, yeah, it was later on in the live. I was on this. Um, I came in. I couldn't. I, I was trying my best to get in, but it was it was packed. And, it, and until he left out, it wasn't no room. Or or they was protecting him. I can't prove they was protecting him. All I can prove is when I was trying to get in, I couldn't. 
until I after see, he's gone. It's on my birthday. I was hanging with my wife. Oh, he, but he his wife is his chick. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I was hanging That's with my wife thing. when I was when it was my birthday. I'm just she saying, did. I wasn't I wasn't on no panel with no bunch of niggas. No, she was. She just a chick. She'll be there. Fuck her. That's how. That's how he. That's how he treated. I wouldn't ever in my life, ever in my life. Okay, if I got a wife or two or three, I'm not calling them my chick. I don't. That's, that shit's so disrespectful. I wish a nigga would call my daughter his chick that he married. I will smack the shit out you. I ain't gonna sit there hold you. I smack the shit out you. You won't be me, G. The fifty percent of immigrants because there's more black people that I were born. I didn't ask for. No, 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 no. You talking to the wrong one? one. one. You talking to the wrong one. So see, Big well, Mike, per capita is actually what matters. Is it what is what matters. Per capita, capita matters. Matter. So what you have to do is you got to qualify your statement not by not asking me this baseless, baseless question. Ask it in its full kind. You provided the base. But you provided the base. By comparing if 50% of that immigrants own property versus 25 so-called black people when it's way more than us will will have more that's so per capita doesn't matter you said generate wealth you didn't say generate wealth per capita why these niggas keep playing with their necks got bernard that's joining us today what's up bro yeah, not in the building what's up what's up what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I try I try not to come up, man, but I'm up here. I'm saying stuff before you say it and your wife say it. And I was like, on my birthday, a week later, my wife my wife had a surprise birthday party for me with the family. Like I didn't even know what was going on. So I well, I'm gonna be on the Okay, all right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 just, let's just let's go, we got we'll take our time today. Context. I'm not asking per capita. I'm but asking. That's what matters, matter. Big Mike. No. Just to say, yo. The niggas going to try to tell you how your question is going to matter. They're going to try to they gonna try to spin it. And I asked the motherfucking question. Facts. So you can't tell me how you're going to answer my question. You're going to answer the question I want you to answer, or you're going to continue to deflect it. Hold on, hold on. Actual land and money matters. Real hold estate on. is and real. what I told you. I told you I was gonna let you cook. I knew real this, estate look, I told is you. real. I told you. Real the estate is real. Real estate ain't per capita. You see this? Real right? property ownership is real. Big Mike, Big Mike. Okay, Big Mike. Let me. Let me. The caveat to people that um may be confused. And Tiki was trying to get me cook. I told you I was gonna let you cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. How that nasty shit taste, niggas? Yeah. Dia, I need y'all to understand that, you know, corporations can own property too. Corporations can own property too. Colonists yeah, can too. Co co colonizers own property too. I think that, that's the, that's, <laughs> see, that's the thing that's fucking missing from this. That's why I ain't want to bring this part up. <laughs> I ain't, I'll just wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait. Mind you, in other countries, in other countries, you can't even own property, like real estate. Like the other countries country. have for them from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they over here laughing. They got they they full belly laughing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> he said full belly laughing. JB, JB, no, 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 JB. What you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to educate them, but you got to let them talk. Because hey, they're gonna Jedi talk themselves into a corner, and what he what, what, what was Jedi doing? Smack, uh, smack, swatting flies. Were they landed on his face? <laughs> hey, bro, cook, bro. You got carb blanche. Do whatever. I'm not messing for. with y'all. I'm not messing with y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm up here trying to have a nice smooth. I'm trying to see stuff up all over the place. The views expressed <laughs> on the world class is of myself. I take full responsibility for everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you clown niggas want to smoke, I trash you niggas. Want my, wife, my wife, like, why is smoothie all over the table? Because I'm spitting out laughing at Big Mike, bro. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, they started it, bro. Hey, I'm one of the people like, you don't, you started it. I, 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 I don't start nothing, but I will escalate yes, that shit. Yes, get this nigga, man. Get this nigga. You want me to get him, man? Oh, wow. I will get this nigga. Get this Fuck nigga. these people. <laughs> Kata. He's a Kata. I do not fuck with these men. Or... I, I work hard. 
Idiot. He's telling you right now without even telling you is that he don't know what he's talking about. It's crazy that he said let him talk when we just did that. Let him beat his point that he said early. But you know, right. it's cute. Narcissist. So go ahead. Per capita doesn't matter. It doesn't. That one well, doesn't matter. matter. Because if 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 per capita, let's just say immigrants, 50% of immigrants own property, that's still not gonna be as many acres as 25% of the natives owning it. Property is real. We're talking about real shit. That's crazy. Mind you, he's forgetting he said generating wealth. Person person purchasing an insurance policy produces wealth. Purchasing property produces wealth. Right. So if it's if 25% of us own property and we outnumber them by I don't know fucking 25 million. Uh, we generate more, but you just got your arrogant up ass up there and said immigrants generate the most money on the, from people that were born here. Right. When the average when the average paycheck in Nigeria is seven hundred and forty dollar U.S. dollars a month, seven hundred and forty U.S. dollars a month is the average paycheck for the average Nigerian on the planet. Not the not not counting the ones that come here and make a million dollars a year, because as we know, there's no such thing as affluence by uh, association. Facts. My money's my money. Your money's your money. I can't be like I'm rich because Noble got money. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like of, he made it for us. Yeah, exactly. The state of, the state of Maryland <laughs> got money. I'm rich. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. But let's play another game. Let's play another game. I would really like these brothers that was on that panel since we were talking about property ownership. Let's see who was actually in apartments and who actually was in the house they own. <laughs> If my, gym, back. If my, 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 my back my back hurts from yesterday from cutting grass blowing the yard and edging it and then my wife got off work and came out there with her nails and helped me all right man, I'm like, hey, hey yo i'm just hey. saying my my back hurt from watching the immigrant cut mine while i was sipping lemonade <laughs> my chair was too soft that's what i'm talking about bro <laughs> Mike show my shots, man. Oh my chair was too soft, my nigga. Big, 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 but hey, but big, my ain't. Let's not talk about. Oh, let's talk ahead, about apartments. Look, versus houses. Let's talk about property. Jonathan, so man, I appreciate you. I'm going to let him talk, man. I'm trying to talk to Jonathan. Let him talk. Jonathan, let me just ask you a question. I appreciate no, you, no, no, no. Let him talk. Look, I'm not a speech pathologist. I ain't come here to talk about tone. I'm this thing I'm nothing to do with speech I, I'm pathology. I'm pretty busy. No, nope, I'm a C student too. I came to talk about the. I came to talk about the topic. This is the facts. No, no, don't stop now. Come on, bro. Let's have a conversation. I, I came to talk about the topics, bro. You don't want to talk anymore. Wait, baby, wait, baby. If you, you let me answer, minutes. if you let me answer the question, you can ask me a question. Okay, go ahead. Answer the question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's the question. Jonathan wanted to ask me a question. No, no, Jonathan. Jonathan is holding off for one second, uh, courtesy of me. So I would like to have a conversation with you about. Well, let's have a conversation, brother. Okay, cool. Okay, you and I. Let's have a conversation. I'm here. So you help me to everybody else but me. Engage me. Okay, I'm right with you. I'm right okay. with you. What do you want to know from me? So I'm yeah, trying yeah, to understand yeah, yeah, why put them, it, put them two up without us. I'm trying to understand why it doesn't matter about per capita when it comes to property real mm -hmm. estate it does not matter about per capita why not because you're still not going to have as much real estate are you talking about you want the majority I'm talking of about houses land acres acres me, me too right. i'm talking about real estate right okay so i'm talking about people that own property which is uh -huh. the only thing that's worth something in, the, in this country you do understand that right it's not yeah, no, that's the only thing that's worth something is property. Oh, that. That's the whole constitution is based off of property. It's not. No. Only... Oh, all right. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I'm not. Go ahead. <laughs> you see, because most people would think life, liberty, and happiness is really life, liberty, and property. No, it's not. Yeah. You could only vote if you owned property. Mm -hmm. Sis, if you're watching this, just I know you you having a conniption fit right now. I'm, I'm, I can't hear my brain. Look, I don't like this niggas, little boy. Them niggas think they English subjects anyway. Them some God saved the queen ass niggas. So go back and read some John Locke. 
Read some Thomas Hobbes and you'll uh, understand. Life, liberty, and property is a philosophy introduced by John Locke in England. Y'all niggas are supposed to be the English citizens. God save the queen. Y'all niggas the British subjects over here. Why do I know more about it than you? Bro, I'm having a conniption fit, bro. I, I, uh, okay, let's just go. Uh, uh. Property. You understand that? True. You can that vote. That is true. That's a fact, bro. Anybody can vote. You. you don't have to own property to vote. I'm talking about from the. What? What the fuck are you talking about? What? He said property. He didn't say property rights. Why are you talking about vo yo? This kid is grossly, grossly incompetent. It's and I was talking about stupid. at the founding of the country is nobody outside of property owners could vote. That's why women couldn't vote for so long because women couldn't own property. This That's why a, black folks couldn't vote because black folks couldn't own property. This is a pet peeve of mine, yo. I I, I, I snaps on people not knowing law and talking about that shit. I just gotta. I didn't, I didn't crush my own community on this shit. I, I snaps on them too. If you don't know law, please shut the fuck up. I have a feeling my brother will be learning about law pretty soon. He gonna have no choice. It's he gonna have no choice. Talking he, gonna, he gonna have the one. He gonna want to come for me. Type of shit going on about him right now. He was an idiot, bro. Fuck this voting have to do with anything? The, set, the, the settling of this country. <laughs> so I'm talking about what really matters. What's really valuable. Money is not valuable. Money's paper. We're what does that have to do with? That's why per capita doesn't mean shit when it comes to real assets and property. So wait a minute. You telling me? You telling me that the only asset that matters is property? The only asset that matters that's not based on a per capita is property. Property is real estate. So just to get clear before we start to kick it in. You're having a hard time understanding stuff because y'all spent 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, no, I understand perfectly. I, I didn't want to make sure. Bro. That's why I, I was about to leave. Why are you being emotional? I thought we were going to have a conversation. It's not emotional. Trust me. It's you didn't emotional. even let me talk. All I did was ask you qualifying you questions. A lot. I didn't say anything yet. I was asking questions. Ask me what it's 22. It's about to be 23 minutes. You've been talking a lot. What you want to add? By the way, happy birthday, too. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. This is going to be a great birthday gift for me. Yeah, I've been looking for it. Go ahead. So, so <laughs> what you're saying, just to make sure that I'm clear before we really get into this, is that the only thing that matters is property, correct? That's the only asset that matters. I listened very well. And you said it's the only property, only thing that is valuable outside of per capita. And he, all of a sudden, he put in per capita by itself. So. Like he's just. just are you intentionally saying per capita by itself, saying property by itself? You put both of those things together twice. Do you realize per capita is the only way New Orleans and Chicago could make themselves even remotely appear to be safe cities? Per capita the only way New York can make itself remotely seem to be a safe city is by using per capita. Mm -hmm. It's compartmentalizing. The use of uh, per capita uh, only is qualified people. numbers so big that you can't, you, that's the only way to quantify and to and to get a point across for statistics but per capita doesn't really mean anything in real life it's just an average yeah if you nigga got a gun in your face in chicago <clears throat> you can't depend on what the per capita crime rate was let's go let's move forward we're getting closer to disrespect though no that's not what i'm saying Okay, can you help me in? But what y'all are trying to make a uh, you're trying to make a a, a, a a argument that's basically saying that because first of all, immigrants make up 10% of the black population. So if 50% of the immigrants own populate own, own property, that's five percent, right? Kurt, well, five percent uh, yeah, exactly. So that's why per capita does not matter. That's why per capita does not matter. So here's why it does matter though. Own. Yeah, we don't own yeah. as much as we own. But here's why it does matter. Because when you start to add, add that into the equation, you're saying it from the perspective of total property owned in the United States, right? But what I'm saying is that if 10% of the population is doing better than, as far as per capita, then the majority of the... 
I, I can't. <laughs> Being in sales, we already know what you're going with it. Your point is to keep saying oh, somebody's winning and somebody's losing. So you have to bind and limit the question and your, your, your wording down to that point. When the original thing that you said was immigrants are producing more wealth, you didn't say by per capita. We're not right. going to, you can't play those games over here. And then he switched to per capita. When I brought up that the numbers <laughs> didn't add up, then the nigga switched to per capita. Wait that's why that that's automatically what? became. But see, they're gonna try to switch it to where they can win. What what Jay Z say? Alibi's not matching up. Bullshit catching up. <laughs> right. It, it was comical, bro. It it was bad, man. It's not good. He's pretty bad. And the bad nigga at thought this. he was cooking. He reminded me of a white girl who be yeah. thinking she could cook, but she putting raisins and and shit and paprika on shit. <laughs> You know, what raising that yo, wait a minute, yo, yo, that actually happened in my family, man. Do not say that. I'm not, I'm about to get in trouble for just saying that. Oh my god. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yo, y'all should have seen the way my wife looked at me. Like, did she just? Oh, no, no. That's oh, funny. Don't get in trouble, bro. <laughs> the people that were born here, the African descendants of slaves, and they owned in less than ten percent of the property. Right. But immigrants own 50 percent. Black immigrants own 50 percent of the property. Then the question is. Not, so now it's black immigrants, not whether or not more property is owned in the United States. The question we should be asking ourselves is why are they doing it more effectively than the people that were born here? And we don't hunt, we don't want to have that conversation because. The conversation is not to be had because the majority of y'all aren't doing good. So if I'm the only person that's rich in my family, I can't really go anywhere and be like, oh, my family's doing great. And it's 20 po motherfuckers that's back in Alabama. <laughs> this nigga talking you, about You see what I'm know. saying? But I'm in Africa talking about how great my family doing and everybody else back in Alabama, dirt poor. That, this nigga, that's a this great nigga talking about who doing, they, they're doing better. You have a smaller group. You have a smaller group. You have less mitigation to deal with in anything in life resource management and business you have to deal with your bottom line the more the merrier like big said more money more problems you have millions of people you have multiple opportunities for shit to fuck up it's not even including any type of cointel pro on those specific people it's not including anything else when you have more people you have more problems so if you have a small group of people their numbers are not going to be reflective of the people that's been here already you don't get uh you don't we don't get special stuff just because we bro were born here as a release the money we got to grow up we have to be educated here they were educated there and here is there and here more or less than just here they have more education when they come here they have theirs maybe piss poor but they have a different perspective they have a different culture right and when we when me and big sis get together we're going to put together a slide and show how these people are label a lot of these immigrants are they are classified as white and they're getting more privileges because that's what it's about right and i just i just don't it's weak because he always want to bind it down to who's winning and who's losing that's that's the and then you're using fake you're using this that's why i can't stand narcissists you're using disingenuous you keep saying disingenuous when you're being it from the beginning to the end I and i just we're we winning of course we win. Why wouldn't we be winning? I would say we got any fucking polls to be here. Why wouldn't winning. we be winning? Because we're not in a country where we make up the majority. First and foremost, we weren't forced to leave our countries because some minorities came in and took that motherfucker over and deprived us of our resources. And we're the reason y'all niggas here. I mean, so you know, and y'all are niggas. I just do want to let y'all know that. Right. Y'all niggas. Right. It, that wake up call just a little delayed right now, but it's coming. We get emotional. But we start using, effective? or you don't want to let me talk? I'm just asking what's more effective. The the 10% that owns, when 50% of the 10% owns property. What are the key what's more effective? What are the key performance indicators of a? I'll give you an example. I'll give you a perfect example, right? All right. Do you know what race of people actually is generating the most revenue in their households? 
in the United States? Asians. Well, who else? It's actually not Asians, but okay. Besides Asians white are people. number two. It's number Indians two is Asian. and Asians. It's Indians and Asians. Hey, um, are Indians not in Asia? Hey, uh, uh, Anton Daniels fans. Hey, um, y'all stupid. Because India has been in Asia. Let me see how many years. Um... I don't Since know, three or four thousand, five thousand. Yeah. Since Arabs, are, Arabs are Asian. <laughs> Arabs are Asian. Right. Indians are Asian. Right? Right. Like, this kid just says anything. But what I mean is, uh, oh, what could you oh mean, dumb boy? Like, he's oh a, like this kid is just. All right, man. That's mm. second, bro. Hey man, I said them. I'm. I'll, I'll be right back. Hey man, hey man, <laughs> brother Bernard. I, listen, bro. Mm. I, I was waiting for you to make that steel face again, just that stone face. Yo, I was gonna lose it. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna lose it because. And when you do that right there, when you just put your head out and shake your head, it's like it's even. That's even funnier to me, man. It's just like. You don't know what to say because I do this at work all the time. <laughs> when people, I do it. I do. I do this at work all the time for people who think they're so smart. And this is mostly what my own kind, but black and white people, right? You know, but just people in general. I just sit there. I just sit there and listen. And let you okay. And then this is why I get everybody. I want everybody to listen this and listen to this in the chat. I do the mirror effect. I'm a life coach because what life coaches do. We repeat exactly back what you said slowly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And usually I get cut off, Noble. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Well, hold up. We need to stop then. Let's try this again. What did you mean to say? Then I do it again. I call it the mirror effect. I'm going to say exactly back to you what you said. Right. The conversation never ends with, I don't care if it's your, your spouse, your wife, anybody i mean i even get my wife with it sometimes but i was like all right remember what you're saying because you know i'm gonna repeat what you said so i can make sure that i heard you right this is all what's going on here people and people don't even get it if you want to win any debate i don't i think arguments are ignorant ignorant because when you're arguing you're trying to fit you're trying to argue about who's right instead of what's right that's how i feel facts. about that facts facts <laughs> Right. Okay, so I don't believe in arguments. Let's debate and say why you feel this way. Okay, boom. But this right here, this is what I call the mirror conversation. If anybody in the chat, anybody ever watched this video, that's all you got to do is repeat exactly what somebody said to you. I promise you, you will always be in the in, in the wind zone. Just repeat what they said. Because they don't realize what they said didn't sound right and sound crazy. Just saying. I'm just saying. And this is without dogging. And you see what I'm doing. This is without dogging specifically Anton. That's why I said as a blanket statement, this mm -hmm. is in about it. But when you continue to do it and you don't want to learn from that, that's when it becomes a problem. Right um, there. Getty <laughs> right radio, there. Getty Radio shit. Um, I'm sorry. Getty Radio Show says, we went because we didn't flee. We stayed and chose to fight the powers that be. Facts. And to your point, exactly. To your point, we, we've, we've pretty much proven that. You know, without even saying anything, is letting this dude kick his own ass with his own his own perspectives. He can't get out his own goddamn way. This shit's just dumb. <laughs> this shit, bro, you can't. I but I was on that show, bro, and I and I was like, I was told to one dude, the dude that called himself Scam Likely. I'm like, bro, if you ever in your life have to sit across the table from me and do business, I'm gonna take all your shit from you. This little boy right here, you could never in life. Never in life sit across the table for me without me taking your shit. I would take everything from you. You too stupid to know how stupid you are. And you you would do the same thing that they would do. Sit in front of me and then go get an attorney. I eat them for fucking lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. Judges for breakfast. Because no, most of these motherfuckers don't know law. They know procedure. Nope. No they procedure. don't know law. The, and, and, and money, money, what's sad, not sad, what's the truth is, money is more law than law itself when it comes to that. And everybody knows what I'm saying when I say that. Or at least what dictated, what dictated each, each country is money. Or what we call exactly. money. Property. Exactly. Niggas came and started their own country because they want to have their okay. own money. Watch this. Okay. Get it. Get it. I know where get it from. Get it from Durham. You from Baltimore. I'm in the Norfolk area. So we, we, we know these major cities, right? 
All of us know somebody who got off early. Why? Money. And we they done did some dirty stuff in the streets. Like you like, and when you you catch yourself, they be like, how that? Never mind. You catch yourself. You know that you know you know everybody got paid off. Like sweep it under the rug. It had nothing to do with uh uh what was that Matt Damon movie when he was uh he was a great lawyer. It had nothing to do with that. It had nothing to do you giving a great speech like your boy did and uh with Samuel Jackson, uh where they said he did that thing to the girl and he gave it very every now and then, okay. Every but most of the time, bro, mm -hmm. money. Money talks and the rest walks. And I and that's just how America is. Anybody that don't know that, man, I mean you you I can't even say you under rock, you're just not paying attention. Like my mom used to tell me. Oh, you on number nine, you got one more to do. You looking at TV, my mom will borrow the paper up. I had one more problem to do. Start over. You're gonna learn how to pay attention. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good lesson right there. That's a good lesson. You see what right I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You going I don't care you at the last point. I need you to pay, I need your full attention. Right. Because what I figured out was, and this is this is what's going on right here. People are addicted to distractions and they don't even know it. Mm -hmm. You can't stay on one topic, you all over the you addicted to distractions. Stick everywhere. This nigga everywhere. <laughs> Stick everywhere. He's just saying anything, my nigga. Just saying anything. Just saying anything. And this is why I keep saying a lot of people brought the church mentality over to YouTube because <laughs> if you go to my church, if you go to my church or you are you are you are one of my subscribers, you're gonna believe anything I say because you believe in me and you believe everything that I say. That's buying, dangerous. Buying into persona and not principle. Exactly what Pocket Watcher was talking about last night. Facts. Y'all I'm back on, fam. What's happening? Yeah, yeah we, oh, good, we, man. I wanna good. I mean I might even go y'all listen. I'm going in today. I got today. I got time because I got time today. I got time. I need to find that clip. Was I'm all play it? But I'm uh, good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. Time. Let's get busy, bro. Because <laughs> I want to get to this disrespect. Because we want to, we want to highlight. If we're not attacking this dude because he get money, because he women winning, we we attacking. We at this dude for how disrespectful he was to us. Because when you you attack the village, you attack the village. You attack one village member, you attack all of us. You don't get to walk off and do that. Y'all don't know how to be a nation. We're gonna show you how to be a nation. Okay, but they are they are not a large majority of the population though. Okay. Does it still matter? It doesn't matter as far as that's concerned. Why doesn't why don't it matter? We're talking about if, if Indian and Asians are generating the most revenue in their households, but they're not a significant part of the population. Are you telling me that that does not matter? I, I'm, I'm you confusing me, bro. Oh, now you confused. You know, I, what I'm talking I, about. I, I am because we're going all over the place. I'm using I'm that example. Property. Use an example about property. I am. Okay. And I'm bringing it back let, for you. Okay. Let, let me, me give you a property me. example. So if, let me if, bring if, that back for you. If me, me you buy a tractor property and I get goddamn, it, it, say it's a 20, a 20 acre tractor property. Let's use an example that's real. <laughs> if you and I go in on a 20, a 20 acre tractor property, right? If I get 17 of those acres and you get three of those acres, I still own more than you. You don't want to you don't want to continue to have that conversation, bro, because that's why you keep interrupting me. So All let right. me bring it back for you. It's the same example as immigrants, black immigrants. If 50 percent of black immigrants are being overly successful, when you compare that to, to the majority of the people that's here, it still matters because. But the word overly matters. So why are they overly successful? That doesn't really make any sense. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need some headache to you. Noble, noble. Uh -huh. They're overly successful because their example of what success is is set very low based right. off of what they grew up seeing. And if you're, even if you didn't grow up seeing it and your parents grew up seeing it, the, the expectations are still very low where you're from. The other thing as is as opposed that, to us who grow up somewhere where the expectations have always been high. The, the, the bigger factor is the, is the word that I said before starting it. And it's and this disingenuous, this disingenuous, that. So y'all that's watching this recording for this, please record this part. Free to use it. The thing with immigrants versus us, remember that we are three-fifths of a person. Victim Olympics, victim. We label this three-fifths of a person. 
Dress Scott has not been repealed. That we don't have rights, we have privileges. That's a fact. Black is not a nationality. It's a classification. These immigrants have an and have. Let me slow down. These immigrants, these Asians and Indians you mentioned, have an entire fucking nation behind them. A nation behind them. They're in our nation with another fucking nation that has treaties with these United States, commerce with these United States. So there are things that that other fucking nation put in place for them when they get here. You stupid motherfucker. You don't know nothing about nationality because you don't have one. That's the part you will never bring up. And don't want one. Facts. You can't add to that conversation. Ooh. You can't you can't counter that part because you don't have a nationality. You never did. And no nation's gonna uh, gonna take in a piece of shit motherfucker who don't bang with his own people. That's what you're too stupid to understand. What we're saying is that, or what we're seeing, and this is one of the reasons why you see colleges and they recruit people, they, they recruit Asians and they recruit um, specific people from certain demographics that's winning. And these are the people that's becoming doctors and these are the people that's becoming lawyers. And then ultimately they become property owners and things like that. If they're doing it more successfully and we bring it back to the conversation, the initial conversation, my question is why would you get upset when they tell you a, a truth just because you don't like their tone if they're being successful in a way in which they're buying property and being successful in a country. Well, before I took my little hiatus, I told you tone doesn't matter to me. Tone Facts. That's exactly what you said. I was thinking the same shit. Tone is something my wife cares about when I'm talking to her. Okay. I'm a man. Tone don't matter to me. Just okay. say what you got to say. So that's why I stepped out on the tone conversation. But what you I'm saying, answer the question. I'm not answering the question about you know that neck again. It's not about tone. It's why are we not looking to them for inspiration and understanding as to what how they're becoming successful? This right here irritated the shit out of me. Why the fuck? Inspiration. Am I gonna That's what you yeah, bro. It's irritated the shit out of me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Hold on. Ahead, I know. I know some Filipinos. I know some Asians. Here's the rule, and most of them have broke that that I know now. If you're not a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, in their culture, you're considered a failure. If anybody don't believe me, go ask any of them right now. So the ones that you see owning like the Chinese stores <laughs> and, and the cooking shops, they kind of look down on them, but they still in business for themselves. And they still don't they still don't rock. You still don't see their ass in the grocery store. Call it like it is, people. They still deal with each other. Only. Right. But that little point that he made, I know a lot of Asians and Filipinos. And that's the story. They, oh no! If you're not an engineer, doctor, or lawyer, your parents consider you a failure. That's those are facts. Mm -hmm. I grew up around them. So he's talking about they come over here. They're doctors. That's because some of them are forced. I can tell you what. A lot of them not happy because they hey. don't want to do that. They don't, bro. All right, that's their culture, though. I'm just saying that's their culture, and there's and, nothing and against their culture. And if I'm gonna look to anybody for inspiration, it would be Indians or Asians, not y'all niggas. Bruh. <laughs> Period. Bruh. Bruh. And that's, and that's culture back home and here. Bruh. This dude goes on <laughs> and says, the other party says he don't, he don't, he don't choose race first. He don't pick out people. He don't choose by race. He choose people that's dope. That's what he said. So your 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 pick. Wait, wait, look for these people for inspiration. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? We, why would we be looking for them for inspiration when they haven't done what we done in the same country? Like, what are you talking about? If we were Again. inspired by y'all, we would flee our country and go somewhere else and get handouts until we came up. If we were inspired by y'all niggas. Just to be honest. I can't. Yo, this kid blows my mind, bro. Hey, we be wearing them little white wigs in court and shit like y'all niggas. Wear. <laughs> the powdered wigs. Yeah, with the Prince outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Lagging, lagging. Am I lagging? Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, you good? I see. No, no, you good? You good? I mean, the little, the little wigs with the Prince outfit. Mm -hmm. It's funny. We got y'all niggas dressed up like little jockeys. 
running around that bitch. Why won't we look for them? Look to them for inspiration. Again, this dude hates his own people because of how it, it, it need to compete with us. So you can go with the immigrants, which would include these colonists, in my perspective. Um, you would go with them because you are Anton Daniels, Jonathan Barrenville, in your respective places, yet the Lord told him Paul in the gene pool. He wasn't as fast as the rest of us, tall as the rest of us, wasn't as smart as the rest of us. <laughs> And you vexed because you got to watch us rock off and you didn't get that shit off. And that's what this shit is about. That's why, Brother Bernard, the other day, you heard me talking about, I don't understand why people think success is a revenge because I watched this dickhead said it. He said this shit. And success is a revenge to you trying to get people back because you took all these L's all through, through your life. That's why you'll say some mm -hmm. dumb shit while we can't look to a bunch of immigrants as inspiration, as if it's no inspiration amongst our people. That's, let's not even say that. As if there's not more than enough mm. inspiration amongst our people that are alive today. Mm. Not even going in history. What are mm. you looking to those? As he just agreed with you, 10% of the population. I'm gonna look to them. I'm, I'm a 10%. I'm gonna I'm I'm look through 10% of the population. I got all these niggas here. Bruh, all these, all, all, and they, look, all the brothers here because, look, I don't know if y'all seen it with James Earl Jones. They did a movie. There was a dude before Martin Luther King. He was like equivalent to Malcolm X or worse in the South. Go, going back big up the big Mike. This dude was in the South. When I say he went hard, they had to bring Martin Luther King to put on the forefront. Yeah, I forgot he his went name. that hard. I forgot, I forgot his forgot name. Forgot so his why, name. once again, going back to I Big Mike, that. talking about, hey, look, I'm going to tell y'all, the South is the shit. If you, and me and Big Mike was talking about this last night. If you don't understand that, you got a lot to learn. A whole yeah. lot to learn, a whole lot to learn because a lot of people, and I still got, I, I still got the leads down there, down there in Tennessee. I got, I got deep family down in the South. A lot of them, you talking about y'all coming over here, my bit might people, some of noble people, especially bit might people. And you were saying some of Gail people, they didn't leave. They still down there, man. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you thought. I'm going to look up to them way before I'm looking up to somebody from another country. Yeah, because we actually died for getting it. We actually died for getting it. Exactly. Where, they, where everybody keeps saying that you can't get it. No, they down there getting it. Man, look, I grew up, I grew up <laughs> with, with new cars, swimming pools, family with yards, houses, property, hunting camps, mm -hmm. fishing camps, boats. You know what I'm saying? Grew up with all that yeah. shit. And, and, yeah. and, 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 and I'm not just an isolated incident. It's a lot mm -hmm. of other people that look like me that grew up with the same things. I yeah. grew up seeing the same things. There's towns we can go to. We got roads named after us. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. We got streets exactly. named after us. Exactly. Exactly. You and know why? Why people? Yeah. Why people? Because nobody ran. They stayed. They stayed. People got to get that. And man, what's that house a bit? Mike, bit Mike. I know you and Gail know this. It's down in New Orleans. I think it's a. Um, I think it's a tourist attraction where, where the slaves kept running the slave masters out of the damn plantation. What what is I that spot? I can't, I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, yeah. They were talking about them on one of the documentaries, like, yo, they kept overthrowing the masters. Like they yo, they didn't play, bro. Um damn. I forgot funny. the name of it. But they think. and they bro, they yo, they were not playing. It's not a game. It's stuff like that that I look, you know, I, I look up to, man, because I, I mean all three of us. But his, some other people his, I know, we, we would have been fighters. I know I, I, I would have died for the his, call. His value call. system, Anton's value <laughs> system, is none of the stuff that we're talking about. Dude. No, no, no. He no. never would have got out of slavery if they would have came earlier. If mm. they would have let them come before the civil rights movement was over, we would have never got out of it. You're right. They'd have had a ruling class. <laughs> They'd have had a, a bunch of niggas to put over truth. Well, it's you would have a bunch of happy banjo playing slaves over here that was happy because they doing just a little bit better they than know. where they last slave masters were. Right. Once, once again, Bit Mike and Nova, what did I say before? Harriet ran into the same problem because Negroes did not want to leave the plantation. I wish they would do a, a documentary on how many niggas Harriet Tubman had to shoot. Exactly. Thank you. 
ain't, we ain't even gonna get into yeah, that. She carried right. that don't, gun don't for do, a reason. They need to do a documentary bruh, and don't get no bruh. fucking Nigerian to play them. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll bruh. play any damn part just to have, just to be on. Man, Harriet, bruh. Harriet was tribe, man. Yeah. She's, she, she's indigenous. She's, yeah, she's a tribe. She ain't from over there. Yeah, Harriet yeah. Tubman was shooting niggas. Yeah, because because they were trying to yes. See, see, I I was gonna bring that up. I said, well, no, I ain't gonna go there. Thank you, Big Mike. Yeah, Thank you, Big Mike. Drop. I would I would <laughs> love you. I would love just to just to get a Thank you. An illustration of that. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let this guy That's cook some more. That they, they not born in. I don't really have to because I'm never gonna go to a country I wasn't born in to live. I'm never gonna you do, have that. To do with the question, I, dude. I'm answering your question. You said, "Why won't I look at a, a Not image? you specifically? Why won't people go I, and, go and try to understand how another group of people are being successful instead of retreating back to their own devices and their own ways of doing things that are obviously not working for them?" I, like I, 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 you know, I don't get it, bro. I don't get what you're saying. Like I said, if I'm never going to go to another country that I'm not born in to live for any reason, then why would I be looking to anybody for inspiration? Why aren't they looking to us for inspiration as to how we became billionaires and millionaires up in this piece? Because it is happening. I understand you in Detroit and places like that. But like I tell Jonathan, a lot of you, you urban people, that come from urban areas y'all really y'all really think that the urban black person makes up the majority of the black population in the united states i will i will say no. different because if no. you come down to troy alabama valdosta georgia and places like that black people that are from here are not losing and these and this is the majority of the black population the majority of the black population is not in cities he, you know it's crazy it's like he's a typical little boy that he think winning is having uh, Jordans and Versace robes. Mm -hmm. That's what's that's what's pitiful about this. Is that's why I keep referring to him as a child. His mentality is childish. Winning is having stuff so you can get fit, so you can get reactions out of people. It's little. It's really childish. If you're really looking at, I, I would, I would internally, mentally, probably like twelve or thirteen years old. His maturity is really piss poor. Now he may be trained on how to speak, but that's where it stops. It's really childish. Winning. What are you talking about? Hey, you can go to Toastmasters for free, my nigga, to learn how to get track. You ain't lying. Toastmasters, yep. But I lowered the delay. Bro, the majority of the right. black population, and it is you can the literally the majority of the black population owns land and owns property in rural areas in this country, mostly in the southeast. The majority of the black population is significantly behind all of their counterparts and every other race as far as how much they're earning in their households and as individuals. That is a fact. That is not no, nothing. No, that's a fact. I, I'm with you on that. So that's if the majority of them are losing, then what are you talking about? He said behind. He didn't say losing. But you'd like the two different things compared to immigrants. And, and, and when you when you say the word losing uh, or behind, it. it's two different things. Like you know, yeah. you know, losing is end all be all. Right. You can be behind and still really not be losing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Flip. Y'all heard me say it. It's a switch heard for me. me say it. Yeah. It's a switch yeah. for me. Hey, look what they have to put in place to keep us behind. That's deep. Look That's at deep. all of the look at all of the industries that are that are that are that that are funded to keep us behind. I constantly got to keep teaching people at 36 years old, people with degrees, etymology, parsing, syntax. So you don't know how to read, you don't know how to go through shit, you don't know how fun it actually is. When you discover stuff and that that's been kept from us that's a part of the what they had to do to keep us down shit. the second y'all know how to do that shit, shit gonna change you it's gonna blow your motherfucking mind you can be like yo what the fuck it ain't nothing they can put out where they not telling for me when you have my skill set everything that they put out they tell them on themselves right so i talk like i talk so i can pick up shit. you tell them you can't put nothing in front of me without you snitching 
Right. Because oh, I understand the process. Getty oh, Radio put in the in the comments, Tariq Nasheed and Dr. Francis Chris Welsing is his inspiration. And I'll say this: I have to add He's Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. to that list mm -hmm. as well. Neely Fuller Jr. Yeah, is, is yes. that that dude? And yes. it, he'll let you know. Anything else is gonna confuse you. And if you and that, notice, that, these niggas be having way more questions than points. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that's the telltale sign of being confused unless you're an attorney is asking a bunch of damn questions and never mm -hmm. really formulating your own point on it you just answer questions with questions and do you feel about yeah. it because you're confused yeah filibuster right <laughs> yeah you're confused but what about this but Jesus what about Christ. that no they're losing in general yeah man this this conversation ain't going nowhere let everybody else come back on because I don't know what, what you're really talking about. You know about. what's going on. No, I really don't, bro, because my lifestyle is different. I really don't. But then if you if it's I your really lifestyle that's really different, then why are you arguing arguing on behalf of black people in a general sense then? That's because you're trying to establish what you're saying as a fact, and it's not a fact. It's not that he don't qualify to speak for the people, is that the shit that you're saying as being a standard for our people is losing when it's not. I, I can't I don't like the shit. I don't like that little girl con artist shit. Well, well, see, you all you did was put, man, whatever makes fire to the four hundred degrees. You have done that since I met you. You a bit might drop. So, I'm not speaking for that. people. I'm not speaking for the people. This is why I'm saying this because I'm dissecting what you just said. I'm not speaking for the people if they don't agree with me. So stop saying I'm speaking for the damn people. Don't right. put what I'm doing. Big mic drop or noble is not speaking for the people. They speaking for the people that believes or agrees with them, but they not speaking for the people. Come on, man. Come on, man. How much you want us to break it down? I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break it down to like my mama said back in the day. Like my mama Wait, said, I'm gonna break it down to where a child can understand. Hey, but then when you try to speak about they people, they ain't got no words. Oh, they they they, they got a lot of words for the immigrants, immigrants and the white people. They they fight for them. But they ain't got no words for they people back in their country. Of course not. These niggas trying to get as far away from who they are as possible. They they want to they wanna protect their benefactor. Yeah. But I think in situations like this, when you have an asshole that's talking bad about a people, me, I'll speak up for them. I will. If you're bad enough to, to, to be up there and talk bad about a whole people, I'll, I'll speak. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm, I keep saying everybody ain't black. But if you'll sit up there and say that black culture is trash and they can't, they can't or don't defend it, I'll defend it. If you that bad, I'm the type of person to go there. Because when you loud and you up there, right, then right. you're you, you challenging the world. Well, right. well, you know what? I think I'm the baddest motherfucker in the world. I don't think nobody can fuck with me. So, you you know, you got you can't take my spot. Right. That's what you do when you challenge the Internet. You're challenging all of us. OK, nigga, you challenge me. He right. kept saying, you know, <laughs> oh, all you got to make the world worse. I'm coming for you. So I nigga, I come to you, and I came to the little peep show, and I kicked your little supporters' ass, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. I trashed him shits. Then your little protege, Jonathan Barrenville, came to the show again, and I trashed his ass, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. That shit is on there, on the internet forever. Oh yeah, that's forever. Ain't a motherfucking thing you can do about it, cause you're not good enough. Oh yeah, that's that's that 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 right there gonna ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit, they're gonna ride, cuz because I'm a black person. Who else am I gonna come argue on behalf of in the general sense? Y'all come on here every day and argue for men in a general sense, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, you, don't you? Do you not argue for men in a general sense? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. When you talk, mm -hmm. why are you calling for Jesus now? It's a devastating point. Oh, by the way, the same Jesus you don't give no thanks publicly to for having such a great life either. Thanks. Uh oh. See, see y'all just pay attention. Y'all that, that do the little videos on them, pay it. This is how you do it. You just beat his talking points. Ain't that what Kevin Samuel said? Ain't that who he follow? Just, okay. just crush his talking points. You don't gotta go to the personal stuff. You really don't have to. Me, I you know, I would do it, but I'm gonna do it eventually. Because I think he's extremely disrespectful. But you can just trust trash his talking points. Just take it and clip it. Y'all free to clip it. Put it on your own shit. I don't care. Um, do whatever you need to do. But this is how you trash him. 
Yeah. Oh, do you like him? You just beat them like I did with Jonathan. Beat that ass like like Brother Bernard was talking about. I'm going to beat the shit out of you with your own talking points. Dumb as fuck. So easy to do. Little delay is coming in. So I'm a black person. I'm coming to argue for black people in a general sense. Hey, no, no you said you was arguing for yourself. You ain't say you was arguing for black no, people. When you're when talking you're and choosing, you you're picking and choosing when it's convenient for the argument, when you want to refer to yourself or when you want to refer to people as a whole. You weaving in and out in order to try to justify your argument and you all. And you're not weaving? No, I'm not. I'm answering what, questions. What, what, what are you answering? You're just talking. What are you answering? Okay, cool. Let me break it down to you like I'm here to remind you to stay away from vaping and be a group. Ian. Oh, I couldn't see it. I bet. I ain't cut that shit out. And be a team player. Visit therealcost.gov. Like this, right? I couldn't see it. I'm going to break it down for you, right? I break it down. I'm, look, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at this. what you was drinking. These niggas had fucking have to drink conversation. The median household income for African Americans Where? population population forty one million six hundred thousand is forty three thousand dollars. Okay, that's a fact. Okay, what's the median income for the other groups? You can't do it without a control. Indian. The median household income is one hundred and twenty six thousand dollars. Okay, how many Indians are here compared to black people? Four million people. Since you want per capita. Four million people. Okay, so four million people, that median income is going to be based off a smaller control group, right? Correct. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? What I'm telling you is that I'm starting to understand. Finish the next group. The next group? Yes. Finish the next group. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let's Asian Americans. About, Asian Americans. Let's talk about Caribbean. Wait, no, 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 no. A Asian Americans. Population, eighteen million. Between eighteen and twenty-two million. Average household income, eighty-seven thousand dollars. Right. That nigga so happy to have food at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got rich crackers. <laughs> oh boy, I can't. Oh Ooh, boy. shit. Oh boy! But the numbers he's given, <laughs> as an as the amount of people go up, the income is coming down. And as I said, these people have a nation back in them. Asian Americans includes Japanese, <laughs> Chinese, hey, includes a lot of people. All the above will whip your black ass and get you out their country. All the above, all the above that you mentioned, trying to talk about like they make some kind of point, will whip your ass. And get you out of their shit. That's a fact. All of them. Fact. You're not marrying their daughters. You're not finna come mm -hmm. in there and, and intermix with their families. Oh, You're not property. getting ready to come into the country and start a business. All the motherfuckers will whoop your black ass and kick you out the country. We just saw it with your cousins in the Ukraine trying to go to school. When the first African, the first university was in Timbuktu, and you you think you got Africans trying to go to school all over the world, everywhere but Africa. Hmm. It's a damn shame. Hmm. And y'all busy over here pointing at us. Like I said, we built more universities and HBCUs over here than probably rest the rest of the black world. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. White Americans, 236 million. Average income, <laughs> $66,000. So there's more of them. There's more of them and they're making more money. So both sides of your argument fail because even when it's more people, Bro, they're both. still generating more per household. When it's, less people, no, 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 hold on. when it's less people, they're generating more per household. So either way, you lose an For a guy to say something is disingenuous, you included the white people that's supposed to be native here. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me step back because we just got another revelation of how wrong he was when he said that the immigrants are the ones that produce the most money. Right? right. When when it's so many white people here making $66,000 a year, 
that there's no amount of money immigrants can produce to make it the most money. That was the difference between saying you have the most of something versus per capita. See, Mobile, Alabama has a higher per capita crime rate than Chicago, Illinois. But it ain't more killers running around Mobile, Alabama than it is in Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. It's a false sense of security. You're right. hiding behind the numbers. It's like the bitches with the with the the R move numbers and the every mm -hmm. five seconds a woman is abused and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Literally, I've been with mine for like millions of seconds, dude. I've never abused her. So you, you you know that it doesn't work. That it's not universal. It's just a number that somebody took from a certain control group and they're trying to illustrate a bigger point by scaling the number up or down. That's all it is. But like I said, y'all could keep playing these trick plays and shit like that. But at the end of the day, you get back to your country, people still dying of hunger, people still shitting in the streets, people still kidnapping school schoolhouses full of children. It's all of this shit's going on in y'all's country. But but this thing I is mean, supposed so, to he, but yeah, Anton yeah. is supposed to be from here. He's the idiot that's making this argument. He's the idiot that's talking about immigrants make more money. He caping for uh, immigrants over his own people. And the shit he said is stupid. They don't make more money than the white people that's here already. They born here too. Then you trying to beat his point. You trying to he trying to beat your point saying the white people make more per uh per capita. When when nigga they made more because of the fucking shit they did prior to getting getting here. It's like right. it's just it's for them. The fuck are you talking about? Like it's, it's a like lot it's, of stolen land behind that. It's yo the fucking yo again. And if it weren't for a computer industry and IT industry, which I think that a lot of them are trying to compete in then the Indians wouldn't be here on no whole scale basis outside of hotels and gas stations. Uh, you know, just keep it a book, man. There's some doctors, there's some lawyers. It's not really not as many lawyers as it is doctors. Everybody tend to go to the doctor, doctor, doctor route. It's how you cape for, you cape for uh, immigrants with fake information. Right. Yeah, but at the me. end of the day, like I said, you go back to where you're from to see your folks. You're probably going back to abject poverty, probably stank, and everything else. <laughs> and take Anton ass with y'all. You feel right at home. All the way across the board. No, your, argument, your argument not. does not stand up in any capacity. Because, in any guess, capacity. Guess, because guess who you guess who you brought up? Guess which two groups you brought up? None of the groups we're talking about. All right, JB. We're, we're uh, Caribbean. It, bro. We're yeah. African. Keep frustrated. Are, they, are, they, are, no, so are they included in the, the black number? Have at are it, bro. they included in the black number? You, you're not All the way it. across the board. If are you want to look at the these are my final thoughts, number. bro. Final thoughts. All the way across the board. As a community, African descendants of slaves are, are losing. They're losing the oval as a community, not as individuals. You can pick your uncle. You can talk about your own personal circumstance as a community. African descendants of slaves are losing. And the other thing that goes along with that is they're the biggest complainers. Okay. The biggest I don't know why you think that makes sense, but my response to anything like that is proof of claim. You got to prove it because that shit was just dumb. It didn't make Dude, any sense. First of all, there's no community with 42 million people inhabiting it anywhere in the world. And if you want to, like I said, you want to take the real numbers and you want to break it down as groups, nobody's losing more than y'all niggas on the planet. Nobody. Nobody's losing more than y'all niggas. The Dominican Republic shares an island with Haiti, and they still not losing as bad as Haitians. Mm. So if you really want to bring, I mean, if you really want to just like break, like they keep jumping back and forth between their individual contributions and their individual achievements, and then try to somehow tie it back to them being an immigrant no if you want to talk about the immigrant experience you have to talk about where you're from and what's going on with where you're from and why you ain't there 
You want to call us a whole community and you're going to group us in and say we losing. Nobody on the planet is losing and below Haiti. Again, at the end of the day, nobody on the planet is below our countries in Africa, Somalia, Ethiopia, these places. No. And I hate to say this, man. I hate to keep saying this, but these niggas act like they made. We are the world for us. Hmm. You would think they had commercials with black American kids starving in these other countries and they were sending money to us that they were having telethons for us when it's the other way around and it's okay. always been the other way around hold on we gotta get back into it somebody said you know, I, hate to sound, I hate to sound mean man i hate to be an asshole you know i was never the dude that called the african kids that came to my school booty scratches and none of that i was always cool with them All right because in, in a way when I, when y'all were first getting here y'all were quite pitiful I was always cool with it. Right. Because in a way, when I, when y'all were first getting here. Okay, bro. Oh, my shit, um, video and everything came off. Uh-oh. We still see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still up with all the stuff in the back. Like, the video just dropped out, so I got to put it back up. Drop these other things the fuck out. I don't know how that shit worked. It did it to me last time. Uh, just bring it back up one by one as we watch it. I ain't this shit ain't stop me, bro. Take the time today. You know, that's half the reason I don't be liking the vacation to these spots because it kills me to see how poor black people are in, in the other parts of the world. Meanwhile, uh -huh. your cousins over here caping like y'all doing all right. It's just a couple of them, it's just the ones that get a couple dollars and then they lose their motherfucking mind. Never go back. Never want to go back. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me find it. Somebody to back up for us. Um, where we at? Where we at? My bad, chat. Um, yeah, here we go. Should be up. Uh... Laughs at your point. All right, let me get this back up. If the urban areas, we are past that. Yeah, has a different opinion. Y'all specifically, it was people with a certain. What I said, you see, that's that. that... Don't right. say that, but don't oh, say the right. city. Not as individuals. You okay. can pick your uncle. You can talk about your own personal circumstance. Oh, as a community, African descendants of slaves are losing. And the other thing that goes along with that is they're the biggest complainers. Okay. They're the biggest complainers. They whine more, they complain more, they protest more, and they don't do shit. And where are you from? What, 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 what's your what's your lineage? Because you keep saying they as if you're not included. I'm and this is what I said before about the fucking Jonathan. Like you, you, you this race trader shit. Just keep letting these people talk. They expose themselves, man. You caught his ass. They complain right. more, they protest more, and they don't do shit. And where are you from? What, what what what's your what's your lineage? Because you keep saying they as if you're not included. I'm not. Because I don't you? align myself. I don't align myself with anybody based off a of race. But you wild, boy. No, I'm not. I told you. What you said, Big Boy? You wild, boy. That nigga wild. <laughs> you can't make this goofy, stupid, retarded shit up. You say it with pride, like with you and your echo chamber. That makes sense, there. And that's and that's supposed to be game. Yeah, that's supposed to be game. You're supposed to give your child to go out in these streets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's spitting now. He's talking now. He dropped. That's a mic drop, man. Yeah, drop the mic. I don't choose off. I don't choose off race. I don't choose based off race. Meanwhile, the fucking face you're using, a lot. It produced the your, the ability for you to choose race or not. The people that seen your punk ass in your hood and see you talk shit and let you live, they chose race first. Right. Face you using. It's crazy. Your dad. Pretty sure you got that from him. He chose race first. That's why you're here. Right. This, 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 you taping for immigrants that got more principles than you. Right. Now you're going to be the only nigga around here who see yourself as nothing. 
And, and you think the world finna go for that? You can't make this stupid shit up, bro. JB, uh, this has nothing to do. You the type JB, of dude. Has that... nothing to do with an immigrant or nothing. He's hey. he's simple. Look, bro, this is only proving the point. Anton, I appreciate you being on the panel. I get. No, what let, let him get his last. Let him get his last th- start off. What what am I? When you come to Georgia, just don't, just don't go swimming in Lake Lanier, bro. That's all I got to tell you. Stay on cold on something for your safety. All right? I ain't never fuck. Oh, did you throw over that? Was... Yeah. Yeah, just just don't come jump your ass in Lake Lanier, bro. It's history here. That you maybe you don't think it's real and you don't want to subscribe to it, but you know, just stay safe, bro. Facts. Out here in these streets with your non-colored ass. Or whatever the fuck you want to be. Whatever the fuck you hear. Clear. Don't say the but oh, don't say the word. Let me tell you something. You don't don't even know. I ain't never, ever, ever staying on cold. I'm never you don't have going to. to be on cold. Ever. Never, ever. Is this mother coming out of right, now? Never. 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 You fuck me, bro. Never. Old, bro. That black, black woman came out of him just now. His single mother, that's it coming out now. He gonna oh, let yeah. you know with that neck rolling. Yeah, too. He kind of looked like the homeboy mama beard and everything. Never. You really don't have to. That's a real I'm not. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm not. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hey, Hope hey, y'all appreciate you for coming up, man. Hey, yeah. hey, hey this only proved the point that Chigi was making. This ain't have nothing. What's to do. the point? This this ain't have nothing to do with. This didn't have anything to do with Anton. Anton not from Jamaica, at least not from to my knowledge. I'm not. And yeah. Anton, but if Anton makes a distinction that I'm not a part of something, right? And he's he's saying that's not who I am and that's not what I'm part of. Why are we expecting? You know, people who are, are are saying that they're part of a culture to accept that. Well, because no, yeah, the yeah. argument wasn't based off a of culture, as far as I'm I'm understanding. The argument was based off of whether or not I was, I was an, an African descendant of a slave. No, no, no. All right, right. No, no, no. Yeah, Anton, so, right? Anton, 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 I'm I'm addressing a whole nother point because oh, okay, my bad. What JB had brought up was Anton will get the same pushback, and he's he's uh Ados. That's not actually right? what I said. You see, that's that that proves you weren't actually listening to me. That's actually not what I said. What you I said, said, you said he would get dismissed hey, because he hey. has a different opinion. John, Jonathan is so crazy that Cheeky was actually trying to validate what he said, and he in, unval, invalidated Cheeky's validation. Yep. No, that's not did what I same, said. I didn't say that. Did the same thing with me the that. other night. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was actually exactly. trying to throw you a bone. He did the exact same thing to you the other night. He sure did. He did it to me. Yeah. Right? That's what you yeah. said. So my point was... Like actually, Big Mike just proved it, right? Because my point was Anton and I could have the same perspective whenever they come after me. Whenever I say something, they tell me that I have that perspective because I'm an immigrant. That's what I hear all the time. Not your perspective. No, no the truth Chiki, doesn't Chiki, matter. You're not, you're not you one gotta, of us. That's the perspective. Jesus, Kachiki, you gotta listen. What? I'm listening. I've I've heard him talk enough. That shit irritates me. But that exactly what he said is what's important. The truth of the matter, the truth. You just want to be heard. But the truth of the matter is you're not one of us. It's a fact. You literally are not like a first. You are from Haiti. That's what he said. That's what the conversation is about. So what more do I need to hear you say? Like everything with this kid is just keep listening to me. Keep listening to me as we've had fucking had to endure for what yeah. it was an hour and 18 minutes on your show the other day. It's pretty grueling. It was stru- it was stressful to never get anywhere. We was we was further back from when we started. <laughs> I'm, but hey, I'm telling you, this is what I literally experienced. Right. 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 I'm telling you, this is what I literally experienced, right? Every okay. time I share my perspective, which by the way, my perspective is just conservative viewpoints. That's all it is, right? So okay. every time I share my perspective, I'm told that I only have this perspective because I'm an immigrant. So then what I find interesting is they can't say that to somebody who is not an immigrant. So instead, they'll say, you know, like Big Mike just said, you wild for that. Some people will tell Anton he's a coon. There'll always be another reason because they can't tell him it's because he's an immigrant. For me, since that's the easiest thing they could come after, they say, you only have this this perspective because you're an immigrant. I hear this all the time. You cannot tell me it's anything else. I literally hear people tell me this every day. Is you? And that's why he's dumb, because you just can't tell him nothing else. Yeah, and I was literally trying to tell him a lot of times saying you're an immigrant 
is giving you a chance before they just call you a coon. But we know you're different. So it must be you're not from here. That's why I was it, really trying to tell them. See, black folks got way more game than, than they think. We know who's on code and who's not. We could tell by the way you're talking. Like you right. mentioned, somebody that comes to Baltimore, they're not going to say be more. We don't say that at all. We don't say be more. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah. So you can you can already tell that somebody's sticking out like a sore thumb. Right. You know, in, when they're not in their natural environment. So, yeah, that's the best thing to tell you is you must be not from here. You must be an immigrant. And that's and all an immigrant means. An immigrant isn't a fucking cuss word. Right. So I don't understand why people are getting so offended at being called what they are. The other part is, is you, you, he's talking as if y'all y'all don't have coons in, in y'all country. Coons yeah. is just another word for traitor. But that's what I was telling people. That's the only people they're letting come from those countries over here is the coons. They're not letting the riders come from Jamaica over here. They're not letting the ride. They they give they give us their coons and their criminals. Mm -hmm. They don't give us nothing else. Just like the Europeans. Now, Thank in the you. beginning, that's why there's a difference between the immigrants and when Mr. Lee came on, there was a difference between the immigrant who came here in the 60s and, and, and these new age immigrants because they got they, they caught on to the point that we don't need to boost their numbers because you got to think of the, the immigrants who came in the 60s or came, that, that were here in the 60s. Stokely Carmichael's an immigrant. He, he's from an immigrant family. He was one of the leaders of the movement. You see what I mean? It was all type of different people from different Jamaica, you know, the Caribbean that came here and they were on code. So then they they realized that and they like, OK, we're going to leave them there with no resources and we're going to bring the coons over here and reward them. It's called meritorious manumission. Mm. Mm. You only have this perspective because you're an immigrant. So then I'm like, OK, what about the Ados brothers who agree with me? What about them? Oh, they coons. So then it's not about me being an immigrant. Which one is it? You got to pick one. That's my point. Look, and I and I understand that. But the point that I'm making is, or the overall point that I've noticed is, you're you you both, or not you, but no, you both, you both have said I'm not a part of this, right? And so I, why I said would, I'm not a part of what? I guess black people. I don't know. I don't think you said. I never that. said that. When no, tell me what, what I, I've ever what said. I said specifically is that I don't align myself with people. Based off a of race alone, I right. align myself mm -hmm. with based off a of character. Sure. Okay, go, sure. back and, right. go back and see what he said, because I don't think he said that. I don't think he said that. That's right. Every okay. time so I share my perspective, you say some shit, JB and then they get a chance to ever stand on biggest really complainers. complainers. Number. Number. You, you're not All the way across the board. If you want to look at you, these are my final thoughts, bro. Final thoughts. All the way across the board. As a community, African descendants of slaves are, are losing. They're losing. The over, as a community, not as individuals, you can pick your uncle, you can talk about your own personal circumstance. As a community, African descendants of slaves are losing. And the other thing that goes along with that is they're the biggest complainers. Okay. They're the biggest complainers. They whine more, they complain more, they protest more, and they don't do shit. And where are you from? What, 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 what's your what's your lineage? Because you keep saying they as if you're not included. I'm not. That nigga I, don't right. align my, I don't align myself with anybody based off a of race. But you wild, boy. Okay. Because that, that other thing he said I'm not, like two minutes oh later, God. it sounded a lot longer and more thought out. Oh. It's the time. <laughs> oh, wow. oh what? no, no, no! It gets better. It gets better. It's get, it gets no, better. Man, I told you, you, you JB. This you, has nothing to do. You the this type JB, of dude. This has that... nothing to do with an immigrant or nothing. He's hey. he's simple. Look, bro. This is only proving the point. Anton, I appreciate you being on the panel. I get. No, what, let, let him get his last. Let him get his last th start off. What? What am I? When, when you come to Georgia, just don't just don't go swimming in Lake Lanier, bro. That's all I got to tell you. Stay on code on something for your safety. All right? I ain't never fucking stay on code. <laughs> I ain't uh, never. Yeah, no, don't say the. But don't oh, say the. Stay, stay on code hey, bro, for that's your safety. Yeah, let that's me the tell the you word. something. I, don't even I ain't never, ever, ever staying on code. I'm never. You don't have to be on code. Ever. You don't have to. Well, okay. You don't Takashi. have to. Takashi. Okay. He hurt. Well. He hurt. He hurt with that. What you say, brother Bernard? 
I, I was thinking about uh, what's, what's that? That, that rapper Kashi. dude. Was just, yeah, yeah. That's, he just said it though. I'm never staying on code. Everybody that's from our community, anybody that's from the anybody from Generation X. Let's just go with just this Generation X. So that you might just barely fall in there, Noble. We know what on code. We know what on code means. Right. That, that, there's no way around what you just said that you can backpedal that. Okay. So that, so that means let me. Okay. So here's the thing. You won't have to ever worry about me being in a dark place with you on the street or anything, bro. Period. Real talk. Period. Period. I wouldn't, I wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire. <laughs> Bruh. I wouldn't even you just, I tried to stop the help. But he's the Come type on, of man. dude. He's the type of dude Come that'll on. say shit like this, get his ass whipped, and then whine. That's, we can get in that too. Uh, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run the victim Olympics today. The, that's a good so question. These, uh, that's that's a good question, Gail. <laughs> All of these principles and and and, and that y'all have over over in y'all's you know little 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 count, that that shit is is not on the foundation. But well, hold it up. It looks solid, this, but it was really saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said before. No, no, yeah, she. I think she. I think she heard it by now. But um, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. This is good. Oh. This is good. Oh, I, I, this is great material. It's, bro. This it's nice three of it, bro, it's three other videos. It's three of this is man. You can't. I, hey, bro. This is this is gold here. This is trader identifying a race trader one on one. That's how they talk. I'm the just fool. saying, why do these two niggas get caught without always playing up here and shit? This nigga was down there scratching his neck. They don't he got no headphones. His head and shit. And it, it, what do you got going on, man? What they got going on, man? <laughs> Y'all niggas look very zesty, robusto. With with the other ones snapping his neck. Oh yeah, next snapping. Next. Next. Y'all playing with <laughs> your necks, twisting your hair and shit. They playing. They you know playing like they on the phone with each other. Oh boy. Oh, I'm that shit look boy. real zesty, dog. It's crazy why you how you how you paused it right there, though. Look at JB smiling. He happy. He like it. It was some mannerisms going on. You really don't have to. It's I'm not. not. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm not. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hey, Hope y'all enjoyed you for coming up, man. Hey, it'd have been best if he really would have left. It's about to, it's getting closer to that uh the stupid chat. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, this, this only proved the point that she like was making. This ain't yeah, have nothing to do. What's the point? This this ain't have nothing to do with this. Didn't have anything to do with Anton. Anton not from Jamaica, at least not from to my knowledge. I'm not. And Anton, but if Anton makes a distinction with that I'm not a part of something, right? And he's he's saying that's not who I am and that's not what I'm part of. Why are we expecting, you know, people who are are, are saying that they're part of a culture to accept that? Well, because no, if, if yeah, the argument yeah. wasn't based off a of culture, as far as I'm I'm understanding, the argument was based off of whether or not I was, I was in a African descendant of a slave. No, no, no. All right, right, right. No, no, no. Anton, lost, right? Anton, Anton, Anton I'm, I'm, I'm addressing a whole nother point. Because what, oh, okay, my JB, bad. what JB had brought up was Anton will get the same pushback, and he's he's uh, Ados. That's not actually right? what I said. You see, that's, that, that proves you weren't actually listening to me. That's actually not what I said. What you I said, said. You said he would get dismissed because he has a different opinion. Right? That's what you said. Yeah, so my point was, like, actually, you, Big Mike just proved it. Right. Because my point was Anton and I could have the same perspective whenever they come after me. Whenever I say something, they tell me that I have that perspective because I'm an immigrant. That's what I hear all the time. Not the you. Perspective. No, no, the perspective. The truth Chiki, of the Chiki, matter you're is not, you're not you one gotta, of us. That's the perspective. Jesus. Kachiki, you got to listen. What? I'm listening, I'm but saying, I'm telling you, this is what I literally experienced. Right. Experience, right. Every okay. time I share my perspective, which, by the way, my perspective is just conservative viewpoints. That's all it is. Right. So okay. every time I share my perspective, I'm told that I only have this perspective because I'm an immigrant. So then what I find interesting is they can't say that to somebody who is not an immigrant. So instead, they'll say, you know, like Big Mike just said, you wild for that. Some people will tell Anton he's a coon. There will always be another reason because they can't tell him it's because he's an immigrant. For me, since that's the easiest thing they could come after, they say, you only have this, this perspective because you're an immigrant. I hear this all the time. You cannot tell me it's anything else. I literally hear people tell me this every day is you only have this perspective because you're an immigrant. So then I'm like, okay, what about the Ados brothers who agree with me? 
What about them? Oh, they coons. So then it's not about me being an immigrant. Which one is it? You got to pick one. That's my point. Little boy, because I know you watch, I know your friends watching. It's speaking to a principle that you are not aligned with us. That's what that means. If you're too stupid to get that, maybe you shouldn't be in a conversation. You trying to you trying to pseudo wordplay, but you know exactly what they mean. The nature of both of those things is that you're not aligned with us. A coon and an immigrant is not aligned with us. Right. That's what happens when you have to bind and constrict and restrict things down and compartmentalize things just to have a voice. It, one, it's one of those things where we don't know what you are, but we do know what you're not. Right. That was look nice. and i and i understand that but the point that i'm making is or the overall point that i've noticed is you're you you both or not you but no you both you both have said i'm not a part of this right and so I, why I would, said i'm not a part of what <clears throat> i guess black people i don't know i don't think you said i never that. said that when no, told me what I, time I, ever I, said. no he cheeky was wrong what, what what's consistent with them two was they don't they are both expressing in principle that our people here don't take advantage of the opportunity that was the very first thing out of jonathan's mouth when we met in person see he never he never he never admitted to that on the live i said tell them the very first thing out of your mouth you did so ask him that early too you know i asked him that early tell them what you said to me and tell what the end of the conversation was it don't matter what it what uh opportunities we haven't taken advantage of we've taken advantage of more opportunities than Jamaicans, Haitians, and Africans. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the results of that based off of their countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, next time you use a toilet when you go to Nigeria or wherever you go, just know you can thank a brother for that. An FBA brother. That's point. And then even when he came on your show, he never mentioned it. Correct. The nigga came off wrong. As soon as Gail said, what are they, Mike, FBA? Or non FBA. I looked at both of them. I said they're non FBA. That shit could be identified on the spot. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. It's playing. It's a little delay. Where specifically is that I don't align myself with people based off of race alone. I right. align myself <clears throat> with people based off of character. You threw that bullshit alone thing in there. He didn't say that first. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Sure. Okay, sure. Right. So again, like you all are saying, I'm only you're only going. I'm only going back to the point of both you and Jonathan the line, mm -hmm. right? And both your viewpoints and as well as what you say and what you think. All right, we got derailed. It all started with you guys are losers, <laughs> and then it went left. Well, it wasn't y'all specifically. It was people with a certain mentality that that believes that somehow some okay. way they are they have been deprived of a, a better opportunity to become great or they always making excuses as to why they can't become successful when there's people that look just like them that come into this country and they absolutely kill it that is what you said you specifically said people that are here you didn't go into all of that that nigga you said, said people that are here. Americans, ados is losing that's what he said because right. those of us here that don't think that but it's people like myself who knows what happened to people and indigenous native etc and we know that we know things didn't we know things that's my son we know things didn't go well for everybody we know people were you know we got we got a lot of genocide and you know people like myself who've been through training we looking at like okay you know it's ways to improve yourself but i have to look at the fact that where i come from this information wasn't privy to us it wasn't like at arm's reach i had right. to go and make some changes i had to stand out to somebody to get some information right and, oh. and that happens a oh. lot without people that win you you somebody threw you a bone so for the person that's sitting constantly says disingenuous 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 everything about your statement and your position is bullshit and false then it's not getting into real research understand how this these laws are set up and what actually goes on in the application process and the classification process so it's bullshit but to go but to the point you didn't say this at first mm -mm. and this is not right. a good explanation either because it's an assumption okay. of somebody's mind right this is too easy this is too easy for me 
let's take all that away. Everything you just said, I'm gonna be nice about this. Let me, let me be real. Take all that away. What Bit might say, the facts, the laws, and everything you say. I don't give a damn what generation we're talking about. There's always been those type of cats in every damn generation for our downfall. Absolutely. Without law. Without any damn law. Because the dude is the master looking like, I got them two cats right there. They're going to tell everything. That's yep. been in every generation. That's been the downfall without any yep. damn law. Right. And, and you don't deal with it. Because in the streets back in the day, you snitch, you got your ass whipped openly. And the cops better not jump in. Let's talk about it. You want to talk about it. Right. But what started happening was, hey, we'll protect you and won't let them do that. If you start talking a little bit more, you be a good person. I take care of you. Come on, man. You tapping mighty hard over there, as Tyreek say. You, but without all the laws, without anything, what we all know, common sense for those that have it, we've always had some, we always had some sellouts. Oh, um, yeah. Every generation, every generation. Oh yeah, and that's been our downfall right there. That's it. Without the immigrants, then the immigrants come over. Some of them, I, mean, I ain't gonna say all, but they put gasoline on the fire all day long. I'm just saying. Without all that stuff you guys just said, I don't want to say these two guys, but guys and they and their family, <laughs> in that same way of thinking, they've been in every generation, bro. That's been our downfall. I Without you. the laws. I'm just saying. That's that race trader shit, bro. Race trader one on one. Should have changed the title. <laughs> yeah, it is a good title. I like that. <laughs> hey, you know that's that's true. He's to not some, to some extent. I don't. That is true. I don't. I'm, there's nothing that I can argue about that, right? You were making points that are just statistically true. But again, if we, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with it. Um, I understand your point, your viewpoint, like sometimes tone tone doesn't matter especially for certain situations and i understand that everything requires a situational awareness as well as a, a emotional reading on people to know when and how to say something so well, let me ask you a question cheeky yeah what's up uh, the name of the show is called these immigrants are too disrespectful and it's what funny way? it's um so the way that, that like, do you want me to give you the oh, context let, let, yeah go that? ahead yeah I'll let it was you. because it 40, literally 40 minutes into the show, the person that is supposed to be the overseer of this channel is just acknowledging the title. Right. But you call some, call other people disingenuous. Okay. It was actually because of mm, go ahead. When, uh, when Big Mike and I were having a conversation in, in person, um, he didn't say those exact words like that, but he was essentially making that point. That immigrants, uh, a, a lot of immigrants, yeah. So he was, he didn't say those but exact words, but uh, somebody, he, somebody, he basically made that point that, you know, Tad immigrants. Brittany comment. <laughs> but you said, but you, you straight up Brittany said, B comment. Tad, Tad but you straight up yeah, said Brittany to me, yeah. black people in the United States, black Americans don't take advantage of opportunity. That's not what I said. You keep saying I said it that. That's not what, what I said. said. The, me, con the pretty, context is important, Big Mike. I, I, I said. I'm pretty good with my. I memory. said no, no, Big Mike. You can't take what I said out of context. The context they, they is important. Lying too, what bro. I said was, they can lie. lie they can lie to you with a straight face. Yeah. If you have, if you're in this land of opportunities that people are risking their lives to come to, right? People are risking their lives, breaking their families apart to come to. Y'all took even when y'all take those Haitians at the border to come somehow kind of make a point against me. Right. That actually proves my point further. Right. Those Haitians at the border. I saw a brother who was carrying a mattress on his head. OK, trying to get into America, literally carrying a match. Have you ever carried a mattress on your head? Like he was carrying a mattress on his head in, in 2021. Right. To try to get into America. Meanwhile, at the same at the same time, I'll go outside and I'll hear somebody. I'll look at somebody who's already here complaining about how terrible America is. And so in, in, in conceptually, in print, your, your pseudo <laughs> principles, I'm supposed to match your naivety. I'm supposed to forget that I I I I watch women walk into the store, get slammed against the side of the <laughs> side of the store on a brick wall, hit beat up by knockers. Little boys have to watch their parents get beat up. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to forget everything that I've seen in this country. Because we'll get denied a on a tire. Shit. Huh? Hold up. Hold up. Hold hold up. On a tire. You supposed supposed to forget everything. Hold up. Big, I'm supposed to big match Mike, all naivety because just because uh, aesthetics. 
Big Mike, Big what Mike, you? he should have he should have said that, bro, because you you dropped something on me last night. We were talking about comic books, right? Y'all watch how I dress this up. We were talking about comic books, right? Right. And you say you like DC, correct? Right. Okay. How many black kids or girls went through a Bruce Wayne situation in the alley that we can't even count, bro? Think about how deep what I just said. Yeah. Because the moral of the story of him becoming Batman is what? Watching both right, of his right. parents get what? Oh, okay. All right. right. Y'all want to get me started? Right. I, I can connect all this shit. Right. Yeah, but, but you expect nobody not to have a trauma effect or 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 what your mother was going through while she was carrying you or me. You don't know if your mama was running from somebody while you was in her stomach. See, people, man, this, this stuff goes so deep. But you want to come over here talking about stuff that you know nothing about. When we are walking down the streets, Big Mike, Noble, and a lot of other people, Gail and everybody else getting ready. We walking down the streets that our damn parents will tell you we couldn't walk down those same damn streets when we were younger. Right. Y'all won't hear. Our parents was out there, out there fighting the rights. And just like the one brother said, it was never no civil rights anyway. Because I don't know anybody to ever be civil. I'm going to leave it alone. Hey, bro. And, and like I said, you bring it right back to the simple point. When you start talking about where they're from, they got all type of damn excuses and complaints about the government and mm -hmm. all this other shit. They mm -hmm. get they get your whole laundry list of complaints they got about where they from. But then they want us to, you know, look up to them because they got over hold here. Hold up. Hold up. You know See, Bit Mike, you keep doing some, Bit Mike, you keep bringing stuff up. I will come over here too if I could run up in the president's house. And y'all claim you don't know who assassinated him. I come over here too. Damn right. Thanks. Now y'all want to take it there. We can take it there. Them cats came up. Yo, I don't care. You the president. We gonna say, boom, 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 boom. We done. Everybody no. in the house. Now what? What you gonna do? What did nobody protest it? Nobody. Okay. Yeah, you need to come over here. Problem. So right. We, it's gonna be a breaking point. It's like it's like it's like a, a, a brother says at work. And this is a white dude. I'm I'm be honest with you. Me and him, I rock with him hard. He said Bernard. He said, you got to remember, we were, we were actually okay. He said, what the government don't want is people together. He said, mm -hmm. music brings people together. He said, but if we ever came together, there would be no government. He said, it has a damn thing to do with be you being black and me being white. One of the realest cats I know. I'm, and I'm just being, because me and him can just talk about certain things. And that's what we're trying to say. But you got cats like these cats coming over. And you just disrespecting us. And just like the, the video Tariq Nasheed put out, he showed the young lady. I've talked to you. I've talked to women from over there. Yes, we are taught not to date y'all American men. Oh, all right. I, I didn't make it up. I didn't make that up. That's what they taught over there. But yet you come over here and benefit off our forefathers. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we, we also acting like so-called racial profiling has not hit the hit the city hall floors or the senate floors or some of these appellate courts we acting like it's a theory or a concept when it has actually had to been had to be in law and it's illegal to racial profile it's actually a thing that's been proven right so it's not like we are making it up and we right. there's no mystery in who it is that's getting racially profiled it's our people and mexicans mainly right right and i mean it's, it's just they are the epitome of disingenuous. And see, the, the Hispanic immigrants come over here, and we don't get half of this shit from them. We don't get half of it. They've it's been good. The 50s. But and, like, look, they don't really fuck with us. That's the fact. But that's the thing about it. They leave us They don't fuck with us, though. They don't fuck with us, though. They don't come over and try to blend in and fit in and then be undermining us the whole time. Literally, mm -hmm. they chilling. We chilling. Everybody got yeah. spot. Sometimes we even share neighborhoods and we get along great with them. Yeah, they be, man, they be chilling hard, bro. And I got yeah, respect for them. Yeah, yeah, they, they they be coming in. And but everybody still needs to remember everything that we see is still the blueprint of the sixties of how we did things. That's what a lot of people. They, once again, these are facts. Like when you deal with Noble, you deal with Big Mike, you deal with me. We're not going to come out our mouth without facts because I don't need you coming. And even if I am wrong, hey, I appreciate right. you correcting me so I can have it correct and tell it correctly right. the next time to the man. We're not right. going to get upset. 
Right. Iron sharpens iron. But in the 60s, it's just like um, Tariq Nasheed also brought out. A lot of people use our blueprint against us, even over here. Right. When yeah. the sixes, when the sixes were going, man, our parents and grandparents were going hard. Like they dying for the cause. Like, no, we we gonna get this going. And even before that was slavery. When you come over here, man, in Jamestown, man, it won't just net it just won't net turn. It was it was groups of guys just going through plantations like they were wiping cats out. Dude. You don't read about that. Look, I got you don't read about that. I got a 26 page <laughs> journal right here about American Negro slave re revolts, and it was hundreds of them per year. Hundreds mm -hmm. of them per year from the 1600s all the way up until slavery was ended. Hundreds Thank per you. year. Thank you. Thank you. That's my point. But you don't read about that. All we learned is, let me, let me tell you the basics, even up to my son who's who's out of school. I don't know what my grandson going to learn. All Big Mike and, and Bernard and most of our age group learn in Nova, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Buffalo Bill, Harriet Tubman, George Washington Carver. It's like the basics that they gave us, the ones that they wanted us to somewhat know about. That's all you got in social studies, bro. That was it. Now, to make everybody laugh, and Big Mike gonna probably die laughing, most of my boys that got to that science class and they found out they can cook some things, they quit school. I'm just saying. But right. Uh, right. <laughs> right. They ain't never go back. Oh, you can do that with this? Hey, bro, I'm gone. <laughs> you know, but it, it's still the fact of the matter. If you don't do your research, this is what the village is about. If you don't have researchers, you don't do your own research, I will fall for anything that Bit might tell me, Noble tell me, or I even tell myself, or somebody tells me about it, I'm going to check them. That's the problem. You believe everything that you hear and see. Your two main eye gates into your, your spiritual and soul, man. You, I'm telling you, man, you, don't, you, you people don't want to do that. And, and Bit might tell you, I'm not trying to be, I'm trying to, I try to stay neutral between him and him and um, you know, Noble, because you know I'm I'm almost like somewhat the the, the version of Ronnie, but I can get it if I need to get it. Let's not get right, it twisted. Right. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah, what I can get it if I need to get it, but if I get to that point, I'm in a zone. That's all I can tell you. I'm in a zone. <laughs> There's no turning back. My eyes turn green. I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna be green. <laughs> no more David Banner. I'm done. The scientist is gone. <laughs> but I try to I try to keep it in perspective because I'm trying to find different ways for us not to have dumbass panels like this. And we have a lot of them. You're not doing you're not talking about when I say you're not talking about nothing, it's a straight nothing burger. Nothing. They're right. Oh, it's goofy. Nothing. It's goofy as hell. It is. It is. It's wasted time, man. We don't have time to waste. Because Bernard and Nova bit might not gonna be here forever. These niggas, yeah. these niggas at the bottom is having a drink. That's how stupid the conversation is. That's how dumb it is. And, oh, and how and how bad they got it. But this person is literally on the news with a mattress over his head, trying to get into the place that you're saying is the worst. The place you're saying is is oppressed or you, that you're oppressed in, right? And so my point was, a lot of people, a lot of the people. So a nigga coming in with a mattress mean we not oppressed? That's, Why that's what you that be bringing his pissy mattress? That slowed him down. He might have been able to make it in had it not been for the mattress. When you make these saying. points, they're taking America for granted. They're taking the opportunities in America for granted. I didn't I didn't say what you said the way, because that context is very important. If you're in this land, right, you have to remember, I keep saying this a lot. There's an actual thing called a visa lottery. There are people who wait years upon years upon years for the chance to come into America. Right. So imagine how that person like looks at the world when they look at you and they're like, wait, you're where I want to be. And all I see you doing is complaining. I'm not burdened by your perspective. I don't have, I'm not burdened by that. Your upbringing don't have no bearing on me. I got my own load to carry. Like you said, what they say in the Bible, carry your own wood. Jesus had to carry his wood. And I'm trying to see who they see complaining. That's what I'm telling This is a Thank you. conversation. Who the fuck are you seeing? Thank you. Black in the United States complaining. Yeah, somebody get killed that's black. Yeah, you see baby black people marching. You see black people getting it in. Because guess what? Yeah. We already know that we can't let that shit slide because it'll start back. But y'all just let folks come through and run roughshod over y'all. Hey, and we still want to so, be like you? The problem with, the, so, the problem with that, arg the problem with that argument like is 
when you watch us complain, what happens after that? The people change, are complaining. Change happens. Uh, well, 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 here's my thing. Here's my thing. Before, oh, okay, I can do this because I've learned these brothers. I can tell. I, well, maybe I maybe I do or maybe I don't. They either agree or disagree with what I'm about to say. Y'all don't have no how how many. You don't know how. No idea how many people of my own kind I don't mess with because they don't want to do nothing for nothing. Okay, I didn't cut them off. I got over 300 phone numbers in my phone. I don't change my number. You know why I don't change my number? Because when you call me, I'm like, all right, what you doing? You still where you at? You complaining? Don't call me. Right. Don't call me. I done told more black people in my 48 years of living, hey, man, what you complaining about, man? I, I don't want to hear it because I done gave you a way out. Just like when I talked to the brothers on the street. How much you doing? Yo, man, I'm doing like five grand, 10 grand a week. All right. Out there in the streets. I was like, yeah. So I said, so you mean to tell me you making all that money without one damn commercial? And they sit there and they look at me. They get that, they get that noble face. Their face gets stuck. <laughs> I said, yeah, so you making all this money without one radio or TV commercial? He's like, yeah. I said, word of mouth. He said, yeah. I said, so you can't flip that into a business. All right, old head. Come on, old head. I said, no, I'm just giving you a different perspective. But you can't never say I ain't give you a different perspective because I done gave you a way out. I gave you a way out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't rock with people. I have a lot of family. I rock with Noble and Big Mike, and I just met them more than some of my family members that I've known all my life because you ain't about nothing. So you can't come over here. You can't come over here talking about we take it for granted because us three right here and some others, and I can even say for probably getting radio, we don't take it for, we, we don't take it for granted. We take advantage of it as much as we can. That's all I got to say about that. You can't say you can't be saying we. You can't put us in that category when all of us has told somebody in our family, "Hey man, you know you ain't about shit. Stop. Right. Just, just, you know what? Hey mom, I'm I'm sorry, mom. I'm not gonna talk to him no more. I'm sorry, auntie. I just can't talk to him no more. He dragging me down. She dragging me down. All of us have had this conversation. So he got to stop putting us all in the same pot, man. I don't think that's fair. Right. That shit. That shit is totally inaccurate because they don't occupy any position that a foundational Black American hadn't occupied before they got here. These niggas is not blazing paths to no, <laughs> no <more> progress. <laughs> they just getting. They, they, they're not. They're not. Now, they're not. There hadn't even been one in space. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There hasn't even been one in space. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't do it. It was an FBA sister that helped them motherfuckers get to space. But Bruh. not, not y'all. Us. Bruh. Bruh. The lady that, in fact, I'm going to send it to you and Noble when I find it again. I sent it to my wife. The lady stay in Northern Virginia. And I'm not surprised it's made by a black sister in America, and y'all gonna laugh, but she's part of the reason why GPS is GPS. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna know where you at, Negro. <laughs> hey, Negro, I'm gonna know where you at. <laughs> <laughs> but but this lady, she was part of the NASA group from that movie they made with Janelle Jum uh, all them. It's a, it's a, I knew a lady that went to my church that worked at NASA. It's a lot of history. Black history at NASA, bro. bro. That was just a. That was not even a quarter of the black women and people that was doing stuff at NASA back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. Was, That's not even a quarter. Is JB has a NASA hat on on this stream? Talking <laughs> 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 about what the fuck we ain't doing. Whoa! <laughs> Hold up. I damn, I wish I could see it, man, because I would. No questions. I got too many answers. Let's see. Let's get that. I'm see if we can see. I'm not talking about you specifically, Big Mike. But it's like all I see is you complaining. But you're where I want to be. You what? You got the lottery ticket. I wish I had. The and we getting we getting there close to that to that you know that outburst. You that sounds like when somebody has something you wish you had. That sounds like covetousness. Sound like envy to me or, or jealousy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Lottery ticket. I'm literally praying God for. You know, in Haiti, they actually have like they have uh, prayer groups where they'll literally pray for people to actually be able to win that that visa lottery. Like people will literally get in a group and pray, like and pray. I hope you get the you you get you actually get the visa lottery. But this is not the victim Olympics, though. So you can come over and sell drugs. Yeah, 
Well, now this, this this part not the when they say it is not victim Olympics. It's not no, bad. No, it's not victim when they doing it. No, no, not when they do it. They hear how bad they need to be inspired by them. Right. We need to be inspired by them. They just fight against evil. Yeah. <laughs> they want it. But you hear, not you specifically, Big Mike, but you hear, and then all I hear is complaining. And like I shout out to Cam though. I said I was a part of that myself. So I'm not excluding myself from that. When I was on the left, when I was a social justice activist, I was a part of that same narrative myself. But then I, I opened my eyes and I realized, wait a minute, there, I got actual family members who wish they could take my spot. Like people I actually know who wish they could be, they could have the opportunities that I have. I Why, mean, what the hell am I complaining about? But that's what I, that's what I was saying. There was a disconnect. And that was my whole thing. And, you know, we tried, I tried to resolve the conversation and the conflict we were having several times because you don't see things the way I see them. And like I told you, I used the example of I could go to Haiti and literally get paid tomorrow. I could pop up in Haiti and make money moves tomorrow. That's a different I, scenario. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. You keep saying it's a different scenario. All I'm it saying is, is I, would, I would be an asshole if I did that. No, you wouldn't. If you no, find no, listen, 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 let me finish. I All would right, be ahead, an ahead, asshole if I did that and started preaching to Haitians how much opportunity they had there. No, see, okay, stop right there. No, no, hold up. Let me respond. See, I was rocking with you at first. I don't think you'd be an asshole to go to Haiti and take go to any country, bro. Like, I don't here's where you're wrong, though. Here's where you're trying to make a you're making an an equivalency that's not there. Because if you go to Haiti and you try to tell Haitians about opportunity that does not exist, then you're actually lying to them. Whereas if you come, whereas somebody talk about America, I can actually tell you what the opportunities are. There are actual opportunities. There are no opportunities in Haiti for anybody. Like the problem with what he said is if. If you tell people that, but if you just when you leave it to the foundation of what's going on, when you go to Haiti, Haiti is going to have packages or things in place for tourists or immigrants or have things in place. We, we keep talking as if it's not a thing. There are things for immigrants in people's country. There are there are uh, embassies. There are things. There are discounts. There there are a lot of things for people for tourists and immigrants. Right. Yeah, a tourist can turn into an immigrant. You understand? And granted, you may have to go back once a time when you may take one or two trips. But we keep acting like that's not a thing. Like there aren't benefits for you as a as a, as a person come here because this different these different countries want you to come back, right. and they know you're not going to stay. Just like any company does, any business does. And when you when you patronize their business, they want you to come back. They'll give you incentives. They'll give you time. A lot of different places, like a massage place I go to, give you for the first time people going there, you get a discount, like half off and shit like that. Right. It happens all the time, man. And I don't, I don't just don't understand why facts aren't brought in just because I don't, I don't, again, I hate that, that you use this word so much. Disingenuous, genuous conversation where we can't just have facts. We can't talk about the facts, put the facts down and, you know, compare them to our, our points that we had prior to that. We got to deal with this. I want to be right at the end. So I'm going to bond and limit the conversation down to some stupid shit. Yeah, it's all about wanting to be right. It's not about having a conversation it's not about understanding where the next person's coming from it's literally about wanting to get on your platform and be right because you've been on your platform because barking loud no what you really what you're really trying to do is sell courses to people so you need people you need to come across as if you're right all the damn time so you can get people's money right That's it's, why a, you scam, it's a scammer it's a scammer mentality and we already oh. know that certain countries i'm not gonna mention they have whole task force against certain specific countries when it comes to scams uh -oh. and cyber scams uh -oh. and email scams. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to lead along because I already know where he is. So if you're preaching no, that to them, you'd ahead. be lying to them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd be telling them, you'd be no, selling I'm... them false hope. In America, there are actual opportunities. That's why people, that's why the Haitians are coming here. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, so I, I, so I, I, false equivalency is not the same thing. Look, it's not the same thing. Look, I, I, as a black American, I hate I'm from the shining city on the hill, bro. I really do. Hmm? Because, 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 therefore, this is the beacon of light for the rest of the world, the greatest nation on the planet for everybody else. It just so happens to be a nation that your ancestors weren't enslaved in. It just so happens. But my ancestors were enslaved. Listen, man, listen, it has. It's a nation. But you weren't enslaved here. That's what. I, they don't listen. I don't like stuff like that. I don't want you nobody to take what you say out of context. I don't like that. 
Well, you don't care about that because you're here. I you do. I, fact, no, you I don't respect. care about Haiti. Let's not talk about Haiti because you no, scared I you're do. here. I just that don't, use, do I don't use it as a crutch. I, it's I, not I, a crutch. About the history. It's not a crutch. There's a debt. There's a debt that's owed to Black Americans because land was taken, cities were burned, people were murdered. You can't come somewhere where people have have. have you talking, talking about reparations? I'm talking about everything that's happened in America to the black people that were here in America. I know, but I'm saying in terms of right now, are you yeah. talking about no, 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 no. Hold on, JB. This is an easy way to solve this. Okay, so what exactly do you think should be given? Give me a number. I'm not talking to you. Why you don't want to talk to me? Ah, ah, because no, you know, you know, you know the interesting not, thing about not, it, JB? I'm not interested in, 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 in anything. Bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't want to talk to me. me. It don't mean that I'm Leave me alone. It don't mean that I'm not going to talk. The Jonathan, thing that I'm always curious about. Jonathan invited me. Like Jonathan, look. Oh, I, I, can, I can hit the nuke button right now. I'm not concerned about that. If you don't want to talk, you don't want to talk. You oh, can be quiet. Oh, you can go off camera. It's up to you, but I'm still going to talk. He did not like that. Oh, he did not like I'm not talking to you. Whoa, wait a minute. I try not to engage with the fuckery, dog. Once I, I feel like I'm on some fuck shit. I, I, we really have nothing to talk about. Oh, he did not like that. That hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey I no, talk to well, important hey, people. Hey. I talk to important people with important <laughs> topics and important points to bring up. Hey, no, but I'm, I'm gonna drop this on everybody. Yes, I'm a life coach. That is one of my questions or things that I ask my clients. What are your triggers? You just saw one. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. At, I want everybody to listen and, and just make sense of what I just said. What are your? You just saw one. Soon as this man said, "I'm not talking to you," the car just went into a tailspin. It it didn't even go left. <laughs> the car went into a donut tailspin. A, a, a dude about a dude talking to him. I was like, "What happened?" Because I saw that live. I said, "What happened?" He's like, "He's like, I'm not talking." I was like, "Oh." Then he's like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." I was like, "Oh, he got him." That was a trick. I could press and, and once again. Yes, I, and I, once again, I'm not coming to Anton. I want everybody to take this as a teaching moment. I don't, I try not to come at nobody, but I'm trying to teach everybody know your triggers and don't make nobody go there to your trigger. You 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 had the man on the screen by himself, just you and Big Mike. But if you're gonna and this goes everybody, if you're gonna ask somebody a question, let them finish the answer before you cut them off. Right. Otherwise, this is what you're going to have for two to three hours of different people on different panels getting nothing done because nobody won't let no. If you want to, if you want to, if Bit Mike, if I ask Bit Mike right now a question, Bit Mike drop or Noble, and their 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 answer is kind of long, I can sit here and write down my questions to counter that instead and listen to what he's saying instead of cutting them off. I'm just trying to give people solutions here, man. And then after anybody that might be watching from Lapeef or anybody, I'm not even going to just pick on them. I'm just talking about anybody in general that's watching as a content creator. This is how you do it, man. This is professionalism. I talked to Big Mike drop last night for like two hours and I let him know, hey, man, I take education on everything that I think I need just for YouTube and for the etiquette that I need. And etiquette comes also showing respect even to people you might not, not, might not even like. But guess what? This is what it is. Give a person a chance to talk and then don't get mad when they say, well, you won't let me finish. I know, I know, but I know, I know, but come on, man, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. And I just gave, and if Bit might want to correct what I'm saying or anybody else, I think I just gave people or some people some solutions on how to handle this. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> A lot of these people with this type of defeated mentality, their solution is to run. There is no last, <laughs> there is no last step. There's no there's yeah. no next step for them from here. There's nowhere else to go yeah. from here. So the whole deal, they can't yeah. flee from it. So then they're just gonna they're just not gonna they're not gonna give you an opportunity. They're not gonna give it any credence. You see what I mean? So yeah, you're right. So yeah, their, the their first, their first response is is to run. They don't have any conflict resolution skills outside of running and fleeing. Once that once that's not an option, they're not gonna fight. They're not gonna stay anywhere. Mm. Fight. They wouldn't even fight for their own land. Fact. Oh, they wouldn't wow. fight for their own homeland. Wow. 
where the, where the, where the, wow. the relatives are buried. Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? There's no mm. stand up and fight in these places. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Them fighting words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She said, hey, but hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Big Mike. Did not Tariq give them a gift with the Haitian war thing? How the Haitians whip people butt? Tariq yeah, gave, it, gave it, them gave them a another, gift. It's another story about the Haitian revolution that happened after they won. Yeah. See, they, yeah. then it was time for niggas to do, and niggas didn't do. Niggas mm. let the cash crop fall by the wayside and still had to pay mm. France. And you know they did pay a ransom for their own freedom, right? Mm. Yep. They didn't get yep. money from France. They paid France for their freedom. Mm. Up until the 20th mm. century. Right, that earthquake or something. Or one I'm not paying niggas on me. I'm think, serious. I think they had to pay France forty-two billion dollars for freeing themselves. <laughs> Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Could have made the money if they would have kept doing what they knew how to do and grow sugar cane. <sighs> but they stopped growing sugar cane. <sighs> oh boy! They murdered their leaders. That's and, right, get it. 1804. Yeah, yeah, 1804. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead, bit my ear. Go ahead. Yeah, they, mur they murdered their leaders. Yeah. You, you see what I mean? The people that led them through the revolution, and then they started paying France reparations for freeing themselves. <laughs> it don't even make sense what you're saying, but it, it sounds funny. I'm sorry. It sounds it's literally, it don't even make sense what you're saying. That's the story. <laughs> I know, and it's, but it, it's almost comical. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's sad. Like, it's are sad you which serious? Is why I try to tell people, like, really, before you come over here talking about what we not doing, I'm not sitting up saying black coaches like all of this and that right now. We don't have our mm -hmm. problem. But don't mm -hmm. sit up and act like you ain't got no problems and talk down on me. That ain't how that shit work. Right. <laughs> you don't have anything valuable to tell me, bro. Exactly. You can't well, we talk anything valuable. We're here. We're going further. We we have already, and we will continue to get into our problems here. Trust me. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah. We're no, not getting I'm off the first one to let my people have it. Right. Exactly. Have it before I go let somebody else have it. See, my crowd, my audience already know where I stand with black folks and what we got going on too. Hmm. But hmm. they're not even fighting for this. Mm, 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 mm. And, and I like I like what I like what your wife put again. You know, once again, basic well, question: yeah. How are you the, the you know the majority in your homeland, but cannot influence change? Yeah, you can just stop with that sentence. We don't even have to read nothing else your wife said right there. How are you the majority in your land, and you can't even influence change? Can't even influence change. That's that's a mic drop. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't. I mean, makes sense now, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Like a track, like. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Woo, bro. I need to leave this up here. You know, I'm y'all getting cut off, but I need to leave this up here a while. These two tuckers. That's really is about y'all three right here at the top. I was for because we almost mm -hmm. we at, we at the semi climax of this. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's Here's the key, though. Yeah, it's coming. Whenever I hear people talk about, you know, the things that black people go through and all of that, I'd be like, okay, cool. You want acknowledgement? You got it. The thing that I'm curious about is, okay, so now we got acknowledgement. Now we on a foundation. What's the number? What do you want? What exactly should America give you? What does that look like? Who should it go to? What's the solution now? Okay. Because anybody can say what they feel. So okay. now when we get to a point where, okay, we all agree, you feel how you feel. What's the solution? Real quick. Real quick. Let me back, let me back up. Real quick. Um, yeah. I'm against solution talk. And I'm against healing. I'm against that. Because I started universal law and order. And you think that you can't put the cart before the horse. I am in total opposition that we are clear on what the problem is. I don't think we have a clue. We are not showing that we understand what the problem is. Well, I'm what not... I did was I took, I grabbed my calculator 
and I multiplied 12,000 by 40. And that's how I came up with the number. Okay. Yeah, yeah, number, yeah, the average to cost it. of an acre costs you in a rural area is about $12,000, $12,500. Not in New York City. That's $480,000. Now listen to what number I gave him. The number I came up with was $480,000 for each descendant of slaves. And that's per family. Also tax-free status. Next question. So is that also, it, the descendant, is that also including people that have a, a certain percentage of white in their blood and stuff too? Yeah, we all got a percentage of white in our blood. My great grandmother was white. The only no, no, no. I'm saying like, what, what if, what if it's a white person technically that we consider a white person? If they're and, a descendant of slaves and they could trace their people back to the 1870 census, then yeah, they can get it too. So anybody that got black in them can get and, and anybody that could trace their descendancy, their lineage back to the 1870 census, and it mm -hmm. shows that you were a black person, a Negro. Okay, cool. So okay. how do we, how do we pay for it now? Who cares? How do you pay for Ukrainians to come in and go to college? You ain't asking that shit. Well, because I if you understand that. how money works, then I somebody got to pay I don't for understand it. how money works. Okay, then why you say who cares? I'm asking who cares. I care. How can I you care? Pay? And let me tell you why. We got 40%. We got what, 8 percent inflation right now. The highest that it's been in 40 years. You're not sure. asking about that. Print more I, am. Money. I actually do a show on it every day. Print, print more money and run the run it up. So I you want to print money your, money. So the way that you saw for this is to print more money. Dude, I don't yes. care how you pay. I don't understand the question. He he trying thing. to see see that that's the being That'd be worried about what white folks worried about. Uh -huh. He worried about how white folks gonna pay for it and what he gonna lose and what free shit he gonna lose. Yeah, yeah, fake morale shit. Same right. idiot, same idiot that said the immigrants uh, produce the most wealth in the country with the same right. white people that live here. When when you just stated they have more and they produce more. The same, now now you're same. competent enough to 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 uh, be <laughs> fiscally responsible now. But you the same nigga that know. paid six hundred dollars for a robe that cost ten dollars to produce. Right. No, 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 no. The robes cost five thousand dollars. The Versace robes still cost ten dollars to produce. Mm hmm. OK. Hey, I, that's lead? all I'm saying. The debt is still owed. Saying? It don't matter how you pay. The debt is still owed. That's the thing that's dumb to me. You worried about that, but it's still it doesn't matter. That's not my problem. How they have to pay me. For what they owe me, what the fuck are you talking about? Or we and I? So what you? But you, he already told you he's a traitor. What's the name of Spike Lee's uh, company? Forty Acres and a Mule. Uh, that was the deal. I'm just going by the price of the average acre in in a rural area in the south. Giddy says, says uh, twenty million to start. These numbers are so. These numbers are minuscule. These numbers are not good. I 20, have no idea. Twenty trillion. That's not 20, close enough. I've heard anywhere from seventeen to twenty trillion. It's nowhere but, close enough. But I think that what what happened and listen to what I tell. Listen to what I tell. Go ahead, keep going. Mo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Listen to what I'm. <laughs> now you can go up with with folks and figure out how to pay it and all that shit. That's not my business. All well, I know is when they raise those taxes. Old. Then I just no, say it ain't even. Then I just say tax free idiot. They're gonna raise your black ass taxes for me. One thing that stupid people don't understand, maybe they don't understand. When you get your settlement from insurance, insurance is not taxable. Claims are not taxable because they're not a gain. So it's a stupid comment. But when you dumb like Jedi Mike, uh, I mean, I guess you would. He's an idiot. This is stupid comments. A lot of these people, I guess, because I come from the financial arena, I understand things, but then like it irritates me when I see people talking. You don't know basic simple shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and law, like these are two things that are just pretty simple to go look up and to be aware of, because there, there, there is law and it's math. You know what I mean? It's just you just look at. They don't move. They don't fluctuate. You have models on how to know what you're talking about. So the shit he's saying is just dumb. When again, as you just said, you said tax free. I said tax free. So why? Tax -free. Oh, you got a few crazy. We take or uh, raise your taxes. First of, of all, tax when he, first of if all, they, if they give me the money, that's tax free included. Facts. 
You don't have to now pay. Why would I pay a government to owe me? It's a stupid statement. It's that the burden will not be on me. We will be exempt. And people do not know how far the word tax goes. Mm. Raising taxes, you literally collapse the entire country by doing this. Exactly. You might collapse the whole, you might collapse all right. the colonial powers if half the niggas that was agreed by the colonial powers would actually get together instead of thinking they're on a higher plane mm. than the next one. So because honestly, the, the reparations claim really isn't big enough, but you really need Haitians. You need all the West Indians. You need the Brazilians because really Wait, Spain, England, and man? France need to be sued. So like, like, like really you want to talk about it. Yeah, it'll bankrupt the whole world, bro. And so you think that that's the solution? Dude, I don't give a fuck. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm capitalism, I'm capitalism, capitalism was started off of free labor. <laughs> the free labor of my ancestors, not yours. Like you say, not yours. You ain't worried about it. So, and this I'm is my point is because, and this, this speaks to a larger point, and that nobody is being realistic. Like nobody is really presenting a solution, in my personal opinion, as to how you can actually solve for the thing that people are asking for, and they don't want something realistic. And so as a result, you get you're not qualified to distinguish what's realistic because you're too stupid to know what math means and what math is. You're dumb and incompetent. You're not, nothing you say is valuable because you're too stupid to know that the, your benefactor that you're caping for produces more wealth than the immigrants you're trying to tick for tat with somebody with on your show. Your dumbass was too stupid to count that said that immigrants produce more wealth over the white people that you said are kicking our ass. So he's like, you talk, you know, and what I'm saying, like you talk like you have value, but you're absolutely positively fucking incompetent and stupid and too dumb to li be listened to. This shit, this shit dumb. <laughs> it's stupid. It's just stupid shit. You're not intelligent. You're actually pretty Wrong. fucking stupid. It's hyper incompetent. I thought polite was dumb. Like I thought polite was, I, I thought he was stupid because you just take other people's shit and you run your mouth. But this is the stupidest nigga I've ever seen on the internet. I've never seen nobody this dumb in my life. How many fucking points? Y'all that do the, re the replay of this or you chop it up or you just take the points. I don't care. Count how many times we contradicted this nigga. This is not a long video. We about at 48 minutes of this shit. Compared to how many hours he have in, on different shows. And you the coming in just to be a jerk to some to one of your guests. The whole movement is contradictory. You just shit is goofy. Oh my God. This is, this is brutal, bro. Hey, Gail, I got you. I got you. Definitely. Get nothing. You no, get you're presenting action. a solution. Why don't you? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Can you just give me like no, one? Not to one pontificate. No, not mm. to pontificate. Give okay, a solution. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't agree with you. I don't think you should get shit. Okay. So that's my solution. You go back to your dusty hole. You well, keep complaining you about it. You run in the victim Olympics and you watch people like me that win. Nigga, That's the millionaire, nigga. Let me keep fucking winning, you and that? you sit over there, and you keep complaining in your victim yeah. Olympic. That's my solution for you. I'm not worried about it. Fall back That's into that crazy. hole that you came from, and fuck you and your feelings. That's my solution. Hey, hey watch how his boy totally dismantle his argument. Keep on going. <laughs> Matthew, you ain't you your feelings. Matthew, little girl. Well, let's go back. To you. you go, girl. Live your life, girl. I read him, girl. <laughs> I don't think you should get shit. What? <laughs> it, it don't. It don't matter. I'm getting it anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, not the pontificate. Oh Give a solution. Cool, but I don't agree with you. I don't think you should get shit. Okay, a nigga mad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 So that's my solution. You go back to your dusty hole. You keep complaining about it. You run in the victim Olympics and you watch people like me that win. You got to go. So I guess the victim Olympics is in the dusty hole. Nigga, but first of all, I just seen, met this nigga that day. <laughs> I haven't been watching you I, and you didn't win in this situation. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I know real winners. I'm married to a real winner. Let's just go ahead and start there. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, I sleep Ooh. with her. Go mm. ahead, bro. Mm. And she sleep with one too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Ah. 
Mm. Mm. We coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Nigga, That's the millionaire, nigga. Let me keep fucking winning, man, and man. you get over there, and you keep no, playing man. your victim man. Olympic. That's my solution for you. I'm not worried about it. Fall back man. into that hole that you came from, and fuck you and your feelings. That's my solution. Yeah, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. There you go. Now that's Hello, tough. Baby. AJ, wait, we wait, don't want you. I broke it. Oh, oh, yeah. You emotional. That's tough. He did something just now. You know, how, you know how single mothers is when they finally tell you off. They be planning to tell you off. He on his single mother shit. He won. Because I cussed. Look at his face. Look yeah. at the single mother face he got. I caught him right at the right spot. Yeah. Y'all clip that, man. I'm about to screenshot that shit. I'm about to screenshot that shit. And, like, and, and the goofies who too scared to say anything to me doing the same thing. Oh, go. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't make this shit up. Sassy mama. That's y'all leadership. Sassy little thing. I'm so I'm clipping this shit. That for that look, that face is funny. It's like a chick. Hey man. Hey man. <gasps> <gasps> you are over there. You are over there, brother Bernard. Bruh, I'm laughing at y'all, man, because I'm I'm just like laughing. <laughs> you and Mike, like Mike is like going in. I'm like, y'all gotta stop. But he, but he, but he trashing him. He trashing him. Who got emotional first? It get laughed at. He get laughed. Hey, <laughs> Mike is laughing at him. This shit is American as apple pie. When that nigga broke, look at me laughing when he broke. I already knew what time it was. I broke. Yep. You. I don't know what I, I don't know yep. what I'm. I don't know I what I'm. Broke you. There's really no need for me to talk to you anymore. I'm a, I, I'm a, well, that's what, what did it though. I don't know what I'm gonna rename this. How to break a bitch? Ray straight one one. Hey, go with the eight, go with the eight ball of MJG. Break a bitch college. <laughs> <laughs> go with the old eight ball of MJG, man. Break oh, college, man. Let's go. That's right. Hey, oh, don't don't talk for me, JB. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Anton, so, yeah. no, so Anton, his, his actually wild. That's your homie, baby. Hold up, hold up. If that's your homie, listen. If that's your homie, then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a no, chill no, out. Anton, I, no, actually, I think that's. Oh, we gonna chill out. We doing you a favor. You chilling out on you, Big Mike? Is that your friend? Get your friend. Get your friend. <laughs> listen, we not gonna mince words. Fuck no, off, so Anton. Let me make this point. Anton, let me make this point because what are you talking about? Get to what? The fuck are you you the only one upset? Like get the what? He no, as a now, keep in mind, he still thinks I'm a dusty. You all you asked him was 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 the solution. Where's your solution? Came all that came from that. And this is a man. I, I'm just used to listening to niggas with, with intellect, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really listen to cats who don't possess intellect. I don't deal with intellectual dishonesty. I guess they think I was fucking playing. <laughs> I say everything I mean, my nigga. I say it to your face. I tell your mama you ain't shit. It's just me. That's just me. Hey, hey, Gabby, you right. It's a straight classic. Straight, instant class. This is what I call an instant classic. As soon as you like, hear the song, it's like, oh, that's a classic right there. <laughs> I have to rename this shit How to Break a Bitch. It's some little girl shit here. It's a single mother here. She's a single mother, Rosen. He, he, he definitely need to go on Kevin Samuels' show. That's what need to go on. He need to go on there and have a conversation with him. Because he out of control. <laughs> that's actually he one of the things I highlighted man. in the beginning. That's he one cracked. of the things that fascinates me about Big Mike is he's actually very successful. So I I'm like, where is he coming from? Like, <laughs> hey, look at him shaking his head. Oop. Oh, please tell Oop. me he's not dusty. Oop. Oop. Please tell me he's not dusty. Oop. Please tell me my echo chamber talking points aren't working. Oop. Oops. Mm. That's what's it's, that's that was so my favorite point. part. That was my favorite part when he said, "That's what's inter interesting about Big Mike. He's very wealthy." Mm -hmm. oh, hey, well, look, well. this nigga said I might gonna leave. Cheeky looking like oh shit, and this nigga started shaking his head because he know he done fucked up. That's the first. That's the first uh, uh, compromising it, I just, frame by the court. Cheeky and he holding his I, chin, looking out. I just don't. I just don't walk around with leather Fendi robes on and shit on the internet. <laughs> That's it. Well, all, all I wear, hey, bro, is these know, I'm, not, That's I'm it. not a big fan of the Italian shit. It don't fit me. I'm a little too buff for that. I'm a little too big for that. 
Man, yeah, Italian shit is pretty. Um, Italian yeah. shit is for them pretty niggas that that fight like this. <laughs> hey, get, 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 get helicopter <laughs> fighting. Let me stop. I can literally, <laughs> I can literally see, I can literally see this nigga uh, Anton windmilling at another man with his eyes closed <laughs> and his head down. Try to grab your head. <laughs> Sassy little bit. God damn. And I don't mean bitch like bitch, but I mean like you just like it's just bitch nigga shit. Like you just doing like you acting like a little bit. Oh, I'm about to cough up a lung over here, man. Come Sassy. on, man. Uh, but but Gail made a good point about Bit Mike dropping in, in the chat. I like that. She right. She right. He <laughs> Bit Mike brings facts without insult. You can stop right there. She, you ain't even got to read the rest of the sentence. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just being honest. Yep, multiple times. You don't right, have to. You right. Yeah. You right, Gail. That's the difference between ignoramuses who don't know what they're talking about and somebody who's passionate about what they're talking about because they're trying to help people. It don't come with an insult. It's just like this class mm-hmm. I just take. I was like, you know what? Uh, hey, yo, Big Mike, you know, man, I know um, you can do better than this, but. Well, as soon as I said but, I just fucked up the, I know you can do better than this. Don't put right. but in. See, I don't say but anymore. I, I, I edit, I edit my, just just like me and Mike was saying the other night, when the, the dopest thing I saw on YouTube live is when Noble did what, Bit Mike? He corrected you. Yeah. He said, yeah, that woman, no, Bit Mike, uh, Noble's like, no, that female. <laughs> you're getting out of me you a female i'm not gonna call you a woman right no i got i got too much respect for women i'm not no no i fuck with women y'all seen the women kind of like no i mean look look you know things like height being handsome being well spoken well read all of that stuff actually means something that's that's wealth too see it's not just about having money see you can't look a damn fool and just have money and think that pe- that you're going to get people's respect. There's a lot more things that make a person valuable than just money. So th- this literally broke his heart when he found out that I wasn't a Dusty. Yeah. It's it broke his heart. It broke his heart. Now you done cuss me out. All this shit. And you realize that this nigga wasn't a Dusty. Yeah, and his body. Yeah. Like- Shout out to my Ooh. big sis, K Glover L. I mean, I spoke up. Like, I was just talking about. These are people there that want go, to yeah. abuse power, bro. These are people that want to abuse power. Facts. So you Facts. got people that want to exercise power for the greater good, and you got people that want power to uh, to boost their ego so they can abuse it and abuse people. Mm-hmm. Man, hey, uh, you sure you want to do that invite right there? No, because if she come up, she's going to shut everything down. Oh, oh, listen, you already know this, right? Listen, you already gonna, know this, right? Listen, she going to clown the shit out of him. I ain't going to sit there holding you. Bro. I just put this left. Watch this. Bro. Oh, my God. Bro. Oh. Oh. Hey, when he's you got dusty holes myself. and all that shit. That's what I'm talking about. Dusty. <laughs> look at all to the left. He, he hot I about that. Man, uh, look. Like, that's what I'm saying. People are like, oh, he did do this wrong, Big Mike. They ambush you. The end of an ambush doesn't look like this, my nigga. Facts. Facts. This is what the and, end of an ambush look like. Facts. And you get and, and you gain some more subscribers. Uh-oh. Look at Cheeky. He in his feet. See? See, but that, this, I ain't getting into that. I, I, that's, that's for a whole number. That's going to distract from the thing. The shorty in his body right now, he hot about this. Oh yeah, he, he real hot. He hot, man. We we didn't acknowledge his quinceanera. We everybody didn't just fall down and and just celebrate <laughs> his birthday right on the spot. I even told a nigga happy I birthday, mean, man. You know what I'm a, saying? It was a pinata there. Him. It was a pinata. Who yeah. him? Yeah. <laughs> he beat himself. Now, this is fun. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to. You that, used that, to that, talking niggas. You used to talking to niggas a certain way, bro. And I'm talking to you the same way right now. Bro, that shit don't phase me. That shit like water. And it the don't. But the, rea- but, the, but the reality is that you're just talking shit. You're not actually presenting a real solution. You, you talk. Remember, his rant started because you asked him for solutions. Right. Man. Right. Just, 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 but now it's not going to be the solution. 
Say it again. That, but now it's back on me to present a solution because mm -hmm. you know you got to wiggle your way out the argument. Uh huh. We're cussing and sucking your teeth and looking to the left or the right and finding your purse and where my bag at and then yelling at the child. I'm fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. Right, you're not necessarily talking in order to progress the conversation and so as a result you throw out some you throw out some random fucking number that you know ain't realistic you know it's going to collapse the country you know what ain't even worth talking again yeah notice how mike kept the, the same tone anyway like even with that that's not my problem if somebody owe me why the fuck am i thinking about something that, what do you mean bro like what are you talking about you just you are so on their side you don't realize how stupid what you're saying really is that's not my problem right you owe me. And, and why would i want to not collapse the country that has oppressed my people and my ancestors it's like even it's not like a, ref, a reform can't happen right now we can you do reform, that. but don't see the oh you're gonna collapse the country like that's the first thing on my mind they collapsed. Uh, how many of our countries did they collapse? How many nations and tribes were here before they came? You killed hundreds of tribes and clans and nations. Right. It's a nation here already. Societis Republic K E Al Americanos Estados. Uh huh. huh. That's and, gonna hit the I'll algorithm. Be honest. That FBI gonna get me now. No, <laughs> oh, no, don't do it. <clears throat> Go ahead. What you saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish up. Yeah, we do know I was just gonna play it about because it ain't a real solution, but you do it just for the sake of saying shit, and it don't actually help anybody. Nigga, I answered your motherfucking you, question. Sir. You asked how me you a number. You, you, see, you see the type of it's not a real solution, bro, you, know. you asked me for a number, I gave you a fucking number. Now you want to turn around and use that in your argument against me? You're a fucking clown and a coon. <laughs> and a what? What's the other part? And a coon, nigga. Uh, that you right, you right. Yeah. I am. And, 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 and I'm gonna keep running these. Don't, don't come back over here. Got the real so fast. And I'm gonna keep running these numbers up. I'm gonna keep. Is what I do. I'm here to remind you to stay away from vaping and be a team player. Visit therealcost.gov. Let it play. Fuck it. I ain't cut that part out. And you still ain't. And, and at the end of the day, you still ain't actually talking worth nothing. We can do all of the name calling. We can do all of that. What started? He started what? the name calling. All right. What? All right. Still ain't talking worth nothing. What? That's, what grammar is that? All I say is this: oh. Oh. I have the same energy all the time, bro. Uh huh. Gail put that out. If you come down to visit Jonathan, we can go out to eat in the same place me and Jonathan went out to. I got the same energy all the time. I'll tell you to your face. Everything I just said. Everything I said that night is what I meant. Yes, sis. Sis, you missed. You got to watch the replay, sis. Here's this dude. This, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. This shit is hilarious, bro. This is the dumbest actually, nigga. She, actually, she got to the good part. Actually. <laughs> yeah. This is the dumbest nigga ever. I've never seen nobody that stupid on the internet. This is the dumbest you can call me whatever it is that you want to call me. You can say I'm in the N-word and all of that other type of stuff. The reality is that you just talking shit. You too. That's it. No. No. I actually prove that you ain't actually saying nothing except for these talking points that you see on the internet on a regular basis. The reality is that if you actually want to help people, you will give them something tangible that will actually help them progress. But not just talking shit for the sake of talking shit because you some pro-black dude. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. You're not actually doing nothing for nobody. Okay. You done? So Big Mike, yeah. I got a question. Can, Mike. Can we go Big now? Mike, I got two. I got I got two <laughs> questions for you, Big Mike. So what, uh, the first question, Big Mike, is, and I actually had this in the back in like one of the topics, right? Because you know when Anton made that point, um, one of the things I, I that I found, you know, that I find um, really interesting is that how is it that like so I remember when we were talking about this, right? And you were saying, okay, we all still oppressed, but then when I asked you if you were oppressed, you said no, you're not. You don't feel like it personally affects you. So then I was trying to understand this is this tends to be a narrative that I hear a lot is people the same people pushing this were oppressed narrative when it comes to them personally somehow well it doesn't affect me right and so I'm just trying to understand like how can those two things 
Like, why is that? First of all, why is that always the case? Where this because somehow you have two, you have things going on, right? You have you have several different things that play that add to that. So what you have is you have black people that you have a public life, a private life. You're an individual, and there's a society around you, correct? So me being able to say, okay, as an individual, yeah, I can wake up, I can pay my bills, I can eat, I can go on vacation. But then I look at maybe people in my family or people in the society around me. If I go back home, those people can't do that. So just because I'm out of the oppression doesn't mean that or that I that I have a, the, the means to not be as oppressed doesn't mean that the oppression doesn't exist for other people in my family that look like me, a.k.a. empathy. Which is what none of them niggas have for their own fucking home countries. Which is one of the foundational things expressed in narcissism. Lack Correct. of empathy. Total lack of empathy. Mm -hmm. For your own. Mm -hmm. You know, I That's said it. something one day, man, and I was younger. And uh, you know, my I, I was a grandmama's boy growing up. Me too. And I just couldn't imagine leaving your grandmama behind to come to another country. That shit was unfathomable to me. If she couldn't go with me, I didn't need to be gone. Because who's going to protect her when you're gone? Who's going to protect Bruh. her when I'm gone? Right. Bruh, man, y'all just did a short story. Stop playing, man. That Jake just hit me in the gut. That, that, that's it, it, empathy. Thank you. It's like, how, how, do, how do you even do that? I don't, I don't get it. To, to come asking. over here and be a computer programmer for some fucking white folks. <laughs> And that's the way you worded that was crazy to leave your family to come here to be a computer programmer for some white folks. Right. That's crazy. Just for money. Come here and work for AT&T, nigga. Really? Let's see some of these uh comments real fast. Stop, man. Money has a money only has the value you put in it. I none right of this man. would none of this would cripple America facts. That's the accent. I'm gonna go through modern money mechanics and show y'all that the, what the trash can wave said is actually what the federal reserve said gail says gail at night says the u.s is already bank up bankrupt with a few trillion more dollars nothing it's just it's just an accounting it's just accounting that's all it is trash man miss amber yeah i hate when people speak on topics they haven't thought through yet right now dog dog speaking out of his ass <laughs> against reparations just saying anything anything giddy says run me my money period Miss, Mrs. Amber, alert. The country goes into debt for issues far more superficial. That's a fucking fact. That's a fact. Reparations are needed and serious. Right? Trash Can Wave says, Gail at night, <laughs> he hasn't thought the numbers out, but already predetermined he would be against it. Because he just, he again, he says, I don't exactly. want you to have shit. He already said that. Exactly. So you you exactly. you shit on you throwing all bullshit. No, you don't. You didn't do any math. We watched you not do any math, so you're not talking about shit. He's running your mouth because you're effeminate. You're an effeminate male. <sighs> Mrs. Amber Lou <Lewis> says, <laughs> and if you did leave, why go back and flaunt dollars? uh in front of the less uh less than less than back home what does that help in fact exactly so you got and that's that's that applies to jb more than anything not to say that he's flaunting <laughs> but his talking points doesn't really make any sense to anybody else that to, to this people that he talking to because our my our mindset is like why you won't go back home and do that shit? like it doesn't really make any sense you, you're talking as Ooh. if you're morally and fundamentally ahead of us but the people you talking to are foundationally and morally better than you because we pull our people with us these same people say i'm tired of people thinking everybody got to be brought up so a lot of the reason our money is down because we keep trying to bring our people up at the same time no i'm just what you just said a lot of people i'm about to break this down again because i think a lot now listen a lot of people respect wu-tang for what what they did nobody was left behind right everybody did their own thing but who did it better than them and everybody went freaking platinum new edition 
They all broke up, and when they all broke up, every last one of them got a bruh. Nobody's never done that. Those cats are the only group to date, black, white, Hispanic, anybody, that has broken up literally, and they all pretty much got number ones or Grammys, came back together. You can just go to their concert, and that joint can literally last about five to six hours from all their hits. From oh, separate, means- being separate, right? Come on, man. Mm-hmm. They never forget each other. And then when everybody thought Bobby Brown was the bad guy, he was the man. He was the noble. Y'all thought he was the bad guy. Nah, he was in the behind the scenes like, I don't want nobody to break up. I need everybody to stay together. And when you saw it, everybody looked at Bobby Brown entirely different. He won't do one drug. The woman brought him the drug. Like, it's, but going back to the original statement of it, though, that group right there is the epitome of those guys not leaving each other behind. Right. It's the epitome right. of it. And on the rap side <laughs> of it, it would be Wu Tang. Right. It would be Wu Tang. Right. They, th- these people are showing you how they did it and how to do it. So, I mean, th- once again, there's already a blueprint there. I'm just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. It's there a lot of things you want to, <laughs> you want to, this stuff is all Cointel Pro. This is all the yep. stuff is Cointel Pro. This uh, stuff is all modern warfare. Fuck modern, yep. modern woman. This is modern warfare. We're going to fuck up some shit, put the stats out, have these little idiots like an Anton read the stats as if. It's been fair. Hot our hand and then act like, you know. <laughs> I'm tired of it. <laughs> this says what Big Mike is explaining is how to be the patriarchal head. This is what is missing in our society. Wow, well, shout out the hmm. Blessings to you, sister. Hmm. Shout out the dog. That's facts. Wow, shout out the dog. Facts. It's only a little bit of this to go. He said he got Different. Uncle Ruckus. So, so how are you able to overcome and they can't? That's how why I can't. To... It, that's not my problem. I understand. Just like you can overcome by coming here and a lot of Haitians can't, bro. You could justify it in your brain. I could justify this in my brain. And, and No, but and I'm saying what's holding them? Like, how is that? Does, how is it that the thing that's holding them back didn't hold you back? You say what? How is it that whatever's holding them back didn't hold you back? That's what I'm trying to understand. Because there are different circumstances, man. There's no such thing as equality outside of math problems. So you got people that operate on different wavelengths. They have different intellects. They have different skill sets. People can't, everybody's not going to be able to make the same amount. Everybody's not going to be able to, to achieve the same results. Some people may even put in more effort and can't achieve the same results. You understand? I love how you explain that. That was perfect. Yeah. Yep. I love how you explain that. It's a fact. Exactly. Exactly. Non-negotiable. It's a fact. It's a fact. There are there are people. There's not a cookie. You are generalizing people, and then and then superimposing without even expressing some some standard circumstance that they all can just come through. And it's right. just not, it doesn't really make any sense. Now, if you want to do that, let's do that. Put the numbers up no, <laughs> and look no, respectable. It's, it's a little bit more to that. I don't mean to cut you off, Noble. What mm-hmm. you're doing is you're simultaneously this, this, uh, you're sim- simultaneously ignoring the real cur- uh, circumstances that most of us went through. So, what you're trying to do mm-hmm. is you're trying to create a standard of circumstance, a standard circumstance while trying to discredit or ignore yes. the real circumstance yes that's the intention and, and, and the real circumstance that does bring us together as that's black the, people in the united states of america that's the intention that the the, the 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 intention they have with it but me i like to trap them down their little hole because i'm good at using the numbers i can take them same numbers that he has and what weak-minded people like himself like anton daniels is you 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 can't play with dudes like me that no law because all of these numbers break down to a law right that yeah. law has words and i know how to break those words down that law has words and one of those words are going to lead to a jurisdiction and then that right. jurisdiction mm. is going to have a history and then that history is going to tie down to people and then that people is going to tie down to places in time I am letting y'all know that there's no version in life where I'm not going to crush you. Everything that you ever spoke out your mouth, you have no chance. There is nobody in your group in my class. 
And that's just me. Mm. You have another person in this chat that's that good, if not better. Right. Everything you do, I will track your numbers. I'm elite at this. That's what I did for people's finances. I'll track mm. those numbers to a law. I'll take that law to a jurisdiction, take that jurisdiction to a history, take that history to a people, take that people to a time and a place, to more laws, and I will prove the thing you're trying to hide. I am the best mm. of the best of the best. I will yeah. brush your mm. stupid ass. Absolutely. You don't have mm. no way of getting away with it. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Fucking idiots. I love this shit, bro. <laughs> love this shit. Bro. That nigga I love crying? this shit, bro. Is he wiping tears? What's up with that? Is he crying? We probably, yes, in the inside. I have no idea what you fucking with, what you started with. You fuck with village. you fuck with the village, nigga. You done fucked up. Hey, I don't even watch my nigga, and you still don't know what time it is. Fact. Mm, mm, mm. Put your feet in the, mm, mm, <laughs> step in the wrong shoes with all them sneakers behind you, nigga. Like you, you, <laughs> up, you big for your little britches. Oh you don't want me God. get busy, bro. I want me start popping oh. shit, nigga. Like we can do that too. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like I said, some ways. <laughs> like, that's why I named this shit, bro. I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that tip, bro. I, I, I only be. I do the best I can to just keep shit where it need to be. I'm not trying to flex no talent on here. I'm not trying to be seen. I'm not trying to be popular. I'm just bringing value that I owe and right. honoring mm. honoring the people that uh, whose shoulders I stand on that are not here anymore. That can't win or lose. Mm. That's who I represent. It's not a. It's personal. I take mm. this shit personal. I represent a lot of dead people. They were mm. dead maybe decades before I was even born, if not centuries. And that's how I take it. So when I hear a piece of shit, little bitch boy like this, it, it irritates me. But this is the age of the bitch nigga. And this is the age um, where they have a voice. The pseudo equality. You fight for equality because, you know, you think that it's 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 all like, a fantasy and sunshine. The problem is a lot of you sheep now got to rub shoulders with wolves like me. Mm. And you dump your stupid ass on a, on a, on the internet and you come out here in these streets. You playing by the same rule, the same rules, but you got to understand you're still a sheep. I'm mm. still a wolf. You became a sheep. I became a wolf. We not on equal playing field, no matter what equality doesn't exist. Period. It never did. That's that's why it's always been a phony talking point. I never fell for that. I was never out here. Oh, we need equality and all that. There's no such thing. No, it's not, it's the, no such thing. I'm bigger, stronger, exist. faster, more talented. And, and and you know, I'm not saying me, but you know, just you know, it's always hey. that type of dynamic it's, in every situation. It's always somebody bigger, faster, stronger, yeah. more talented, smarter. And and in America, it's always somebody with a system that backs them up. It doesn't back everybody else up. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all go, y'all go, y'all go back to what I said, man. It's a big deal to this conversation against FBA and the immigrants. They have a nation backing them. They have people doing deals, right? Where you, whereas we got Ice Cube putting together a package, right? And then the black females undermine his fucking package. They like, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, but what about what you gonna get the black females, nigga? This, you was included, but you want that and some other shit, right? No. Well, somebody convinced the female that somehow the black female was separate from the black male, which is why we always got to go back to the drawing board with shit. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like the Ice Cube plan because it mentioned Native Americans without any specificity. In which case, when you start putting other people into something for us, guess who gets it first? Her. <laughs> Not us. Not us. Right. As soon as you say sure, somebody else. else as soon as you bring somebody else into it, that's the person that's getting ready to get it. If yeah. you notice nowadays, they can't yeah. say black yeah. without saying LGBT. Yeah, it's, it's like they said not saying brown. They can't say or black brown by or itself. minority. Exactly. Yeah, they can't say black by itself. They, it's either gonna be minorities, people of color, LGBT. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna always be something else besides just black because that's the other group that's gonna get the resources. And you they just shoot a Trojan horse that for themselves. Shout out to um to the dude uh to the brother Dirty folks. He be on Mr. Palmer channel. He always say that he said he don't, don't want to be black no more. He's not black. He said because black only means um black women and gays. <laughs> <He said>, <laughs> 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 shout out to Dirty folks. <laughs> 
I was like, wow. Ooh. Well, below the belt. We were going to talk about that on the big mic drop one day. I was going to talk about transracialism. And uh, mm-hmm. maybe perhaps this would be some good case studies to, to discuss that as to why, you know, more and more people. Well, race is a made up concept anyway. It's not real anyway. Thanks. So at some point in time, humanity mm-hmm. has to evolve back to race not being real. What goes yeah. up must come down. That's the law of physics. It has to happen. So, right. you know, we're going to have we're going to experience a lot of discomfort in the process of stripping away race. But race can't be stripped away until the debt is paid. That's, that, that's a fact, man. That's a fact, bro. Like we have to mm. compensate. Law compensation is always in play. It has to be in play. Compensatory justice, law compensation. Yes, yes it has to yes. be in play. Yes. Mm. So, so, by, so by the way, I noticed uh, Sage Talk is trying to talk. You're you're muted, but. Hold on, let me just unmute you real quick. Um, but that before before Lee talks, before Mr. Lee talks, mm-hmm. just one more thing I wanted to ask you, uh, because I remember one of the things that you said um, in our conversation was, like, if they give you, you said this yourself, that if they were to give black people like ADOs, FBA black folks reparations, a lot of that money would end up going to these, you know, uh, uh, designer brands, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and all of that, Absolutely. and and whatnot, and whatnot. So. Do you think this money should be given in any like? Do you think this? I, listen, I don't. This doesn't apply to me, but I'm just curious. Do you think this should be? If we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna take all this money and give it to um, uh, uh, Ados and FBA black folks in, as reparations, right? Um, do you think there should be any conditions on it? No. So it doesn't. So you don't think it matters that the same it group doesn't of people that with that that y'all are saying is oppressing y'all, you're gonna then take the bread and then go and b- bring it back to them. It don't matter what people do with it. I'm. That's a, I, 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 again. You qualify what that meant. If you are a descendant of these people, that would mean that these people that are now light skinned or mulatto or or could be even considered white would be their descendants. Right. That's, they still have the right to procreate with who they want to procreate with. Correct. You don't lose that right, and they should be entitled to that ancestry, the the, the ancestry thereof. Right. So I don't understand that. I mean, I, I understand that question to be an, an, an asshole question. I'm just keep shit on it. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a, it, it, once again, it's an asshole question because nobody's asking this about Ukrainians or anybody else that's getting ready to come in here and get the bag. When when y- when your folks came and they got that EBT card, they mm-hmm. didn't qualify them and tell them what type of food that they need to buy with it. Y'all could buy whatever y'all wanted to buy with it that, that EBT covers. You see what I mean? So why do we have to have conditions put on our shit? Right. They love to condition a nigga. Compartmentalize it, right? You know what I'm saying? They love for us to have conditions. They love for us to have rules why nobody else has to abide by. Hmm. Hmm. You're right. And then when you come back, right. they say, I didn't mean it like that. You just right. said it. Facts. You. Oh, so now when I defend myself, oh, I didn't mean to make you mad. I'm not mad, but I'm going to defend what i believe and you're not gonna say what i believe and you don't know what i believe oh i didn't i didn't mean it like that you meant it some way mm-hmm. so you're going you about to take this word with it that's what you about mm-hmm. to take and i give a certain <laughs> amount of grace when i'm talking to people who have english as a second language i'm not yeah. totally insensitive yeah. because a lot of people don't understand context that's the, what makes the right. english language so hard to understand yeah right. because it's a lot of words that change definition in different contexts and I think we're the only language that does that. Yeah. So, so I give one a lot of grace. That's why I have to be like, are, are you sure? Is that really what you want to ask? Is that really what you're saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, that's, exactly. that speaks to, what you're saying, that speaks to what I always talk about, syntax. Etymology, parsing, syntax. Would you just explain the syntax? Because they, they're they trying to use the syntax in their mind um, from their language and just translate the words and say the words that they mean. You have to use syntax mm-hmm. to change it into a, a proper phrase in another language right again like mm-hmm. i say what i'm saying the stuff that i'm saying is literally universal and applies and it helps everybody and it helps make allow real conversations to have and not fake conversations we go and then we agree on something and then we go we'll come together agree on something if we happen to agree which usually won't happen even what you even with what we agree with it's not gonna matter in the long run the, the, the information will be inaccurate because we don't know what words mean and we don't understand that translation that's why i know for a fact mm. i can get any hypothetical or real number that you say and track it down to people in history right. i know why you have that law in place for that there's a like we want to talk money you have to study law because all the money is based off of law 
It can right. only move because that that law, that governing body has to be responsible, physically responsible. It has to have insurance. It has to have a bond. So the people that um, sign off on that is it's our endorsers. Right. Like you have to endorse a check. That all that link when you go to when you study law, it's like listening to a rap verse. It's metaphysical. Mm. It's, it's metaphors all throughout. Right. If I it would if you would think I'm word playing, but it's really the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, we almost done this one. And not necessarily bring it back to them. That's not going to be what I do. But I'm not. I don't care what people do with it. The whole thing is about getting it. And see, here's the deal. Nobody's asking this about the reparations that the Japanese got. Nobody's asking this about reparations Indians get. Nobody's asking this about any other group but black people. And it's y'all niggas that's asking it. Other mm. niggas that look like us. Mm. Mm. That's the problem. That's a problem. Mm. So we got OG Lee in here. How you doing? Lee? Hey, man. Hey, man. Like Big Mike said, ambushes don't look like this. <laughs> nah, ambushes don't wind up like this. Yeah, but I don't think we this was, this was a failed ambush. And I'll be honest, before you uh get lost and wander over to the big mic drop, get some of your partners, man. It'd be it'll be better for you. Therefore, you'll feel more protected next time. You won't feel victimized when you leave. My team, my team, you need teams for my team. Let's see. It's up to you, Big Mike Drop. What you want to get into next? You want to get into the conversation with JB? Uh, let's get started with it, man. Me and me and the missus probably about to grab a bite here in a little bit. But yeah, okay. we can jump into it. Okay. Because yeah, you, you got to see the second part of this situation of when he can't when the when the tables were turned, and 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 we'll start talking about victimization and and the perception of victimization. Let's go. You want to jump to the second half? We can yeah, we can, jump to, we can jump to the second half toward the end. If you want to. It wasn't really much said in the in the midst of it. It's just a bunch of <laughs> but we'll just go. We'll, it, it, it was pretty much the same contradictions that was going on on the first on, on their network. So nobody was really bringing up anything different. But I will say this. You didn't get 10% of my people. <laughs> No, I don't think you know that only within like six or seven people. You still ain't get them. Got mm -hmm. up here. The message is pure. We hold on, we hold on to the integrity of the messaging. Mm, I don't even know where to start, bro. Because there's so much stuff. Every every time as soon as I see shit, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what ops. Like. Hey, let's go. We're not the ops. So you think the system? So you saying the system is is the ops or, or white folks is the ops? The system is the ops, but the system is put in place okay. to benefit right. white folks. That's what we're seeing now. That's why we're seeing all of these no charges getting filed. <clears throat> you see how dangerous that is. Do you see you. how that? Do you see how that puts us back in a time period that we've actually almost surpassed? As, as black people that's been here so you know if we don't stand up in march then they will really start thinking it's okay and then we just have undone all the work that's been done up to this point but if we're gonna get out in march and 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 and, and, and uh require justice for everybody black in the united states then we have to have y'all's attention and i hate to say it we have to be at the lead I got you. I okay. I do have one more thing to say on this, right? Because even when you talk about them being on code, um, and th this this is why, and, and I know you may disagree with this, Big Mike, but this is why, like for me, I really don't even look at this as a yeah, you pure just it's just all about whiteness. I see this as a group of people who probably did something, not probably, who seems like more very likely that they did something very bad, or somebody within that group did something very bad, like that was obviously fatal because they took that brother's life, right? And, you know, and they realized the, the optics or whatever they didn't, they didn't want inside. He's referencing, um, this is about the Jamaican nigga die, right? Yeah, Peter, uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. Oh, damn. Yeah, Peter, he gets caught. 
Peter Spencer, the guy, the Jamaican guy that went camping with four white people. He they only went shot. camping with his homeboy, but the, the, the dude he worked with, but the dude he worked with brought three more motherfuckers he didn't know. And then they ended up getting shot how many times? Shot nine times. Right. Nine times. So right. he him him going with his friend, and then more friends showed up, and then he ended up getting, being shot nine times. Was Jonathan Barronville was the one that's on the phone. He referred to that as they did something very bad. Yeah, they did something very bad. Very bad. Yeah. And they were worried about the optics. Was that one person, or maybe they were all involved in some way in terms of like covering it up, whatever happened, and they're tr- protecting their asses. And I'm just saying that I don't see this as something that another group of people would not do. At the end of the day, people are selfish. You know, people are inherently selfish. No. And so it's not about what other see, people. Like, it's not about what another group of people would do. It's about what the law won't do for certain people that they will for other people. Yes. Now, you brought up your friends on the boat. They might be cool folks, right? But say y'all go out on the boat and a white body gets produced. You think you're just going to walk from that? So you see how I flipped that on him? I don't know what's going to He brought up the example of... Well, I got white friends and they're cool and we go out on the boat, this and that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, that can happen. That's cool. I mean, I got white friends too. I hang with all the time. But what happens, I'm not so oblivious to who I am. I know I have very good situational awareness. I, I watch my surroundings. I'm not so oblivious to understand that it's still a situation that, that could that could leave me in trouble. So I always, I'm always looking. I'm always up on game. I'm always on a swivel. But so I asked him, okay, say nothing does happen to you when you go out. What happens when you go out on the on the boat with the white folks and you accidentally knock somebody over because you drunk? Right. And they right. don't make it. Do you think you're really gonna come back and they're gonna conspire with you to cover it up? They're gonna come and turn your ass in. Facts. And you're exactly. going to prison. Yep. You you see what I mean? So yeah. it is it, it's, it's not about looking at people as enemies because of race or whatnot i i use the term opponent yeah i love that word that's a familiar that's you're not necessarily my enemy but you're not necessarily an ally you're my opponent yes that's a real right that's what we're trying to put on your mind i'm not saying don't hang out with folks don't have a good time but never position yourself the way you're by yourself with a bunch of the motherfuckers never do that shit unless you're at work bro and, and it's and it's dudes that get that get fucked up at work but why do why why should it's why people should that I get harassed at work like oh here's what i'm saying though but nick bike like okay see again I, I and i'm not just doing this to be like to just be like a contrarian or something like i, I really legitimately think this is an interesting conversation because a lot of these scenarios you can actually look at you can take a uh, black uh, white folks out of it and just look at ourselves and we have scenarios similar. So, for example, you took a body as an example, but we have scenarios. I personally know dudes who got up in a car, who, who got caught up in a car with a group of guys, and they got caught up, they got pulled over, they found something in the car. And they'd rather, rather than that one person who was really responsible for it, to, you know, just taking charge and say, you know what, that's my stuff. They'd rather let the whole crew go down. You know what I'm saying? Like, let the whole group of guys go down, and everybody's afraid to say anything because they don't want to be called a rat, right? And so, Everybody's gonna, everybody's just gonna protect themselves, Big Mike. I don't think that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not looking at it as a whiteness thing. I'm just looking at people being selfish and protecting themselves and saying, okay, I'm not about to tell on myself and say, oh, this strap is mine or these drugs are mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like, they're gonna have to, you know, really take this case to trial. Meanwhile, you're causing all these innocent folks that were in the car with you to have to go to trial with you for something that they didn't even do, right? To be locked up and to be in jail for something that they didn't even do. Right. And I, and I, I personally know I could I could I'm going to text you a name of somebody you can look up that went through this. Right. And so why are we just focusing on whiteness? I just see this as people protecting their ass as selfish as it may be. That's so what I'm saying it's a good versus evil. Thing. So Lex Lex King asked the question, JB, do you feel that is no racism? No, I just said this from the beginning. I, I absolutely believe we don't we don't live in a post racial society like this. Yes, there are people who are racist. Well, where's the racist power structure? I, I got an uh, add on to that. Where's where's the racist power structure centered? Do you think it's just we complaining because white people don't like us? <laughs> like we're we, we, this is we're not trying to be liked. 
We really just want justice. I'm, so I'm not. Wait, I'm not sure I follow your question. You mind? You mind elaborating? Yeah, because I, I think we're kind of getting mixed up. Like racism is the problem. I don't give a damn about racism. All right. I'm pretty prejudiced myself, if you haven't noticed, and I'm I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> I'm I'm American. That shit's as American as apple pie. Being a bigot, that's as American mm -hmm. as apple pie. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I don't care about people being racist. I do care about my son getting shot in the back of the head by a cop, and they saying they're not gonna press no charges, or my nephews. Or even anybody else that I knows people. I'm afraid of having to swallow that pill me? one but day guess, because of your I'm color. Guessing. Or because you've gone out in the woods well, with a bunch of white people and they started they said that you started acting crazy and they had to put you down by shooting you nine times. And then the police say that they're not gonna charge anybody. You have to swallow that pill, you have to sleep with that. Yeah. Parents have to live with that. It's, it's it's a very real situation let's get let's get this response to that and look at you know how much how much time you got before you about to go get grab some yeah, meat? I, I, about another 15 minutes all right let's just jump to that end let's just jump to that point where uh, he doing that victim shit. i got something for that victim shit. happened Y'all go back and check those of y'all who are watching, man. Y'all go they back all, and check out that conversation. Every single all right. Uh, if you could start but not, brother Bernard, was you on when was you on when he dropped off? Um, I think I was. I can't remember. But yeah, Bernard was on to the end. Yeah, I was on to the end. That's when my internet so I was finished up. Right. With, I finished up with both of <laughs> you. Just keep your mind and right. your mouth off for what happened in the United States slavery, especially if you had right. no parts to do with it. You don't tell us what right. to do with it. Right. You don't tell us to throw our ancestors away. You don't tell us to throw our ancestors and forget about our ancestors' experience. That shit's offensive. Extremely. That's offensive. So if I'm talking that right. they want to be, but they have to enforce that mandatory minimum. They absolutely have to. So at that point, that's tell me any case where you could tell me exactly what the timeline would be. Tell me Dude, any case in the, in the court of law. I, I, would, tell you, I would, would tell you, I would tell you something that you could really do right now. You could do this right now, dude. It would literally take a minute. Just admit that white supremacy exists and that you're a victim of it, just like we are. I don't agree with you. No, but Big Mike, I don't agree with you on the way you you talk about that. No. I but he just said earlier in the fucking shit that racism. All right, maybe they separate things in his mind. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah, that, no, that's why you got to watch the, 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 the terminology, you got to watch the lingo. You got people out here now in the midst of this argument. They're trying to fight racism because they feel like we want some kind of popularity amongst white people. So they're going to always harp on the racism mm. aspect of it. Racism, because most people feel like, first of all, there's not even a real definition of racism out there in the dictionary anymore. Huh. It's because technically black people can't be racist. Racism is the ability to systematically oppress somebody else and discriminate against somebody else. Black people don't have a system in place to oppress and discriminate against anybody else. However, there's a system and an apparatus in place to do that very thing to us. So that's what racism is in the technical sense. But now the definition of racism, you have things like, oh, black people are racist. No, you're being racist towards white people. You're being racist towards people that aren't even a fucking race. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're being racist against right. Jewish people, which is a religion. It's not a race. Right. You see what I'm saying? The race right. is Hebrew. But mm -hmm. the, you know, the the it, it's so the 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 definition of racism has been convoluted major. A long time. So so now you gotta watch the difference between people that wanna beat racism or wanna eradicate racism versus the people that want to put a play a, a system of justice in place to replace the racist justice system system of true justice in which case true justice equals compensation for black folks who work for this country as slaves yes, absolutely right 
So the thing is, I don't, I don't want to talk about hypotheticals, man. I don't want to talk about hypothetical groups, man. I don't. It's not There's no framework it's for it. There's no that's, framework that's for it. It doesn't have a timeline. It doesn't have. You can't give me any specific. There, okay, Big Mike. Hey. There's nothing that has a timeline. No. What are you talking about? What, y- y'all want? Y'all want to talk? That has a timeline. Do y'all have any questions? I'll be right back, Big Jonathan. Mike, not, I'm not trying to be rude, time. brother. I'm about to pee on myself, brother. Let me let me go <sighs> use the bathroom. Go ahead, brother Bernard. So oh, I, I don't. I don't have nothing. I mean, I'm just. You know, I want to talk. So you see. I gave him a pre-warning before somebody just came in talking to him. Nobody came in attacking. Nobody came in doing any of the things that you claim that we were doing to you that y'all actually tried to do to me. Right. The whole time me and you had our disagreement, nobody else was talking. Niggas weren't toasting drinks, giggling and shit, like little bitches in the background, scratching their heads and shit, like the little Nigerian nigga was. We weren't doing none of that. It's an entirely different level of decorum. entirely different level of professionalism over here on the big mic drop in the quorum. It was completely different. Yeah. Yep. The parties, all three parties are still here. Well, other than the gentleman that that, uh, that came in and left. Let's get to where he was got uh, because I want you to go through exactly. this. all that yeah, fighting, exactly. all that tough talk. Uh, exactly. I'm gonna pull up and I don't exactly. do all that. That's like right. see, know, I don't know if you I, I don't know if you heard me while you were gone, bit my I, I said I did, that I was yeah, he did not comply to one thing. He said, "Get back in the car." Not one thing. Yep. Winston, you can't say that stuff in the United States. It don't matter. In Virginia, you're the lieutenant governor in the place where slavery started. Sideways. I'm like, well, hold up. When did he? Because we got to get to. Virginia. And then they found my grandfather. Then they found my grandfather's father. Hold on. They found my grandfather's father. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. What'd you say? You find your grandfather's father on a railroad track. Yeah, because they you, came. They came for him. You they know came, what you, they said. I'm just saying. I'm giving true stories that my grandfather told me. From, he was from Mississippi. They said we don't want your father. We don't want y'all. Y'all get to walking. We're gonna burn your house down. Get to walking. And then eventually they found my grandfather's father on a railroad track dead. Yeah, and you know what's funny? So I mean, it's not I mean, funny, but. It's a shame, <laughs> but my wife's great grandfather died the same way on a railroad I'm just track. Saying, I mean, lynched on a railroad I mean, track. I'm not making these stories up, and I'm not going to forget them because it's part of my history. Right. I'm just not. Let me get to no time, brother. No, you're not. Right. No, you're not. I've just. I've had. All right, here we go. Here we go. No such thing as yeah. equality. You come on here, you hold your own nuts. You stand ten yeah, toes I mean, on your I, position, I got, and then everybody have, standing ten toes so on their position. There's no fairness. Point, so you don't think you're. Call Anton. Call Anton and tell him to call in. If you want to, yeah, well, hey, what, what I can say, what I can say for me, Jonathan. So you don't think it was, it was what I can say for me. When you on my platform, you don't think it was important. You say what? You don't think it's it was going in and out to you when you on my platform, even though I knew that we had different views. You didn't think it was important. I'm being fair to you, Jonathan. You've had <laughs> you've had a lot of talk time, brother. No, you're not. Right. No, you're not. I'm just, I've had I, I didn't I'm have not. as much it's talk it's time in seven hours as you've had in the last seventy minutes, brother. No, but no. Here's the thing, Big Mike. This is different. Big Mike, here's the difference. You just asked me a question, for example. You said, you know, I bet if you told me, with, let's forget white people right now, you, uh, uh, you disagree, and I'm like, you okay, you, answered not, not, question. you answered the question with a question. You answered the question with a question. You answered for you what? You don't understand what we're going through. You don't understand it. You ask me a broad question. Again, Just say you don't understand it. Again, you ask me a question to corner me. You asking me a question to corner me, Big Mike. You're saying, would I forgive white people for what? I'm asking for what? What exactly are would you ask me to forgive white people for? That's I, me. I don't have to ask. I don't have to answer that for <laughs> FBA, brother. That's what I'm saying. We on code. Bro, I, bro. Nobody, nobody on this panel besides you is confused about what we're talking about, bro. I'm not confused. I want you to clarify your question. Dude. Right. Oh. I, you, you no, no, no. This. I'm finding out. I'm finding out a little something about how you operate. What you like to do is break things down with examples so you can play things like they isolated incidents. Facts. <laughs> and that's not how it works. Oh. Ain't like that. Ain't like being read. I'm just literally right. I'm not giving you no specifics. If you don't know what I'm talking about, brother, you're not on code. 
with what we got what, going on. What you just I, not. So just and there's nothing wrong with that. You still a cool cat. I'm not saying no saying there's anything wrong with you. But you're not on code with what we got going on. But you just want somebody. You just want somebody to agree with you. No, that's I don't, you, brother. If I wanted you somebody to agree with me, last night I know you didn't agree with me. I wouldn't answer your phone call if I wanted somebody to agree with me. Shit, this fucking that shit. I'm not. I'm not that insecure in my thoughts and, and my and the knowledge I got in my head, brother. You don't have to agree with me. It doesn't make it less true. But okay, so then why ask me questions to paint me in a corner? Because I'm, I'm oh, you God. ask me hey. what I say, what I hey, and we're off. off. Hold on, one second. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The victim of epics. <laughs> and so we're coming to a track near you. Hold on, how do they have the victim of epics? They lost wars before. <laughs> Introducing our commentators for tonight, we will have Mr. Noble and we will have Mr. Drop uh, Mike. Uh, drop the mic. And we would like to thank you guys for coming by to the Victim Olympics. The victim Please stay Olympics. tuned after after these commercials. <laughs> hey, if we the Victim Olympics, them niggas the Victim Special Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Your ass. You Y'all the karate me. helmet crew. Let's go. Bro, and we're off. <laughs> this came in the perfect time, sis. I <laughs> to forgive white people. I'm asking you for what? That's actually a valid question to, your, to what you said. Like, for what? What What are you asking me what I said? Like, what are you asking specifically? Am I going to forgive white, the white folks who, who, who are involved in slavery? No. If that's what you're trying to get at, but you're not, you're asking, you're not really asking the question to get an answer. You're asking me the question to put me in a corner. That's what I'm saying. Like if you just ask me, if I Jonathan, was stop like projecting, man. You're, you're better than this, brother. Oh, oh you're better bro, than bro. this. You're better than this. Oh my ancestors! I've literally traced. Listen, bro. I've literally traced my ancestors to slaves. So of course, nigga, you from Haiti. Haiti. Of course, you trace your ancestors to slaves. <laughs> <laughs> like that okay, shit was so a surprise. Why, why in this corner, like almost like, oh, he does. He just thinks like he was doing us a favor, letting us know that. Nigga, I know what you trace your folks to. I'm very familiar. This about white people. I'm trying to just have a different perspective with you. So you, you trying to say, oh, like if you forget white people, what kind of question is that? Like, is it? Are you asking me for slavery? Because obviously, no. Why the fuck would I like uh, forgive the people who enslaved my fucking ancestors? That makes no sense. So if you knew that, why the fuck you didn't say that from the beginning? Why can't we find common ground there? Because that's what the whole basis of, of it is. Correct. Mm -hmm. Why do you not feel the same way about your homeland as I feel about mine? Y'all actually had to pay money back to the people that y'all freed yourself from. <laughs> <laughs> On yeah, top of economic sanctions from the United States. <sighs> oh my God. Stop saying that, man. Because I'm sorry, it's disrespectful to laugh, but it's like the way you say it, though, it's like you really talking about me and y'all. <laughs> God, man. God. God, you can't make this stuff up. That, that's what happened. You can't make it up. <sighs> I wouldn't know, but you can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make this goofy, stupid, retarded, satanic shit the fuck up. You can't. You can't make it up. So that's what I'm saying. You're trying to paint me in a corner that I'm not in. Dude, I you painted yourself in the corner by... That's three times, ladies and gentlemen. Answering my question with a question. Because you could have easily answered that. By asking the I'm not painting you into a corner. I, Don't I, I project that onto me. Question. Don't project that onto me. That's what you just did. What's so bad about answering, clarifying a question that's a broad <laughs> question? You said, would I forgive black, white folks? For what? Am I going to forgive the white person that stepped on my shoes? Sure, just like I forgive the white person. The black all right, person all right, man. Like, we're not talking about that. Look, look, Jack, we're not talking about stepping on shoes, bro. We're not talking about I stepping know, on I'm, shoes, I'm, man. I'm Come on, man. Come on, man. You're better than this. You're better than this, Jonathan. No. Nah. 
Now Cam just said in the Cam just said that you understand history most, most better than anybody on the panel. What the fuck you know? <laughs> I got fire your history teacher shirts. I, I make fire your history teacher shirts, and I do it for a reason. I have a very good understanding of my history. Okay, that's not that, that's not her point. That's not her point. Her Cam's point is that Cam is literally my girl. Cam has been in my crib regularly. <laughs> she sees my whole fucking library full of books on black history. That's what I'm saying. When people talk to me, just because I have a different perspective, immediately it's, you don't understand our history. You don't know our history. But it's just why can't you just listen to something that's different from what you're seeing or what what, what the way you see the world? Right. Bro, just, bro, know, I asked you a question and you answered for what? I'm not letting you slide. Because painted okay. you in a corner or not. Right. Paint how you however you feel about it. I'm not letting you slide with the way you answered that Big question Mike, with a question. Big Mike, here's the, okay. So let me tell you why. And that's why I was just saying, right? You asked me a question that's very broad. If you ask if you were saying that for slavery. Fuck no, I'm not gonna forgive the people who enslaved my ancestors. But if you ask me, are you gonna forgive the white person that did this to you, did that to you? Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know the context. Are you gonna forget? Are you gonna forgive white people for Jim Crow? Are you gonna forgive white people for Jim Crow? No. Why would I do that? You weren't here, right? Exactly. So why say anything about any of it, brother? Why say anything about any of it? You weren't here for it. You weren't here for it, bro. You got you got here after. And my point on bro, that was how can you, See, you just hear what how you can you hold something against no somebody for just, something you weren't there for? You obviously don't look at us as your family, so you mm -hmm. can't hold it against us for our uh, hold it against them for our sake. Because you wouldn't be saying I you were there. Ask you about a time period you weren't here for, to see what your answer would be. I don't get it. it. It's not connecting. It's not making sense to me. These talking <laughs> points aren't making sense to me. And like I said, if I didn't listen to Tariq Nasheed and the Black Authority go back and forth with these type of people all day, then then I would think different. Mm -hmm. But, but mm -hmm. I, I know what time it is. Mm -hmm. And I ain't even got no Roley. I know what time it is. You said you, you said, said no you said you wouldn't forgive him for that. You want me? You want to put me in a certain corner? You said. Maybe yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, man. All right. Do you do you not want to be in the corner, Jonathan? If that's you, what you feel, if that's what you feel corner, like I'm not, doing, if you trying, if you really feel talk. like I'm being you're intellectually dishonest talk. right now, Jonathan, then then I I hate you feel that way. But if you feel like I'm not answering, it's the difference, right? Big Mike, here's the difference. Here's the difference, right? You notice know at the start of my show, you know one of the things I did was I said, I even looked at you when I thought when I when I first met, when I met you, and I was like, I was already already mentally putting you in a box. And then I listened to you and I'm like, yo, there's something unique about this brother. And I actually sat there on my show and I listed all the reasons why I think I want to hear more of your perspective. What you're doing is you already have a perspective of the immigrant perspective, and you want to you want me to sit in that box, right? And I'm not in Bro. that box. I'm talking so about I'm really trying, trying to protect my perspective. You're attacking my perspective. I've said nothing about what the immigrants should be doing in their countries. <clears throat> I'm not the I'm about, not bro? the like, one I'm not the one in your country so attacking the immigrant perspective. I'm not the immigrant. That's what I'm telling you. Bro, I'm part so, of the black so, experience so, in America. Whether you like so, it or not, I'm part of the black experience in America, bro. You are part of the black experience in America. Like not, but not but 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 the depth of that experience, the depth of that experience isn't as deep as mine. And can you admit it's to that? Sure. Historically, it's not sure. Exactly. Sure. That's all sure. I'm saying. Not, I'm so so historically not, being in proximity or something. I'm but not be, debating history with you. I'm part of the black experience in America, bro. Right, like you I'm are. Part, so yes, I you get to are. talk on the same experience that you, I'm, you are. I get to talk on the same experience that I'm experiencing. No, no, bro. bro. You you I can't. You can't. Because you guess what? Wherever you work at, you're part of that too. But you're not finna fall off in no CEO's office trying to make decisions and, and say what you think, are you? You're gonna get there and you're gonna stay in your place. You you're gonna stay in your place when you get there, right? When you go to work. You don't go no, outside and above fact, your pay grade to make no, decisions, no, do you? I, fact, I, have, I have personally. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you personally see, gone to the CEO's office. I have personally. And, 
Okay. You, Big Mike, set, Big Mike, send me your email right now, Big Mike, and I will actually forward you an email that I personally sent to executives at a company I work for to fight for black people. Send me your email right I'm now. I'm not talking about, I'll, I'll I'm not even talking saying. about you fighting for black people, man. Listen, listen to what Mike, I'm saying. Big Mike, see? Big Mike, see, that's what I'm saying. You want me, Big Mike, see, that's what I'm saying. You want me to fit in that box so bad, right? This, this is not honest because you, you just said something that's not true. I don't stay in my place, bro. I say what I think in, in any environment. So send me an email right now. I'll forward that. So, so Big Mike, Big Mike, can I say something? Can I say something? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. John. You there, Brother Bernard? Yeah, I was going to say skip past my part because he he screwed my part all up and I was trying to pick up for him. But anyway. No, 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 no. no. Let it rock because it illustrates the point because he did the same thing to Cheeky. Right. Uh, Hey, Hey, Jonathan, can I say something? Okay, I will say this to Jonathan. Now, where I work at the Fortune 500 company, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. Hey, good, let me know who you are, Bernard. Hey, uh, Bernard S. from Facts and the Uncomfortable Truth. Um, okay, I, I will okay, say this. I, know. I will. I will say this at my Fortune 500 company. I will say this with Jonathan, and, and Jonathan can disagree or agree. It's two things that will get you fired. <laughs> Talking about racism. And talking about people of the same sex, I don't care. I mean, it's so hot right now. I have white guys at my work; they feel like black people. They like they feel like mm-hmm. they. It's like mm-hmm. I don't even know how to explain it. Like they come to me and like, man, I said, well, first of all, you probably shouldn't be cracking jokes. Now, I will, I will. That what I'm saying is, bit Mike, for people that don't work in a Fortune 500 company, more understand where I'm coming from, and maybe even Jonathan. I'm gonna tell you right now, if Jonathan did that, they not gonna come back at him because the, the, it's so hot in these Fortune 500 companies. CEOs and everybody get exposed for just coming back at somebody like a small guy, they coming at you. I will say that. Now, I'm not saying why he's doing it. I don't know why. And Jonathan, I'm saying that just so I could be fair to you. Is that okay to you? I mean, you get what I'm saying? Jonathan, I mean, I'm just you're, you're, even, you're assuming something right now. You don't know what happened. No, I'm not assuming. I'm not assuming. <laughs> I'm talking about the same thing he did to Cheeky. Exact same okay. thing he did to Cheeky. Cheeky tried to throw him a bone. Yeah, said, I'm not assuming that. So, so I've come up. I've come up with the word for him, agitator. I would. I would come up with the word self defeating. Well, well, not not well. That and, well, you. I could say that, but it's just like no matter what you say. But let me explain, but let me explain, but let me explain. Now, if anybody has been here for the last couple of hours or any any other place he's been, you can't always be on every panel and trying to keep getting your point across, and we never get a point to come across. You never get there. We get this. That's like all nothing. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Once again, it's a difference. It's a difference when I'm talking about Bitmite. I'm talking about Noble. It's a difference when I'm talking about them, you know, that's gossiping. But when I'm saying something factual about them, mm-hmm. that's not gossiping. Facts. That's just telling you a fact, hey, man, you might want to work on that. That's it. But he gets more and more defensive when you do cut him off, when he's two, three minutes in trying to explain what he's trying to say. You say, hey, you didn't answer the question. No, no, no. Let me get to it, though. So that's, a, that's the problem that I see. You just got to be able to answer the questions that people give you, man. That's, that's all I'm saying. It lasts. What I'm what I'm noticing is with a lot of these um, men that come on the platform is, or I shouldn't. I'm not even gonna say men, but males. What I'm ah. noticing with a lot of ah. the males that come on the platform is, you know, they use this time for their own personal therapy. So you know, no one in the real world actually listens to them. So they'll come on this platform because now they have the world's eyes view to see them and hear them and actually listen to them. So when you're, you know, you just made, uh, uh, you know, example of saying, well, look, in a Fortune 500 company, if you say anything about race or sex, you know, the CEOs, the board members, the execs, they're not going to say anything against you because they don't want their company to get sued. You know, it's, exactly. it's, hard, it's hard. Once you get sued, it's hard to yes, have to pay more for insurance. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think people really understand that yep. 
everything in the business is about your business interests. It's about the economy. So the more and more that your company gets sued, that means the more and more your insurance company has to pay out and claims. And eventually the insurance company will say, well, look, we're not going to pay out any more claims. So you're going to have to go and get another insurance company. Once you have one insurance company that says, we're not going to pay out in any more claims, what happens is you're now blackballed in the insurance industry. So now what you have to do is you have to revamp the name of your entire company. You have to change everything, the look, the look of it, the brand and all, all of that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he understands just like a lot of these, you know, quote unquote, angry black women. I don't think he understands business. And a lot of them don't understand business. You know, the brother, uh, Big Mike, he had, had said uh, a while back on the other video that Joe was reviewing, he talked about, you know, uh, us having equity. And that just went over everybody's head because the difference between equity and equality is equity allows for the one who needs it the most to receive the most. So your resources is going to go behind the ones who need it the most. Equality gives equal fractions to everyone. Mm -hmm. So we're not saying that we want equality. We want equity, equity. Right. because we need it the most. We are the most undeserved, but at the same time, what they fail to tell us is really, if you go back to, uh, you, you can go back to looking at today, for example. A lot of people don't even understand that today is uh, Washington, D.C.'s Emancipation Day. So Washington, D.C.'s Emancipation, Emancipation Day came off the back of the Emancipation Proclamation. But before you had the Emancipation Proclamation, the prior year in April 16th, you had Lincoln who actually passed an act to free African descendants in Washington, D.C. and Maryland. So each African descendant was to receive 50 cent, right? Mm. So that is an equivalent to 50 cent and gold because we were on another standard. Right. Back then we were on the gold standard. So when we're talking about compensation and not reparations we need to go back to look at the gold standard and what 50 cents was worth back then and what it would be worth today we're talking about 40 acres in the mule it's really 40 acres and the 40 acres was to go to the lands that was in south carolina georgia and florida right now see what happens is because of article four what happens in one state you know you can say well it has to happen in all the other states because all of the states have full faith and credit to any of the acts that are passed so each of the descendants of those as the brother was saying who was on the census of those you know ancestors who were on the census is supposed to receive the equivalent of the 40 acres, but the 40 acres was on the gold standard. So mm -hmm. now we're talking about, okay, we have the 50 cent, right? Then we have the gold standard of the 40 acres. And on top of that, within what was called, it was actually called, um, the name of the act that Abraham Lincoln called it was an act for the release of certain persons held to service or labor in the District of Columbia. So based off of that, you also were supposed to get a thousand dollars if you went to Haiti or if you went to Liberia. So now you can say, okay, well, I don't want to go to Haiti. I don't want to go to Liberia, right? I want to go to my own 
nation state that we created. So the same thing that they've given to the Indians mm -hmm. is the same thing that they're supposed to provide for us. Because what Abraham Lincoln actually did in the Emancipation Proclamation was he put us all in the military under service and labor. Right. And so us being under the military, we have not received any military pay. We were supposed to actually receive, I think it was uh, $10. It was made $10 a day and one full uh, of uh, rations per day. That was the agreement right before the Emancipation Proclamation came out. See, all of these were what you call war orders, even with the celebration of Juneteenth. I don't celebrate Juneteenth. And a lot of people get upset with me about well, why don't you celebrate Juneteenth? Because it was a war order, right? All of these orders were war orders and they were Navy orders. So when we look at history, we have to stop looking at, well, you know, the, we was freed on this day and, you know, we was this on that day. What we would do, well, what he did was he put us in the military. So that way we can have protections. Now, as us being in the military in 2010, what Obama did was he took us out of the fact of uh, working in the military under service and labor and put us into active duty. Once we went into active duty, now our pay raise is supposed to actually go up because we're no longer just in the reserves. So that is a pay raise. We're, now we're talking about hundreds of trillions of dollars because again, this was all on the gold standard. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why in 33, they had to get off the gold standard. So not belong to them. It doesn't belong to them. Right. This is the reason why in 33, they went on a national banking holiday and never returned off of the holiday. The holiday is still going on. So they don't issue out any real money anymore. They mm -hmm. are only able to issue out credits dollar for dollar. And this is, you can go on the treasury, you can go on the treasury website, you can read this. You know, these are not things that I'm just making up. Go out and research it for yourself. When like you talk, we're talking about compensation. You know, that I've, I've heard a lot of people throw around some numbers, but we're talking about hundreds of trillions of dollars. Yeah. This is yeah, the I'm, gold standard. We're talking, I'm we don't talking, play fair. We, we, I'm talking 20 figures. Yeah, we, we don't play, we don't play fair. It's yeah. different for us. Yeah. They yeah. can't just take us and throw us on a reservation. No, all of us are supposed to have the equivalent of 40 acres. Mm -hmm. In value. In value. Hmm. Plus interest. Plus well, interest. Um, hey, I like that. I, I like that breakdown, sister. I really do. Listen, <laughs> I like that. Cold, bro. He cold, bro. <laughs> Y'all notice that I just kneel. I just kneel. I, I, I don't even say nothing. Like, there's nothing to say. I just, I just did that. Girl, enjoy. You see how at the end, you see how at the end she gave a reference. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we just throw out hold, dumb hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, don't be talking about footnotes. <laughs> hey, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't talk about footnotes. You're not supposed to do that, right, Bit Mike? <laughs> hey, yeah, nah, nah, man. Look, man, we can't get into no specifics, man. Don't be asking me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or we can't get in. We don't got all these facts just sitting around, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they've they even about what's said going it. on in Fortune on? 500 companies. I don't know what type of company. You Was he? Um, because Big Mike got to, um, he about to. Yeah, yeah, off. man. Oh, I, yeah. I got, I got, I got to fall off. K, mm -hmm. it was nice to meet you. You as well. I, I, I haven't got a chance to meet you, but I've heard a lot of good things about you. I am going to continue listening in. You probably see me in the comments, but definitely gotta get out here, man. Get to get the missus fed, man. So yeah, hey, hey one. Bernard, man, I appreciate yeah. you too, brother. It's always good always. to chat with you. And I no, appreciate always. you getting up with me, man. I um I appreciate it, bro. What we looking it. like tomorrow, man? Because if you if you want to finish this up tomorrow, we can do that too. Oh, yeah, we got some. Yeah, I can I can 
I want to run through that, but we. Was just slight anyway. Yeah, nine thirty. I'll be up at nine thirty. I'll be up. Yeah. No, that yeah. probably ain't gonna be in as long, but I definitely be up nine thirty because there's other okay, stuff yeah. to do. Me and sis was supposed to do a breakdown around it, like in a little bit on this. If if you wanted to, we could. But yeah, tomorrow I'm I'm gonna be up. Or or if you I, wanna if you wanna I go up later tonight, if y'all gonna be on. What time? Whatever him, whatever him and Big Sis do, I'm good. Yeah, I want to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. What time are you looking at going on, Big Mike? Who me? Yeah, even the night or tomorrow. You looking at going on yourself? I'll be on. No, I'm place. not going. I'm not going on. I might do something tomorrow, but it's gonna be later on. I was just okay. gonna run the circuit with y'all tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, I, I, yeah. I thought I thought you and Bitch Sis were doing something. Me and Bitch Mike yeah. were saying we were watching. Oh that. no, let's yeah. trust and believe. We're not done yet. All right. Oh, oh no, okay. this this one of them day. This one of them day. <laughs> okay. Not, nah, this man, one of them day. We're not done yet. Look, man, this is this is what we gonna call the document dump day, man. We finna just bury the competition and documentation. Today man. I got time, cuz. Yeah, <laughs> got time, cuz. The baby fatty, happy, he good. I'm good, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got time today. Right, Blessings we... to y'all, fam. I see y'all in a little bit. Definitely, okay. Blessings. Bro. Blessings. Hold up. So let's, um, I want to get through this part with his uh, with his, with his punk ass uh, hop off. But we have we have <laughs> who we have, brother, brother. But now we have six. Six six uh claims now yes yes <laughs> you work for yeah. I know it my company <laughs> that's on the stock market in the top 30. you can't play you I mean like it's certain things you just so can't do you're anymore essentially saying, you're essentially saying I wasn't risking anything that's essentially what you're saying no, no I'm not man, saying no. that that's seven no man I'm trying I'll... to back you up I'm trying to back you up bro and, and see the analogies and oh, see man, when, when somebody right. uses an analogy because it was simply that. just an analogy yeah, it was I'm simply just an analogy to show <laughs> that when you're given specific instructions and you know where your place is, you willingly and voluntarily stay in that place. I'm not saying yeah. speaking out against I, racism. I, just I mean, you. I do it at my job, bro. I'm sitting. I'm not I'm sitting up. I'm not. A, I'm not a, a radical revolutionary at work. I go to work. I stay in my lane. I do my thing. And, and I'm telling you, I have done that. Okay, and Big Mike, I'm telling you, I have done that. So you you made that you said I'm gonna stay in my place and I was telling you that's not true. You want me to send that box because I have done that. That's why that's I told eight. you you can send me your email. I'll forward you the email that I sent to him. You could read it right now and see you could uh, not on air obviously, but you could read it to yourself and see that I was doing that. So why is it again? Why is it that every time just because somebody has a different perspective, you want me to be in this box because immigrants think like this? And I'm Nine. just telling you, I have. When you talk hey, about the black bro, you America, sound like you're trying to make yourself a victim kids. right now, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, doing, I'm not doing the victim I'm not Olympic. Not Olympic. I'm not doing that. Right. And that's that's what what I'm not doing that. You sound like you're trying I'm to make not yourself a victim Olympic. On this discussion, it's for it's four of us men on this discussion, bro. Ain't no victims on here. Are you being serious right now, dude? You keep saying that somebody's trying to put you in the box. I was you, just trying to. I was just trying saying, to. You keep saying you literally right keep saying I mean, I'm trying to do something to you besides have a conversation with you. Well, no, I was just like I said. I was just trying to be fair with him and, and back up what he said for Fortune 500. I've been listening, but I don't agree with what I hear. Unlike you, I can tell you I disagree. I, can, I disagree with you, Jonathan. You keep telling me you agree with me. You keep telling me you agree I'm with me, but yet you got all of these different I'm, points. I'm completely fine, Big Mike. I'm completely fine with you not agreeing with me. But the difference is when you say when you when you when you, for example, you ask me that question, and it's like why why are you asking me such a broad question? What I have to give white people that that question is so broad for what? And I just ask you for what, and immediately it's almost like oh there you go, he said it, and it's like what? Like I just want you to clarify your question. Yeah, bro. I was wait. I was waiting on you to say for what this whole evening. It was all a plan <laughs> on my part. I was literally just asking a question. Is there a point that where we can agree at? Oh my God. Oh my God. And and, and truly it. agree. All right. You got it, brother. Got it. I'm just asking. You got it, brother. You got it. You got I'm, it. I'm not trying to look. You I'm got, just don't know. Brother. Is there a point that where we can truly agree? You got, you got it. I'm a, I, I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna respect. I'm gonna respectfully let y'all have do y'all thing, bro. You got it, bro. You got it. Mm -hmm. All right, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sis, 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 I need your help, sis. Sis, we need you, sis. Sis, <laughs> if we if we wrong, this, let this us is, know. This is what normally happens with. I, I always say I can tell ten seconds 
into a conversation if a male was raised by a raging black woman, right? Mm -hmm. Because in law, when you're reading depositions, mm -hmm. what happens is it's an ongoing fact that when you see someone's deposition where it's always pointing the finger, like they did this to me, they did that to me, they, 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 he, he, she, she. That is a woman who wrote up that deposition because the women mm -hmm. feel, so many women feel as though that they always have to protect themselves. Right. And they'll come out fighting like the like Miguel was saying the, with the windmill. They'll come out with the <laughs> with the windmill of all of these claims <laughs> that's the not wind. based on anything factual, but it's just based on claims. So anything you say, you know, you can say you can give a compliment like you did about the Fortune 500 companies, and you're trying to you're trying to assist, you know his his point, but he takes that as you taking a dig at him. Yes, mm -hmm. because yes. again, these these males have been raised by these raging black women. So no matter what it is that you say to them, they're always gonna come back with a snappy comeback Fact. which is not based on anything factual it's all feelings and emotions make believe <laughs> fairy tales <laughs> so we gonna... oh yeah that, that that's one of my favorite Nita baker Nita baker songs fairy tales <laughs> oh, <my> god <laughs> oh, uh, no, I took, I took, I took you back. Then look, she started laughing. Like I took her back. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so yeah, this, this is yeah. one deep. This yeah. one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 <laughs> we, we, we listen, listen, sis. We gonna, we gonna get to him. It's not even about him. We will get to him another time. We just, this whole this fire one right him. here. Yeah, just, just whole fire on him. Just, uh, just yeah. we'll get to him another time. We, uh, we, we get, he actually helped us in this situation. We're going to, we got a little two videos on him. So we're going to get to him. It's really for this, uh, for the windmill on the right. <laughs> but I would just say again, just to show you the stupidity of this dude. So I take a little. So let me put up, you know, we got to put the banners up. You know what I mean? We got to put the things up. Fair use. Fair Hold use. Hold on. So be, before you even go into a right, let's mm -hmm. look at it. Look at the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. just, just <laughs> <laughs> Let's just oh, analyze. Sis, sis, sis. Let's just, just analyze, oh, right? Oh, I never went. Someone there. is still in their second childhood, right? <laughs> so oh, I can't I, take you seriously. Whew. I really, if if this is my Ooh. background, if these right here two these two right here on the left if the, this is my background why are you even allowed to come on this platform to be like a, a like some type of individual that's What's going it? to bring what? i'm sorry <laughs> i'm looking at the background and it's like wait a minute it's like two grown people talking to a cosmic kid wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh. Wait, I'm just looking at yo, she she just messed me up with the background I'm looking at it. You got education, education, and it's like a hoodie and some teeth and a tennis shoe? Bruh. Come on. Bruh. Come on. Like this is this is suffering from the second childhood. This is the second childhood. Brother Vanar, didn't I say he's he's twelve? Didn't I say he's twelve years old? Oh I'm make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. She just messed me up with that. But look, I mean, I do look at the background listen, of people. But Gail, this is fun. Gail, Gail, you and sis are so similar. Y'all link up, it'd be dangerous. I'm telling you, she's just the same as she said. I always analyze the background of a frame before I even look at the at the image that I'm supposed to be paying attention to. Shake my head, LOL. 
I mean, you have to. That's why, I like, I know I'm sitting my chair against the wall. Why I ain't push it here? But I, ain't, I thought enough not to make it blank. That's why I got the colors in. I can. Add, I'm about to add, it, uh, add the light. This picture is so funny. Ever since she said that, I cannot stop laughing. No, hey, brother Bernard, I'm this trying to figure out there. why is he even allowed to be on the panel? Like, th this is not fair. <gasps> this isn't fair. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, but O'Shea do got like the worst background though. Like, <laughs> he be having like tore down curtains. Bro. No, I ain't gonna lie. Then she got me thinking about people's backgrounds, man. Oh, <laughs> this isn't fair because you have two. <laughs> you have, you have two of the. You have okay. You have the attorney. You have the accountant, and then you have this. What is this? Uh, who the fuck? I don't even know what this thing is. He just talk a lot. He said it ain't no black culture. He don't choose race. Uh, from what I understand, he rants a lot. A lot. I don't even hear a lot of talk. I just hear a lot of rants. Is and a, lot of, a lot of the rants are based off of how you are raised. Again, like I said, within 10 seconds of a conversation with a male, I can tell, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I look at them and they'll just be going off. And I, when, once they finish, I'll say, I know that you was raised by a raging black woman. Most mm -hmm. likely she was single. And they'll be looking at me like, well, why would you say that? Because you act just like her. Because I don't even act like her. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I can't. It's all this, all this, all this stuff to be all this. This is a single mother. This is doing the right. I wasn't, ra I wasn't raised around men who allowed that type of rage to go on in in my home. You know, even with my husband, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I don't even, I don't even argue because my husband is like, "You're a woman. I'm not arguing with you." There's a, I'm not arguing Thank you. with you. Thank you. I don't even argue with my wife. I ask a question. Hey, I want to go get some. Some is it gonna change your life? And she'll look at me. I just answer some. You know, women like they purses. And my wife works for her money, and I do my part. I pay my bill. I pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? So go do you. And I will say this: my wife will not. I ain't mean to cut you off, sis, but she will not not <clears> buy nothing unless it's on sale. But at the end of the day, you got too much or something. I'm at, hey, you're gonna change your life. That's all I do. And she would like, uh, no, but it's what I want. I said, well, go get it then. You work every day, and and I leave it at that. I'm not gonna argue about it. Yeah. And that's what I said earlier. I'm not arguing with nobody. I might debate with you, and let alone, I'm never gonna argue with a woman. Mm -hmm. I would never come back with at no woman on any panel that you will ever see me on. And if I can help it, and I still owe you, uh, you and Gail an apology, and the other, and I try not to cuss when I know women are present. Just that alone. And if I'm gonna use a cuss word, it's gonna be strategically. And I will say, excuse my French, you know, or whatever you want, even though that's the wrong thing too. For noble, correct me on that. Excuse about what I'm about to say, right? So mm -hmm. I mean, but that's just the way I was raised, you know, and. You're right. Yo, yo, oh, me and your husband probably get along real well. Because I'm, I'm not going if, to. If, if another one, if, if me and her, me and this young lady got into it, I'm going to be like, um, can I speak to your husband? No, mm -hmm. you don't need to. No, 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 no. I need to speak yeah. to your husband. Because he's about to catch says, this. Anytime she <laughs> says, no, 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 you don't need to speak to my husband. To walk that away. is because she's either not married or because her husband has exited the marriage where he no longer no no longer is there mentally. Exactly. Like he's just exited the marriage. She's the masculinity, yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he You're just right. allows her to do her for the yep. sake of peace. I just oh, need man. somewhere to live <laughs> because it's affordable. And most likely it's because they have children together. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's no man that is single without any other responsibilities that's going to stay in a home with a mad raging entity 
because mm -hmm. these aren't even women. These are entities. Facts. Mm -hmm. Anti Marys. Mm. They are. Mm. All right, let's rock. For me, though, I take a little bit of a different approach in that I'm not focused as much on the visibility as I am on the content and the information because I try to separate. Um, I try to be really, really divisive. I don't. What did he just say? I, I want everybody in the chat and on the panel. Why is he wanting to be just really said. divisive? Like thank what? you. Thank, uh, thank you. Let's go thank through you. that again. Let's go over that again. That. Look at, the, look, look at the facial expressions yeah, the, the when they when 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 he says i try to be really divisive look now look yeah. at the other two on the panel look at the yeah, pocket watch pocket watch your face went to like to the right I take a, <laughs> like, what? a little bit of a different approach in that i'm not focused as much on the visibility as i am on the content and the information because i try to separate um i try to be really really divisive i don't want everybody I only want a, a group of people, right? I'd rather have a hundred people that really, really rock with me, that really get it and really want to learn, than ten thousand people that just casually tune in when I'm getting messy. See, I had started getting on this, getting into this when the big mic drop came. I was, I was going to do it, do it at this time. So we already kind of went over this, and this point has already been made in alive. <clears throat> but you know, we we looked at the fact that you're saying divisiveness. You don't say words. No, I'm sorry really really divisiveness you don't say divisiveness and mean quality mm -hmm. you're not you, you what you articulated after that was saying that you would rather have quality people. quality over quantity facts but you yeah. said really really divisive right i try to be really really d divisive not i use a device to get quality people i know how to send text thought too not just sentences one more time. We won't, we, as I'm playing this video because this video is really bad. It just, it, it's bad. <laughs> it gets bad. This is the lead attorney show. It gets bad. It's bad. But um, it just starts off horrible. And a part of what we just looked at, it was edited. I mean, I edited it now, I, now, so I, I can recognize it now. Part of it was I edited. I actually like uh, lead attorney. Because he, he really makes quality, um, you know, talking points. Yes. You know, he he knows what he's talking about. It's not just I'm just going to say something <clears throat> and throw ideas out here without any type of resolution or solution. I really like lead attorney. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into this much on the visibility as I am on the content and information because I try to separate. Um, I try to be really, really divisive. I don't want everybody. I only want a, a group of people, right? I'd rather have a hundred people that really, really rock with me that really get it and really want to learn than 10,000 people that just casually tune in when I'm getting messy. You know what I'm saying? So I take a, a slightly different approach and I find that to be a lot more, I think it's a lot more rewarding for me and always both financially you know because when i pull up let's keep it a buck yeah. if you can snap your fingers and have a million subscribers you would snap them right now no i wouldn't <laughs> because i make more money with ninety-seven thousand subscribers i make more money bro nobody has more members as a part of their tribe than me look, look hold, hold on hold on <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> ah! So look. <laughs> look at the accountant's face. <laughs> the math is not bad. Look mapping. at the attorney's face. <laughs> this is not fair. Look at his face. Why is he on the why is but, but the thing that's funny is he looking at their faces and look at his face looking at their face. That's the shit that's blowing me. You know you I mean, I, I you mean look that. at look at look at pocket watcher like man I'm, I'm, he, he look like he's taking a dump like wait a minute this, this don't feel right in my stomach huh? it's about to get bad <laughs> and Lena Turner has on his poker face like I'm trying to keep the straightest face I can I'm telling you, because listen. It, it, it makes no logical sense. Nobody the does. numbers. It's you, it doesn't, you have, it doesn't make any sense at all. So if you have a million viewers, that means that you have two million eyes on you. Each of those two million eyes on you have several eyes on them. 
So mm -hmm. you're going to be more effective with the million than you have with, he said, 97,000. <laughs> Where did he even get that number from? <laughs> and then the last shit he said, he got more people in his tribe than everybody. That's what he just said. Because he know. He know everybody's and, people. And that's why he still works for somebody? Oh. Amen. Nature Boy has more people in his tribe than he does. Because he actually have a tribe. He actually has a tribe. Yeah. <laughs> as Nature weird Boy. as it is, he actually has a tribe. He actually yep. has people who follow him. The nigga he actually Red has Mill. people who call him leader. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is going to be painful. This is going to be painful. This is going to be bad. Anybody that's seen this video already know this is it's, it's not good. It's pretty bad. It kind of points out already what we've been showing this is i mean we could just this this right here we could stay on this for 30 minutes just would just happen but it's just it's just fun nobody you're talking about over here and you're talking about black people because i can tell uh, nobody you. has more members of the part of a tribe than me all right then. okay i'm just telling you it's <laughs> real i mean you're a lead attorney. All right, Anton. All right. Okay, Anton. All right. Okay. The way the way lead attorney said it was so funny. I fell out laughing. Like, all right. Yeah, all right. It's like that one cousin you always know that's lying. Right. Like, yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You ain't got no new car. Who calls that, man? Who calls I, I that? I appreciate the uh I appreciate the ego check ego check on the lead attorney because he almost had 160 subscribers, 160,000 subscribers. So, we know they know Kevin Samuels. Lead attorney got a bigger platform than him. Now, the peep may be bigger because we don't know what their numbers is, but um, I appreciate the ego check because he could have went there with him. <clears throat> I mean, there, there are white communities out here. No, 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 no. I'm talking about as a part of our community. But he said that, but you were still talking shit, though. He said that. No, no, no. You know, no, I don't like it. Let's just go back. I'm not making it up. Cause you, you're a smart guy. If you proceed, part of they tribe than me. All right. Then. Okay. I'm just telling you, it's real. I mean, I mean, nobody. You're talking about over here. You're talking about black YouTube because I can. Tell I, you. Nobody has more members as a part of they tribe than me. Hey, Amen. All right. Then. Okay. I'm just telling you. <laughs> it's real. I mean, I mean there, there are white communities out here. No, 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 no. I'm I talking about. Oh, as a part of our community, this nigga just talks out the side of his ass, out the side. That's on the hip when he in his driver's seat. His ass. He, he talked to his seatbelt. He Who doesn't. Is he? An idiot. That's what I'm saying. A dude that disrespected somebody in my village. Yeah. So he's a he's a mark at this point. As a part of Black YouTube specifically, that's what I just said. You know, that's what I just said. I said you go on the white YouTube, and it's it's, it's content creators that are that are. I mean, the, the, the following that they have is amazing, right? And that's I, true. I hear, I hear what you're saying. Okay, so so put it like this. I, I'll put it like this. Even if you want to spin it from a uh, skin it from a financial perspective, right? Mm -hmm. I I believe that I generate more revenue as I believe see, being able to monetize content for you already heard this. Sir. See, this is this is where you can tell the difference between the fact and the fiction. And men who deal with reality, live in the real world, deal with numbers every day, mm -hmm. would never say i believe i don't think you've ever heard me say that I, I, don't, I don't remember the last time i started with those two sentences I, I, two words i'm sorry what i mean look at look at her face when he said i look look the pocket watch is just he's so upset right now he's <laughs> raging in in inside the, the math don't make any sense there's no logistical no logistical no common sense reason to make that statement and then to keep talking after that like it makes sense you know what you, Damn, you, I, I you spoke too soon spoke too soon he's on a panel with a guy is that this is all pocket watcher knows all his life and he says it in, in a lot of his videos he said hey guys i don't really know struggle 
I do know business because I saw my parents do it. You talking to a guy that knows <laughs> numbers. Facts. All his life. So, you, bro, he, he just like my sister just said, 10 seconds, pocket watcher might be less. He already doing numbers in his head like that when he add up. <laughs> I'm telling you in the finance the financial arena, bro, it's a different level of it's a different it's a different level. It's not that yeah, he it. is see it's different. It's not the I'm same. I'm certified as a forensic accountant and fraud auditor. So he is an example of what we would do an analysis on. And his we would say that this is a scheme. Not a scam, but this is a scheme. Mm -hmm. everything that he's saying that he is is not truthful because when you are something you don't have to say that you are you just are uh oh right. uh oh uh oh I'm, I need my I'm gonna get a soundboard bro definitely bro I'm, I'm getting to. one too eventually I mean that's why I'm working so much overtime and you know hey I'm gonna get them for they get me but uh um, like anyway one. what I was saying was that's what my butt, my homeboy Todd Williams was talking about that I was telling you, uh, Noble. He does trading. Mm -hmm. He did this one video. He said, I know some of y'all gonna get mad at me, but he said, You can come, you can come for me. I'm from Manhattan. He said, Come, he said, Come for me. I'm in Chicago now. He said, But instead of walking around talking about I'm an alpha male, I'm an alpha male, y'all need to learn how to excuse my um what I'm about to say, sis. Y'all need to learn how to damn trade and make this money. Mm -hmm. Instead of talking about walking around, mm -hmm. I'm an alpha male. Cause and mm -hmm. then he was like, Because you don't have to say you are alpha male if you are alpha male. He said, but let's right. get back to this trade talk. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about it. We're gonna get we're gonna you know we're gonna bro, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna do a whole show. Before even if we jump on the other channel, we, we get to that. Mm. From YouTube more effectively. I make money from licensing, I make money from let's back up so we can hear what this whole point. Here it is. Now here it is. No one who has go go, go ahead and play it because this is mm -hmm. this is yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is your first time seeing this, dude. This is the same shit you're going through right now. It's the same shit I went through. I just, I just, it's just you constantly. It's and it's no, not going to stop because no one who have really has a portfolio is going to go down this run this this list right here that he's about to go down. Go ahead, play it. I I believe that I generate more revenue as my understanding of being able to monetize content from YouTube more effectively. I make money from licensing. I make money from my old videos. I still make money from my, my urban exploration videos. I got videos that got a uh, 1.6 million views, but I've made more money outside of YouTube from those videos than I have on YouTube. The compensation from YouTube is not the thing that we make the majority of our revenue. Uh, if you feel like you can't make much progress in the gym or you're holding on to too much body fat, gosh. Even on, well, I don't want to talk Another about the network because that's that's, that's separate, right? That's a completely that's powerful. Back if to you find exercise hard, you need one of these. All you need is three minutes, and once you try it, you'll uh, different thing. But all the, right, the, the, the sponsorships and everything that we get from a revenue perspective, it's way more money in that than the YouTube compensation that come along with it. Listen, AdSense is just AdSense. All right? Correct. If, if, if you have a hundred thousand subscribers versus a million subscribers, then your affiliate marketing looks different. Your sponsorship. Okay, I'll give you an example. Your, your, uh, let's go, listen, your memberships look different. Right. All of your numbers look different. If, if, if the, the 100,000 subscribers are the same strength and intensity as the million, Anton, I mean, it's, it's, it's <laughs> you're, you're going to make multiple more with a million. And you would okay. snap your fingers. But that's assuming, we. that's assuming that people know how to properly monetize the million. There's people. You would. You, you would no, know. everybody does not. Everybody, everybody does not know how to monetize properly. We everybody don't. This is sad. I would. But yes, see, but see, but but here's the thing though. The the This is sad. This the feminine. This the it's the I'm sorry. It it's is the feminine. It's the it effeminate. Is. It the really feminine is. mannerisms. This yeah. is the result of my San my Santo and all the food. Yes. Yes. So what is what do they call it? Sign language, uh, shame, insult, guilt. They need to be right. That then that yeah. word at the end. That's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Need to be right. Yeah. I need to be right. This is the mm -hmm. result of sending all the fathers to prison in the nineties. Mm -hmm. This is the Ooh. this is the result of the crack era. Ooh. 
Mm, crack epidemic, yes. Yes. This is the this, result of yes. the what I call the pill babies, right? Mm -hmm. So in the 90s, they started to give us all pills when we were in school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they didn't, mama, want to deal, mama, they didn't want to deal with the behaviors. Because yeah. the behaviors yeah. was only the behaviors that we was learning from the single, angry black women. Mm -hmm. You you remember I said that earlier? Uh, yep. Noble, I said, you do not know what the women were going through while you were carrying these children. And like I said, my mom, my mother used to work with drunk, drunk syndrome kids. You know, and what my mother would do, what I didn't tell you, know, what I'm going to say about the system, because she would take me to school. She would take me out of my regular school, bring me to her class, and every child that had a disability, she showed me their gifts. One dude had two fingers, and he wrote like a, oh, my God. The handwriting was so beautiful. Two fingers. Hmm. Two mm -hmm. fingers. Mm -hmm. And she said, I need you to respect every person in here regardless how they look do you understand me yes ma'am and to this day i don't care where i'm at i don't care if they old or young if i see an older person i think they kind of you know have a i'm gonna wait my wife will tell you i'm like hey wait a minute go into the car i'm gonna make sure they good i don't care they black white hispanic <clears throat> because of what my mom is planning in me i have what you say noble empathy mm -hmm. because that's somebody's child Mm -hmm. somebody's brother that's somebody's sister but my mom always showed me to respect people going back to my sensei when i was learning kung fu he said you don't know what the next person knows shut up and just shut your mouth walk mm -hmm. away mm -hmm. he said the, the first thing you need to do is learn how to talk your way out of a fight <laughs> and he hasn't so, learned that he did this did this thing he right here no, no. The, i can't even call him this thing this entity Yes. It, it, it hasn't learned that because oh. even when you're getting advice see this is free legal advice that if you was to if you was to get a consultation with the lead attorney it would cost you and he's giving you free legal yeah you know, he's gonna say it's not legal advice because you don't yeah. have a contract of course right you know, sign with him because he's supposed to, he's going to protect his brand. He's going to protect himself. But what he's given right now is free legal advice. And at the time when, if, if I'm in the room with him, I'm quiet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I'm in the room with, now I don't, I don't per se like really what the pocket watcher does but because I know that he's an account and he's an accountant and he's been doing this all his life, pretty much, you know, as he would say, he grew up with numbers. I'm going to, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be like the fly on the wall because I'm going to learn. Me. No reason not Thanks. to. Thanks. No reason not to. She Area still killed me like that. Making the assumption that I don't. Nope. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah. You can't yeah. go far in the video. You can't. Every <laughs> sentence, you might as well just stop. I'm, I'm a, Listen, right Cap, disclaimer. I'm disclaimer. They edited this. <laughs> they edited this. Even so, it's still shit in there. No matter how close it was together, it's still back to back to back. And this is an eight minute video. We three minutes. We ain't even halfway through it. And then this the punchline ain't even came yet. This is horrible. This, for, if you put this part, this video with the last shit, it's bad and it gets worse. Oh, I'm, we're not listening. I'm, I'm, I ain't even stretch it. We, we ain't, this is going to be one of them. We good today. I got my son to straight. He got everything straight. We good. Yeah, we, that you gave is making the assumption that I don't. Let's go. I would, but yeah, see, but would. see, but but here's the thing though: the the scenario that you gave is making the assumption that I don't. No, it's that you do. If you yeah. snapped your fingers, you would get. No, it. no, 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 Lee, Lee, Lee. Let's let's break it down. If I have a hundred thousand subscribers, what? How hmm. you just dismiss the fact that you absolutely just said you didn't? Like, I, what are you talking about? 
No, 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 no. You, you claim you said something against, against this man. Then so you want to start on. another this, example. So hold on. This is all hypotheticals. It's a hypothetical. I, I, mm. I can't. I, I can't. If y'all don't know, um, that's what the dude that you was talking to earlier um, has said on his uh, Mr. Real Estate. That's what he had put up on his uh, on his uh, channel. Anton does not show his numbers. I didn't notice that until he said something. But when he on his individual show that he has outside of the piece, he was saying, "Well, Anton doesn't even show his numbers." So y'all, we don't even really I mean, you know how can many go and look up his not, You can go look up his numbers. Well, I don't. I didn't really care to know. To tell you the truth, I'm just being honest with you. <laughs> I really didn't. Yeah, I mean, I you, really didn't. You, I, I'm. You know. I'm just saying. You know, if he's you know talking what, about he, he's talking about numbers, but you can go. Right. And, this is public information. Let's see. But see, sis, this this goes back to what I was just saying to Noble. I don't know if you were listening. To me. This is where they bring the church BS to YouTube. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. my pastor says something, I'm gonna believe it. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. go behind him and check it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you see what I'm saying? So his 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 followers, you know, or subscribers, they're gonna believe, and this goes for anybody on YouTube, really. But they're gonna believe what that person says, you know, and so. You know, I mean, it, the it, background is IKEA shelves and some sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeezys and Jordans, liabilities. No, maybe, yeah. maybe they got resale value. Who knows? <sighs> Versus another person that just has a million subscribers. But that that, 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 but that wasn't the hypothetical. But that wasn't the hypothetical. That's my understanding of it. Because there's YouTubers every single day, and it's out there. It's out there. They do interviews with Inc. Magazine. They do interviews with Forbes. And they say exactly how much money they make as a content creator. They literally expose exactly what their numbers are. And they don't generate a lot of money from YouTube. They and make hold on, hold on. They, they, they the majority of their money outside of content creation. There's Look, people that 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 are, both of them are shaking their head and saying, I don't think you understand hypotheticals. <laughs> this nigga turned 40 yesterday or the day before no, yesterday. He didn't. No, he didn't. His body just didn't die for 40 years. I, that's, I'm gonna rephrase it to death. Is he definitely 12 or younger? Mm -hmm. yeah, he's 12. It doesn't make any. He's still talking, and it doesn't make any sense. You don't understand. You got another adult on the internet with you, saying to you that they don't think they both don't think you understand what a hypothetical yeah, two is. Professional adults. That's dangerous, bro. Mm, mm, this kid mm. is. This kid is Ooh. grossly incompetent. This mm. is a child. It's a little man child. Mm, mm, mm. They have over a million subscribers or a million followers <laughs> on Instagram that make more money from Instagram than people that are on YouTube because they know how to monetize their platform more effectively, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So just but to have a casual amount right of people. Actually, what they're saying is actually agreeing to leave. Okay, so maybe I maybe I yeah, missed yeah, yeah, the hypothetical. The hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Look at Lee's face like, nigga, you come on, bro. Come on. Mm -hmm. You could have a million subscribers. He's saying you would snap your fingers because if you're able to monetize at under a hundred k, right? What you do with a million? That's I agree with that. I agree with that. Now you agree with this. If you compare different platforms accordingly, some people do not know how to monetize their platforms effectively. There's that's besides the point. That wasn't even what was brought up. Mm, mm, mm. Corey Holcomb said Corey Holcomb said these bitches don't even know when they lose no more they really mm. don't mm. he mm. just still gotta be right still gotta be right no matter what gotta get the last word in gotta get some point in that's not a point and, but, but then just said maybe I missed something and then still enforce the thing that had nothing to do with what he said just now mm, mm. But you don't hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just hold up one second. Let me get it on. Let me get it close. Mm -hmm. 
you got two brothers in this video two brothers in this video they come from this black culture that you said was trash and they did the best they could to help you not look stupid remember that shit, dumbass some content creator let's take your favorite jay morrison mm -hmm. why is he out here scamming people the fuck are you talking about why okay so see this is deflection Facts. So now he wants to take it off of him mm -hmm. he now he realizes oh man i i didn't mess all the way up he's out so of his league now i gotta throw someone else under the bus so now I'm going to bring in a familiar character and throw that character in the equation to now take the attention off of me because I've messed up. And instead of saying, oh, you know what? I'm not even really qualified to be on this platform. Thanks. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to listen. And then if I have something to add on, then I'll add on. Or I'm just going to just sit here back and listen and just ask questions so that the, the listening audience <coughs> can be educated because I'm really not qualified to be on this platform. Or to be on this is what failure looks you, like in you, life. You don't even have the ability to listen like a six or seven year old. It's, it's cool. no, no, no. Let's, be real. Let's be clear. If Jay, Jay Morrison has more than all of us, all three of us on this platform right now, agree? Oh, with subscribers? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But Jay yeah. Morrison is beating me, you, and the lead. We can probably combine our subscribers on, on individual channels, and he probably got more than us combined. Yeah, it, but his channel is dead. He gets like 100 views. That's yeah. my point, is yeah. if he doesn't know how to monetize his content effectively, the numbers don't mean nothing. Yeah, but I think I think also with all the info that's out about him, his subscribers are just dead. They don't even pay attention when his video. You see, is out he see, <coughs> you see, you you see that even with the pocket watcher always talking about Jay Morrison and you know what he does, he's still fair. He says because of all of the information that is out about him his subscribers they don't tune in it has nothing to do with him not being able to Fact. monetize the platform it has everything to do with his the credibility image about him so again this is a moot point who Can't make this goofy, stupid shit up. What Gail say? Jay, Mor Jay Morrison is scamming people because he has supporters. Allegedly, right? Until we get convicted. Subscribers okay, with his yeah, because because of his actions and the information that has been out about his actions, YouTube is not even that effective for him anymore because YouTube is where you can find most of the information about him. But did he but, ever really? But, but over on Instagram, he's popping. He's still did, popping on Instagram. That's, you speaking to my point, though. Did, How? How at this point? How? I'm a. I don't care. Whatever the advocate. I don't like to say that advocate. How at this point does it speak to his point that he made already? It's, it's not. It's not. It, it's really not. At this point. But if if wait, wait, wait if if the if the YouTube is dead because he don't know how to monetize it, mm -hmm. but the Instagram is up. How is both of them your point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. I don't know how that was your point, and then now the Instagram is up and popping, but it's his point. I don't get it. <laughs> how is both of them your point? As an adult at 40, 39, whatever. What's the old song? Circle around it. <laughs> Just saying. That's, that's where we at. I, I feel like with him, bro, it's like, I don't even say this I feel like. This is draining. This is. Yes. Yes. This is an eight minute video. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 840. Uh, sis, since like you got up two, here. Two walls. Sis, sis, since you got up here, I've drank the half a gallon of water because it's, it's really draining me. 
<laughs> I'm dead serious. I mean, I drink a half a gallon or a gallon every day, but like, I'm like on extra right now. I'm like, it is. People don't understand what happens to the psyche when stuff like this going on. This because of who we are, and I'm still in training. You know, with the Reiki uh, training and all that stuff. You know, on top of my job, right? People don't understand the the, the energy. You only have a certain amount a day. A, a day. <laughs> you need to figure out how you go use it. This cat right here will pull it. <laughs> Drain you. He will pull it, and you yeah, haven't even argued with nobody or nothing. You just feeling like, dang, I'm tired. <laughs> this nigga's beating his goddamn self. Yeah, he is. He is. It's. it's I, don't even, I don't even know how to say this word or what, whatever this word is. But he said to be to be right by any means necessary. The spirit, the spirit of the ego driven confusion. Yeah. I don't know. P P W R K Z M K. I don't know. I don't know what that would be. Uh, mm, power see. something. Yeah. Power Reiki, I don't know what it meant. Did he ever really generate that level of revenue from YouTube in the first place? I have no idea. That's my whole point, is that you can have a lot of subscribers, but that doesn't even necessarily mean nothing. It's people that literally buy platforms with a lot of <laughs> subscribers, and it doesn't mean anything. He's people talking about his stuff right now. I agree. He said there's literally people that <clears throat> buy subscribers. He's now speaking about himself. I agree, and a, and a lot of people didn't know that you could do that. A lot of a lot see people that are not content creators or real content creators. Um, they don't. A lot of people didn't know <laughs> that you could do that. But, you know, anyway. Yeah, I don't know where you would buy them from. I know you can sell sell it because the, the dude Vermeil sold his. And then no, well, you, you can also you, you can, can also, also pay to make subscribers. Yeah. yeah, you can also yeah. buy subscribers, bro. Make it yeah, I don't know where you would do that. that. That's about that's what I was saying. Well, a lot, a lot do. of the little platforms that allow you to buy subscribers, they're out of the country, so mm -hmm. you don't even get as much as you would get for a subscriber. See, the way that Google works is Google says, okay, because they, like they they Google even treats you as a second class citizen, right? Mm -hmm. If you are a subscriber from out of a country, what whatever YouTube platform you're watching on or that you're a part of, then what they'll do is you they'll actually pay you less for that subscriber. So say if I'm in the UK and I'm a subscriber in the US, I'm going to get paid less. If I'm your subscriber, you have a channel from out of the UK. If I'm a subscriber out of India, which most of the paid subscriptions are coming from are Indians. I mean, we're talking about most of the people that, you know, provide services on Fiverr every day. Mm -hmm. These are really who the YouTube subscribers are when oh, you're paying for them. Got you. Fiverr. So, got you. Yeah. So when you're talking about... Okay. The, the, the Indians God. who are becoming your paid subscribers, you're getting paid less even with all of the views. You still get paid less. That's why the numbers don't make sense a lot of times because you don't understand that it's a, a differential in the uh, money that is being dispersed. So you can have a million subscribers from India. However... If you had a million subscribers from India versus a million subscribers from the U.S., you're going to make less. Your AdSense is not going to make any sense. You're going to call. You're going to be emailing YouTube and Google like, "Look, right, my AdSense doesn't make any sense," and they're going to say, "Well, look, the numbers don't lie. Your subscribers are foreigners." So this is the reason. I mean. That, that's why I'm like, this dude doesn't even make logical sense at all at this point. Tell him this, though, because he, he, he's squirming, started talking just to be talking so he can constantly do his. In Again, I, I isolated that shit to on, on a big mic drop sh uh, show the other day. They, they This generation, and he's supposed to be in my generation, but he act like a child. Yeah. All they know is mm -hmm. invalidate. Mm hmm. They want to validate and dismiss that value system is really them two things that's more but that's the main two punches they have and validate you so i can be something because they live in a scarcity mentality where they're 
you on some Highlander shit where there can only be one. Mm -hmm. There can be only one. And I have to dismiss information because if I don't dismiss information, I have to deal with it. And that interrupts my quick fix, instant gratification, something for nothing guarantee, modus operandi. That's their quadruplicity. <clears throat> That's how they operate. Quick fix and cigar. Oh, matter of fact, I think it was a it's a it's a it's a platform that just recently sold that my buddy told me about. House of Highlights, I think it's called House of Highlights. They used to, to put up basketball content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They used to get a lot of a lot of hits and a lot of views. Feminine. And also on top of that, the thing that people don't understand from a YouTube perspective is that all content isn't created equal, right? If you out here doing pranks. Your level of revenue from YouTube, based off of what the advertisers are willing to pay for that specific content, varies widely. It's a huge gap between this certain level, certain content, and then this content over here. And people don't have the nuances. They don't have the understanding to understand exactly what that means. And so other people would prefer to level or, or to leverage other platforms, right? Content creators make nothing on, on TikTok, from TikTok specifically but they would dedicate way more energy and way that's more not true. To pulling up what is, that's <sighs> i heard completely different i heard they killing it i heard they niggas I, so much so that they doing shorts on youtube and them niggas killing it i don't know what you're talking about look they're at, they every other week they got a blackout on tiktok because the content creators aren't getting paid what they're supposed to get paid on TikTok, so I, I don't even know what he's saying. He doesn't even know what he's saying. He's just making up points at this point. Saying anything for any reason. He, his whole thing is everybody got to be down for me to be up. I got to invalidate you so I can be valuable. His entire soliloquy has been about that and about that only. They don't, and I do. They don't, and I do. And they don't, and I do. They don't, and I do. And I'm this and they're not. Non stop. Non stop. He's a little, he's his mom or some girl coming home talking about the bitch at work. Because that bitch, that, that bitch at work got, she got the uh, promotion and she didn't. Or the girl or the guy at work that they both like, like her and don't like. Yeah, because he don't like her. So she got to talk down on her. Facts. That's all he do. Back to 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 back. He can't be like I explained the numbers, tracking the numbers. That, that hypothetical in numbers is going to take you to a law. That law is going to take you to, uh, it's going to take you to words and it's going to take you to a law. That law is going to take you to history. That history is going to take you to people. He don't have anything like that. You put on any hypothetical, any financial, I can track that shit down to history. I know how to use any one of those things. He don't have nothing like that because just shit not built off anything. And making sure that TikTok is the, the platform that they leverage because they know how to monetize their audience more effectively. The YouTube AdSense revenue model Hold on, go back, is not the go back because yeah, it hurts. It, it didn't even make any. He just it's, he just says shit. It's it's weird as shit. I when it, listen. I I thought polite was dumb. This is the stupidest nigga I've seen in life. I've never seen nobody this dumb ever in my life. I've never seen nobody on the internet this stupid. Polite polite do this shit, but he don't. It's not this fucking. Freaky. No, it's no. See, because polite actually he. He actually reads because you got you say you got to understand. Okay, so in order for you to have been, you know, to in order for you to have been able to tear down all of these religious organizations, like polite. Remember when polite first came out and he was debating all these debates and he would win all these debates. In order for you to do that. As a student, see whatever what people fail to realize is as a student of Dr. York, Dr. York will actually teach you how to go into every religion and tear down the religion, literally, by their own words in their own books. So mm -hmm. polite is a student from that because because polite actually reads. So this guy he does not read. He probably reads like lipstick alley or uh, I, I don't know. But ooh, other than that, ooh. he doesn't read with anything of context. He just talks. Because if you could say that, and I don't even know this. I don't even know. I'm just going off of what he's yeah. saying. 
that's about all I'm off. Facts. That's all I go, I've gone off uh, off of. If he says that me. content creators don't make any money off of TikTok, and then he comes back and says, "Well, they're monetizing TikTok," I'm I'm lost. Granted, caveat. I mean, or or whatever you want to call it. I caveat. He uh, this is edited. This is edited. This video is edited, but he is saying it. He did say something simple, like these a lot. Every sentence is not edited. You can look at the little thank you oh, cash app at the bottom. You can watch not, that. Only, not only that, but you can tell by how who, whoever edited this, this was a really good edit because the flow of the edit, mm -hmm. the flow of that certain content and then this content over here and people don't have the nuances they don't have the understanding to understand exactly what that means that shit was dumb as fuck I, I let it go the first time i couldn't the second they don't have the understanding to understand they don't have the understanding to know you mean so what not knowing etymology parsing syntax does you can't make up the lack of you can't you can't you can't make up for something that you never had like you don't have the skill set. You don't have the training. He obviously have never been trained in linguistics. He talk a lot. I gave more credit than I thought. I only, hey, Big Mike. I don't even think this nigga did Toastmasters. No, he didn't. There's no way that there's no way that you had Toastmasters it's, it's, because the reason why I know you didn't have Toastmasters is because what he just said. You don't understand. Understand another understand. If that was a word document, word would say give you suggestions to change <laughs> that sentence pattern. <laughs> He sound like a hotel right now. That's what shit is crazy. <laughs> it does. You don't understand, brother. You don't understand, brother. You don't understand, understand brother. I don't, I don't even I overstand, brother. <laughs> you don't understand the understand of the overstanding. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand that everything's copacetic, brother. It's copacetic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, crazy, bro. Oh, but but I was laughing at I forgot who the dude one of the dudes way back before Sis got on somehow he got some Uncle Ruckus in on he was talking okay, about yeah, yeah. Oh, that shit is all the way up there I can't even find hey, that y'all yeah. leave me alone you know I love the white man the white man has been real good to me well, all right who, who, <laughs> yeah, somebody that just put that in the comments that he got some Uncle Ruckus in him. Yes, please, please oh, post that again. No, no. It's, it's too high. It's all we got. That's it. That, that, that was, that was cool. classic. Yeah, it's fucking that gone now. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Hey, and I'm not putting that cash up for no reason. Please hit up Gail. We support our moderators, my moderators over here. Cash app her. No doubt. And, you know, two other content creators do that for your content create. Um, do it for your moderators. You know, they pay people too. They make it easy for um for us to do what we do. <sighs> And um, and just focus on running the stream. Um, you know, just just uh, definitely support. If you don't support me, please support her. She on. She goes from one. She's helping all of these brothers. Y'all y'all talking whine about sisters not helping, and she does that. I mean, she does that. A lot of channels, a lot of and a get, lot of brothers. She's helping out. And I'm gonna say, get pennies. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh so no please. no no! Me and get me. And, well, I ain't even. Gonna, you know, I'm I'm gonna let it be. If she yeah. ever, and, and this and this is how I'm gonna tell her about it. I'm gonna use Noble's <clears throat> platform for this, and then I'm gonna do it when I start my channel. The only women that would be moderators for me, even if my sister up here would be a moderator, I'm gonna talk to her husband first. How about that, other guys out there? Right. I'm gonna I'm take it there. I'm gonna take it there. The disrespect, if any woman that's married that's gonna be a moderator for me, I need to talk to your husband, let him know I have no intention. Mm -hmm. None, and I'm not gonna waste your time or her time, and it's gonna cost me for them to be there. Right, this is yeah. a job. Yeah, it's she, a job. Man, she, listen, bro, this is this is like to everybody listening. <laughs> she goes out of her way. Not only does she go out of her way, she's not appreciated. She's not appreciated. Mm. Appreciated. Appreciated. Appreciate she's not you. appreciated. For, for what she has done, she's on a lot of channels, Rob. Maybe 20 different channels. Maybe 20 different channels throughout the entire day. She does um so she does um accounting too, forensic accounting too. So they are, they are a lot of like very yeah, they very are similar. a lot of like yeah. and um um she's been on the panel before. Um 
not that she's going to be the only one anybody any one of my moderators that's all i'm gonna do I'm, I'm gonna put my cash up throughout the thing and i'm gonna put it in my description i'm not deep about that but i'm not i'm the type of person like we was explaining earlier about our people i'm not coming up by myself you know i'm i'm gonna I'm bring as many people with me as possible now i know i can't bring everybody the ones that don't want to win but those like her like the people that come over my channel mr palmer mr goodbread the big mic drop my sister brother bernard i'm i'm bringing um the, the devil's advocate you I know mean, that's brother not me um Chris, sister so okay. you know fraud investigator my bad <clears throat> you know what i'm saying we bring people up with us you know we're not we're not talking a bunch of word salad we we put it up you i mean i'm not trying to brag but you don't see nobody putting that moderator's cash app out you know what i mean i didn't ask her to do that i got her cash app off her shit, and i did it i thought i was gonna do it so um please support your moderators support your team of, at all times and don't be making a billion people your moderators either you know what i mean so other people would prefer to level or or to leverage other platforms right let's go Toxic back so because we, we want to go we, we what we doing is trying to understand what the fuck you're talking about willing to pay for that specific content varies widely it's a huge gap between this certain level certain content and then this content over here and people don't have the nuances they don't have the understanding to understand exactly what that means and so other people would prefer to level or or to leverage other platforms right <laughs> they would dedicate way more energy and way more resources in filling up and making sure that TikTok is the the platform that they leverage because they know how to monetize their audience more effectively the youtube adsense revenue model is not the thing that people need to be dependent on and everybody is so focused on getting monetized but that is not the way in which you generate the most revenue. It's probably the way that you generate the least amount of revenue if you know how to do it correctly. Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree the way you generate the least amount of revenue if you know how to do it correctly? <sighs> you can't make this shit goofy, stupid, retarded shit up. He doesn't even word shit correctly to be an adult. What you what you're saying is, the AdSense will be the least, the lowest income you have. Not the least, only one, the lowest income you would have it's out of like all the different problems. streams, if you do it correctly. But he's he's so goofy, and and so treacherous and conniving and covert. You you just like trying to make sure you say words that sound good to you, and you're not thinking about anything that you're saying. If you had you to understand that you would have they don't have the understanding to understand they don't have the experience to understand they don't understand enough to know but understand to understand tells me that you just filibustering and you you ad living that's why you keep looking up it's one of the first thing they told us in sales when people start doing this mm -hmm. you ask them for the check just adding it's just ad -lib. you fabricate so when you when when the thing about this is Google is always going to give you the lowest check, period. Even if you're not even trying at all of being a great, a good, a moderate, a poor content creator, Google is going to be the lowest check that you're going to receive mm -hmm. because they give you breadcrumbs. It's not even, it's like, Working in a slum factory when you're expecting, if, if you're expecting to live off of Google. Yeah. As he was saying, if at least if you had a million subscribers, you could, this is what the lead attorney is trying to tell him. At least if you had a million subscribers, you'll make more off of Google without even trying to do anything. Facts. AdSense is a part of it, but it's certainly not the whole thing. And, and uh, in most cases, it's not even the biggest part. You know, the biggest part can be sponsorship. The biggest part can be affiliate marketing. I mean, mm -hmm. the biggest, I mean, some of these huge content creators, like the stuff they get on the marketing side and the sponsorship side, mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy amounts of money. So totally agree with you uh, on that specific point. <laughs> I, I, I do think, though, Aeton, that if you could snap your fingers right now and have a million subscribers, 
you would be snapping. Okay. If I could, yes. Okay. If I could, yes. If you could snap your finger, oh, you would right now. Home no, girl. Because I make more money with ninety-seven thousand subscribers. This if is I right could, now. yes. If I could, yes. But this I don't think that's my home girl with her working back. Some kind of if trip. I could. This is classic. It I got it. I don't know. I got it. This is gonna be. I'm gonna clip the shit out of this. I can't, bro. I'm gonna clip the fucking shit out of this, bro. This is. This is just gold. If I could, yes. <laughs> if I could, yes. If I could, yes. Bruh. I would because I make more money with ninety seven thousand subscribers. If I could, yes. Okay. But I don't okay. think that somebody that made some content creators cannot out earn me, even with a million. You don't have to answer the question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. <laughs> so we not done. We not done. Oh man. Woo. Mm, well, oh, um, noble, um, Gail put fraud investigator. Is what yes, yes. I definitely see yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <sighs> yeah. This is crazy. We this just, is crazy. but, let's, but, let's but it goes back, it goes, still goes back to what, um, Sister L said, um, and you and me and Mike was talking about it last night. There's not a lot of content creators out here. They are reactors of people that make content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a difference. And this is why a lot of people where I'm from, they're like, Bernard, you put your little introduction out Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, I did. Because I'm taking classes. I mean, even though I went to film and video school 20 plus years ago, I started, I, mean, I dropped out because my kids are more important, you know, whatever. So now I'm, I'm coming back into it, learning how to redo. And I did 20 years of weddings and stuff out after that. But now I'm learning how to shoot what documentary, else? you know, and stuff like that. And I'm learning how to, I'm just learning how, and then I'm taking a content writing class as we speak. I'm not playing with this. It's not a game. Right. It's, it's not a game. Just like you are a great researcher and you have a great teacher that you, you have right up here that you rock with. Man, I'm not coming out here any type of way. I'm, I'm just I'm gonna let not. You know that. I'm gonna let you know that now. When she up here, I ain't a great one. I'm just good when she here. When she here, I'm just good. Stop. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that. You hear me being quiet, right? I'm like, no. I'm just, hey, the teacher's here. I'm sitting down in the front of the class. I'm good. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just good when she here. That's all. I know a little bit, a little bit. Uh, what's this? Here? She on? She been on fire, man. I've been on. I've been. Uh, like I said, she. she, she she allows me to breathe. I know the nation is taken care of, and I can go. Uh, I can go be a king out here and get shit done. I'm, on, I'm um kind of in real time get this uh, video uh, turned into an MP4. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, yeah, Hold no up. problem. But yeah, man. Um, yeah. See, I, I would love for her and Gail to hook up. That would be nice. And um, definitely. Oh yeah, yeah I definitely. Can we need to uh, hook up, uh, Miguel. Go ahead and put us in tune with each other. Definitely. And sister, and sister uh, I'm gonna tell you from what I don't know who I, I really want to be the exclusive, but Gail has a awesome story of growing up, man. Like that just deserves a whole show by itself. Her, yeah, her, I can't. I mean, she'd be really, I, really helping everybody else. She don't. She bro, gotten, but I'm just her. talking about even the way she came up, man. Like. Oh, man. She has an awesome story. It, it would very, it would inspire a lot of young women. And I'm, I'm being honest. Oh, we good. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I said, yeah. I did, I, hold yeah. up, hold up. We, we listen, y'all. We good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we ahead of schedule. I thought. You I don't want to be. I don't want to be accused. JT, listen. Yes. Oh, we good. Oh, hold up. We getting. We going there. Um, since she asked that you have a channel, um, Gail did. Yeah, I do have a channel. I'm gonna put well, um, a link in there. Yeah, post okay. in the pro you should be my. I, I, I rarely look. I'm one of those content creators where Listen, you linked up now. If I got if I got time for content, then I got time. But most of the time, I'm working. I don't have time for content. So, uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, the, it just has not worked out for me in in my life. Gail, really please, be a content creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you busy. Gail, yeah, post I'm, your um post post your uh post that story that you're talking about right here. Yeah, um, I saw I saw a little bit of it. Yeah, she yeah, I saw a little bit of that. I'm proud yeah, of so I caught the tail end of it. Uh yeah, but Gail, Gail hers is documentary worthy to me, is where I'm going with it. Like documentary worthy. I, I don't think me personally, I don't think StreamYard or YouTube does enough from the store she has. That needs to be just like a I documentary. Don't think... Oh, you yep. she found you that fast? Well you said that. They can't find you. She did. Yeah, she did. Jesus Christ. Oh wow. Beast. She's a beast. She yeah, I was I was just about to send it. I was just about to put it in there. She is what hey, ain't is. nobody playing with Gail at night, bro. Nobody, bro. Exactly. Ah, exactly. Bro, she is not and to be fucked with, bro. Like she is on some to yo, back yo. to my point, and people just want to kind of pay her. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, I, mean, I I couldn't even finish getting up, but I already had up. She already found it. Exactly. Jesus Christ! My point exactly. I'm leaving that up. <laughs> pay, that, pay the lady. I'm, I'm my phone now. Oh, all right, we got some more some more Anton uh, destruction. You know, to the to, to the Anton haters and trolls, you're free to use this however you want. Um, do what you do. Um, it's best you recorded it. Are you know you know how he is. I probably I, I'm probably gonna get reported or struck or some shit. Um, but that's how I am. The same same on this page. Same same what you'll find on my page is when you fuck with somebody in my my shit. I'll fuck. if you come at me, I don't care. I just get on the panel and trash you. But when you fuck with somebody in my in my tribe in, in my village, I'm coming for you. Yeah. What? Right. But um, you know, it's so funny that you said that because a lot of people, you know, they think because you know you're a bay, I'm an L. You know, we're brothers and sisters because we're in, you know, the Moorish movement together, but they don't understand that, you know, and they, they learn, <laughs> they, the public learn that, oh no, this, this is really, <laughs> this is really her brother in real life. You know, when my mother was you know, going through her transition, when she was on her, on her deathbed, you know, Miguel was right there. We were in the hospital together. You know, when um, I lived in Baltimore, and this is before uh, I, I got married, you know, be, before I got married, when I lived in Baltimore, you know, Miguel was like, I don't care who your, your soon to be husband is. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, no, we, we, we got to meet, you know, we, I don't care if he's, you know, has this position in the temple. We we gotta uh, we gotta meet dude. We gotta know who he is. Huh. You know, because huh. if mm. I have to come to Illinois, I need to know where I'm coming to Illinois. You know, up against. Mm -hmm. Facts, facts, facts. Because uh, I can fly too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. I'm good. I'm gonna leave it at that. I just see the whole paragraph in the page. I can fly too. <laughs> Indeed, you know, it, it was just one of those things where, you know, people had to really learn that this is not just my brother because we're saying we're brothers and sisters because we're same, a part of the same organization, but this is my real brother in real life. You know, my entire fam, my, my blood family, everybody knows Miguel. <laughs> you know, Miguel knows everybody. You know, it's not just mm -hmm. one of those things where it's this, oh, you know, we 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 just are, you know, brothers and sisters because we're saying that right. we're brothers and sisters. It's beyond the organizational structure. We met outside mm -hmm. of the organization before, before, you were, people went before the organizational structure. I was watching a video that you was doing the other day. And the brother was on there and was like, aren't you, Miguel? You just got home from 10 years. And I'm like, 10 years? Yeah, you I was like. Done 10 years. Yeah, I'm like, he just told you. 10 years of baby booking? I don't know. <laughs> Dude was talking. It was fat. It was like two Sundays ago. I was like, it was on a Sunday. And I'm like, 
What is he talking about? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You fake man. You ain't no good. You just got home. Whoa. whoa. Oh, so you I see, was... you do see this guy. You do see this guy face that you're looking at on YouTube, right? And you're <laughs> you just got home. I'm just I'm just asking questions. That's not just asking. <laughs> so in Baltimore, you have uh, Central Booking, and then you have Juvenile Booking. They call it baby booking. That's why I said, "What well, Miguel? What you was it ten years in baby bookings?" Because I've I've known you for I, 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 over I, I, ten years. How would my son know me? How are you? Doing <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh I've known you for over ten years, and I've never known you to be in prison. What the fuck would I go to prison for? Being right a lot. <laughs> Being right a lot. <laughs> they probably would lock me up for that. Like, man. Listen. All right, let's um, uh, Mr. Mc, uh, Mr. Miguel, could you come with me? You know a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, them niggas over there reading. Now. <laughs> <laughs> niggas over there reading. Wow. What's going on the car. Let's jump into this. This is this is um I, I love this part. This is good, man. He he, he is with this is last night. It, it it just did my heart proud to watch this, and it goes to what you was talking about, uh, sis, understanding business and shit and, and counting. This is great. Watch this. But I, I, I don't want to be I don't want to be accused. JT, listen, listen. I'm, I'm listen, looking for the this is this is what's smoke. happening right now. Right. Ain't nobody got nothing on me. <laughs> Wow. I'm really? Teflon Ton, man. Right, Listen, let's, let's, let's my people Bruce know. My Wait, people Bruce, know that on. I'm certified. Uh, hold on. Why does why is he why what? does he allow him to come on to be a speaker on his on his show? I'm not understanding the relationship. The show, his credit. Yeah. That's a good statement. I mean, it's another video where that's explained. I don't think we're gonna get into that. Um but to his credit, this show was Parker watching. It, it, it was what is Anton Daniels a fraud? I, I can I probably need to find that for. Uh, is is on Anton Daniels a fraud? And um, he had a bunch of little regular detractors and got sidetracked because a couple of his um, his trolls or whatever the content creator, a guy named Daryl Long, and another dude named Mr. Real Estate, and um, some other people um, not came up, but you know they go at him or whatever. And some other dudes so it, was, it got distracted but this deal here was about him whether he was a it was actually for another dude named peanut butter and jelly or some shit like peanut butter and jelly sandwich pb and wow. j some shit, something stupid trolling. so jt the dude was trolling bad. so jt said all right show up friday and we'll you know we'll have the show we'll have anton on so as you've seen lead attorney and um j pocket watching with jt they like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they close Mm -hmm. um pocket watcher with jc jt said um he's not necessarily anton's friend um that's what he said i watched him say that so he had a show i guess he reached out on to, out, out to him he do more of these shows but anton the only one that came up so that's what this is this was like towards the end of it and then this this dude comes up and it's uh this is great i saw like and this point these points i don't i don't have no con i don't have no position on it because i don't care about this dude bread i don't care this is what this, this shit is going to be about his bread whether he's legitimate or not this that the third the fourth and the fifth i don't know and i don't care but when you sit with this arrogance when you start with something like this and then it goes this way you start with how this started and then it goes that way oh god i had the, the wrong shit. uh it's beautiful i love it it was amazing. But I, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be accused. JT, listen, listen. I'm, I'm listen, looking for the this is this is what's smoke. happening right now. Right. Ain't nobody got nothing on me. <laughs> okay. I'm Teflon Ton, man. Right, listen, let's, let's, let's my people know. My people first, know that I'm certified, but we can rock. Okay, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, look at his background and look at his background. These, th this, these are IKEA. These are twenty dollar IKEA shelves. <laughs> oh, 
I think you think it's cute. It's cute. These are Bro. these are eBay sneakers, right? This is a, a real a real Ooh. solid wood shelf, right? One one shelf because you got a shelf and then you got shelves. Mm -hmm. This is a solid wood shelf with books that cost more than yeah the, the the eBay sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them books is expensive. Them, them, yeah, them, them counting the books ain't they not cheap, nigga. They're not. Look, nigga, they they they're expensive. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I'll be debating if I'm going to purchase a book or if I'm going to pay for gas. Books is, yo, them law dictionaries are stupid. Fuck one $1,800. I said, nigga, I can read, I, I fucking research with live all that, bro. I mean, hey, go to Barnes and Noble and spend a lot of time drinking coffee. <laughs> motherfucking library, my nigga. Look. Exactly. She said, it, old girl. He said, old girl. Not... He said, old girl knew the thread count on the motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, we going this there today, is not bro. even fair. It's Why is he setting he, himself up for this type I'm of destruction? He do it to this himself. Is all for clout. This is to gain viewers. I gotta, I gotta keep going back before we go forward. Now I'm not gonna keep doing it, but I, I just the arrogance, man. Well, all that bravado now, old. now. No, but no, you was here when he told McMike fuck him and all that, right? Yep, I sure was live. I right, watched it. But I, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be accused. JT, listen, listen. I'm, I'm listen, looking for the this is this is what's smoke. happening right now. Right. Ain't nobody got nothing on me. <laughs> right. I'm Teflon Ton, man. Right, listen, let's, let's, my let's people. Go. Go. Can you um look get. Make sure you get that right there. That's a sound bite. That's send a sound that, bite, bro. Send that to when me because every yes. time somebody says something to me, this you is got all nothing on me. <laughs> nobody got nothing on me. Ain't nobody got nothing on me. That's a sound bite right there. I'm definitely going my boy. My boy this week. Yo, I was thinking about that, and then I was thinking about what you just said. You also get. You should also get. I might use this sound uh, bite myself. Should get the course part to. The song you're headed for self destruction. Yeah, bro, y'all messing with me. I'm gonna have a terrible sound bite thing, man. Cause I'm y'all just get you ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> Girl said you won't even let us get to the video because there's so much shit in a short period of time. It's just like, what is happening? He can't just shut up. <sighs> My people know that I'm certified, but we can rock. All right, first gen, what's going on? All right, for first off, thank you, JT, for joining us. Much respect to you. You know you in trouble with a nigga. Thank you. Thank you for letting me have And time to find you entertaining. However, you know, it's some serious questions people have. Oh, the first thing is that you're using sign language to people who have valid questions. Bragging about who has the larger stack is childish. Um, so wait, 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 wait. What was the question? Bragging about, bragging about who has the larger stack is childish. You're not answering with logic. You're using uh, childish rhetoric against people who have questions about your so-called rise to success. Um, can we pull up his LinkedIn profile? And then, Anton, you say W2 is greater than your business success, and that's how you got your multi-millions, yet you use the latter to boast about yourself as an authority figure on the internet. So it seems to be contradicting when you said the W2 was the primary vehicle to how you have your multi-millions. Oh, he came ready. Woo. Hey, you remember after that first verse? Y'all remember that first verse out of uh uh his holy baby and, and Jay-Z he screamed real loud after the first verse. Yeah, that's gonna be one of my sound bites. Woo! The context, you know, you can go. I'm gonna put all the links at the at least at the end of the stream of being um it'll be in the description. I haven't put it in there yet. Um I, I, and Gail, I'll find it. You don't got to do it. I, I, it's just that we just about to enjoy ourselves right now because this is just ass whooping. You don't really got to try. But so apparently, they'll mention it. Apparently, um, they were showing some type of receipts earlier, <clears throat> some certifications earlier. Um, so he had his LinkedIn file pulled up. Um, and I guess Anton screen share is showing all his tabs that he had up. So this dude came in with fire, but I, he, he talks pretty fast. He sounds exactly what he, like he, he sounds exactly like he claims he is. He, you know, he sounds like a corporate dude 
And I just want to, I want you to hear the questions that he asked, because this is typical <clears throat> accounting type questions, mm -hmm. right? And I, the archway I should you stop about stuff you stop about. It's, it's dope. Mm -hmm. Flanton, man, right, listen, let's, let's, let's my people know, my say. people First know that I'm certified, but we can rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody knows that. But go yeah, ahead. Gil. Yeah, Gil. That's that's definitely it. All right, first gen, what's going on? All right, for first off, thank you, JT, for doing this. Much respect to you. Anton, I find you entertaining. However, you know, there's some serious questions people have. Uh, the first thing is that you're using sign language to people who have valid questions. Bragging about who has the largest stack is childish. Um, wait, 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 wait. What was the question? Bragging about, bragging about who has the largest stack is childish. You're not answering with logic. You're using uh, childish rhetoric against people who have questions about your so-called rise to success. Um, can we pull up his LinkedIn profile? And then, Anton, you say W2 is greater than your business success, and that's how you got your multi-millions, yet you use the latter to boast about yourself as an authority figure on the internet. So it seems to be contradicting when you said the W2 was the primary vehicle to how you have your multi-millions. But yet, on the internet, you talk primarily about your past successful business uh, experience when you're selling yourself it out there. It could be true at the same time. Yeah, so can we pull your LinkedIn profile? The certificates that you shown earlier in the video, it was a community college. So you didn't get a degree till 2016. And I find it hard to say that you had significant W-2 success in order to make yourself a, a, a multimillionaire. How, how haven't I? And some, and some of your, your, your income is actually public information because you used to work for a public university. Correct. So knowing the salary that I know, that I've seen, I, I'm not sure how that's translating to multimillion investment. How haven't it? Okay, so what were, and so there's a couple of claims you stated in your videos. You claimed you had a successful software company as you sold. Can you name that, that company? I didn't sell the software company. Do you have a name for it? Remember he said that. And remember the question he asked him. I'm not telling you what the name of my software company is. Mm -hmm. Are you, but the, same, I don't think the, same, the same way that what happened to the restaurant? I'm not giving out information. I'm not. Yeah, giving I mean, out the, the, the only thing I could find about you it was your restaurant. I didn't property. see any. I didn't see any information about your uh, software company online, and this should be public information. Fair. The restaurant that's information fair. is that's public, fine. so I saw the UCC filings and all that, like everyone else can see. But the you other businesses more, that you, you claim to have created to, are not are not me, online, me you, and they should be online. I'm gonna tell you how you can find information. You are more than welcome to join the Patreon. I disclose all of my information in there. What? That doesn't. First of all, okay. Let me, let me stop. Are you let, kidding me? Stop. It, stop. Okay. Because this is not fair. All right. Any true businessman or woman who's proud of their business is going to simply say the name of that business was X Y Z. Who has to join? No one has to join a Patreon. See, th th this is when you can tell that this dude really is a scam artist. All right? And this is public information. I don't, I, he's asking him what's the name of it because most likely he already has the name of it. This is gold. Oh this boy. Is, this is gold. You can't make this goofy, stupid, retarded, satanic shit the fuck up. Yeah, I mean, this is what? Two minutes and 37 seconds? It's like you told Gail, we can't even get, dude, I, I just told you a sis. You can't even get past a sentence with this guy and you have to pause it. And y'all can tell me if I'm lying or not. Anybody in the chat can tell me if I'm lying or not. You cannot get a full sentence or maybe a half a paragraph. You're going to have to pause and react to, uh, respond to it, not react, but respond to it. Every verse, I mean, every, every video, every video that we played has been exactly like this. Cause it's the same, same person. I didn't get to the video that started this all, this, this, that put him on a radio off of me. It, it, and that, that's even worse. This is this is let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. Look, I told like we got time today. Let's stretch our legs on this. That's just bad. I didn't sell the software company. How haven't it? Okay, so what were and so there's a couple of claims you stated in your videos. You claimed you had a 
successful software company as you sold? Can you name that, that company? I didn't sell the software company. Do you have a name for it? I'm not telling you what the name of my software company is. Are you, but the same, I don't think the, I same, the same way that what happened to the restaurant, I'm not giving out information. I'm not yeah, giving I mean, out the, the, the only thing property. I can find about you it was your restaurant. I didn't property. see any, any I didn't see any information about your uh, software company online. And this should be public information. Fine. The restaurant that's information that's is public. Fine. So I saw the UCC filings, all that, like everyone else can see. But the you other businesses more, that you, you claim to have created to, are not on, are not I'm online. You, and it should be you. online. I'm gonna tell you how you can find information. You are more than welcome to join the Patreon. I disclose all of my information in there. You see, it's, it's, it's like a sales funnel, right? Like it's this call to authority. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, Anton, you're not answering the question. If you have businesses that you, so pocket, washing JT, pocket washing JT has a business, he could probably, we could research his trademarks. We can verify That's his correct. legit business. But for your businesses that you claim to have been successful in, how we cannot I do the same. How can you reconcile the difference? How I structure, how I've structured my businesses, I structured it to where I don't have to worry about people coming after me because the one mistake that I made is that I used my real name on the internet, and I've learned that. I think I think you're capping the business, man. Because hold the last, on, hold on. let me answer just, your question. I'm you talking. I'm talking. You got, you I'm, gotta, you gotta let, let me answer your question. Let them answer. We're gonna give you time, but you gotta let them answer. Let me answer your question. The one thing that I've learned is that a lot of the business that's tied to me personally rises and falls off of whether or not people like me. That's something that he had to learn at, at, at 39 years old. He learned that. So let me, this this is the thing, right? Because I, I, I create businesses for businesses, for different entities. So I have several questions. Some of my questions are, one, why would anyone even know about the business if he didn't put it out there? Because if it's a business that you don't want someone to know about, you're not going to put that information out there. So why talk about the business? And then when asked, okay, what is the name of the business? Because we want to verify and validate that the business is a real business, then it's, oh, well, I don't put it out there because of the way that people feel about me or what they think about me. It, it, it's not, it doesn't make any logical sense other but than then, there is no business. But then, but then you continue to do the things that cause people not to like you. But, ah, if you join his Patreon, you'll get the name of the business that he don't want you to have. That, that's what I'm saying. It, it's not logical at all. He wants you to pay for information. Okay. <sighs> Gail says uh, she heard he uh, he does share a lot of her personal. Mm -mm, mm. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a typo, but it's accurate. A lot of her personal inf info in his Patreon. But of course, it's for Patreon members only. I'm sure someone has leaked some information. Of course they did. That's of course. That's why you shouldn't be divisive and threaten the internet. Because the internet is pretty uh, intense. And then you shouldn't be dumb enough to put yourself in a position where you have to um, be in that position to defend yourself from something that you shouldn't have to defend yourself from. It's pretty stupid, but you, it's 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 bad as it is already. It's way worse. And that's one thing that I've learned from the restaurant that I've learned to move a little bit differently going forward. I don't want any business or anybody suffering as a result of it being directly tied to me. So I no longer make that available for you guys. So hold on. Okay, hold on. Why is the information on his Patreon? Make it make sense. Well, what's on this? Well, you know, you know, damn, I can't. I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I don't have nothing for that. I thought I did. <laughs> I can't. I don't have nothing. I will. I will give up. <laughs> I would. I will get up from the table. And say, Dion, right, I can't defend this client. Um, I excuse myself from the case because it did that statement right there doesn't make any sense. You learn moving forward. Now, if you're saying you can't detach yourself from somebody, some, some something you you attach yourself to prior, 
I would understand that. But then the question of whether you sold it or not came up. And then he already said he did. He sold the business. Okay. And then you asked him with the name and he told him he wasn't going to give him the name. And then we got here. But it's just it's multiple questions that can't get answered. And then and then we'll see whether how far he follows to and through with this. Welcome to the world class. You know, like and subscribe. <laughs> Share, comment if you do. Um, that dumb shit that y'all do is over, man. It's over. You, you're going you're gonna to not want to end up on this channel. Unless I'm bigging you up. Very modest. Uh, just about five, six years ago. So what super successful business that you claim to have created within the last 10 years or so that propelled you to multi-million success? Because if you go 10 years after that, well, you have a W-2 job, right? That's a, for black men, that's legit and everything. I know, but none of these roles on your LinkedIn profile, right? Prior to VP, you say you had multiple VP experiences, right? I only see yep, one VP I'm experience. A v, I'm right a vice president. Of You're in a VP team. role now. Yes. I'm in one now, and I was with one with Comerica Bank specifically. Yeah, but that's only two. So what, what does and, that and, have to and, do with it? I know, but looking at your prior experience, like a senior analyst. I'm trying to see an engineer or something, something of that sort. Hold on, what so the, work hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, pause, pause. What is he with Comerica Bank? Go back. So like and I was with president. one with Comerica Bank specifically. Yeah, but that's only two. But none none of these roles, also. I know, but none of these roles on your LinkedIn profile, right? Prior to VP, you say you had multiple VP experiences, right? I only see yep, one VP I'm experience. A, I'm right a vice president. So VP. For Comerica Bank. He's a vice president for Comerica Bank. Um, probably a, a, a probably a regional vice president. A re he's a region. Probably, you know how they most they have multiple. I don't think he's a VP of the company. I doubt that very thoroughly. That's what it's on there. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You're going to I'm, I'm asking because, okay. All right. So I used to work in merchant services, right? I worked in merchant services for about seven years. <clears throat> and Comerica is like what they call like a tier two uh, financial institution for merchant services processing all right that that's the type of bank that comerica is it really offers um settlement and setup for merchants who want to process credit card transactions that's the basis of comerica bank so in order for you to get a uh, 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 get into any the industry like merchant services, you have to have a you know a thoroughly clean background, all right? Mm -hmm. To you, which he to which he supposedly has. I can guarantee you that he's not a regional president <laughs> of Comerica Bank. This is this is so sad. This is not real life. Why would he even? Comerica Bank probably doesn't even realize that he even has <laughs> this on his plate. <laughs> well, if, if people, if that's the case, right, sis, right, like everybody check this out. How many people we know? Okay, let's just say it's the case. I'm not. I'm not talking about his position, but some people, a lot of people know in finance world, the power of having good credit too to make stuff look like something that is not. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's move now. You see you see what I'm saying? But at the same time, the, the only thing that I know of in the pictures he throws up a lot is his and that's what P V and vegetables was talking about. It was, he, he was throwing up his little I can't say little but four door Porsche. But PG uh, vegetables, PB and B vegetables were saying, "Okay, dude, that's the eighty-two thousand dollar one." <laughs> like, like you know, he threw it out there because he knew the model. It's like, yes, this model. Yeah, oh, once again, 
Stop going on YouTube and think that people are not going to research stuff. That's why you can't come out here lying or fronting. You, you just can't do this, people, and think that you're going to get away with it. And then you come up upon a sister like this, bit might drop, and noble. Yeah. It, it's a problem. That's why they're going to pick you apart. And, and even Gail. And even Gail. So with Gail and sister, my sister, my sister right here working in the industry, they working in it, man, come on. That's what I'm this saying. is Don't absolutely stop. sad. Don't I mean, stop. to say that you're <laughs> vice president of Comerica Bank, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, Gail, see, Gail, see how, see how we can't even get past the guy's first question because of what he just said. And she's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, stop, stop. See, this is why you can't get past nothing. His, his 15 minute videos could take three to four hours. Just because, because, because the shit he's saying is dumb. This is satire. Exactly. This is <laughs> exactly what the fuck this Serious. is. Serious. <laughs> make everything dumb. It's just Whatever, that I'm, person I'm just trying make... to figure out what drugs is he hallucinating off of because this is not real. The right. dopamine releases it's a real good talk, stuff. When he start talking, those dopamine releases and beta endorphins, he high off that. You see it when he start talking, get high. He started to, to shifting and shifting, touching his neck and shit. Mm. Like getting his black woman, getting to his black woman. Oh, yes, sir. I'm in one now. <laughs> what did you say? Sorry. Give me my purse and my, my jar of Vaseline. Oh, my, shit. Oh, my, my God. pocketbook and Vaseline. My pocketbook. My pocketbook. <laughs> From upstairs now, <laughs> I got to go to the filler station. <laughs> flipping his hair, Start flipping his shit. I'm about oh. to go. You know they always about to go. I'm about to go. Throwing his wig on. I'm about to go. <laughs> he said, "Cause ain't nobody do better than me." <laughs> the shit, you know, the shit. Hey, hey brother Bernard, the, the beginning yeah. of this particular live that he had right here. Mm-hmm. I called me. I, I hit Big Mike up. I'm like, hey, bro, look at this nigga, bro. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga was on here with a dark hoodie with his glasses on. They shades, but they, they clear. I don't think they prescription. They might be prescription. I said, this nigga trying to be me. Because you don't watch my shit, bro. That's why when he, <sighs> that's why when he was watching that shit, when he was on, when we watched the first one with Big Mike, that Big Mike was on, he kept saying, I'm ready for this. I know you're ready for this because you watched me trash your little friends on y'all show. I came to y'all in y'all court and kicked y'all around like two, three times. And I'm gonna be trash five of y'all and your little protege. You want me, but you can't. You can't get that. You, you ain't at this level of intelligence. Your camp ain't got it. And then I can keep, we can keep shit a bean. You can get your big homie, Kevin Samuels. I trash that shit. You ain't got nobody in here fucking with me. I ain't so even questioning you. He he's one of Kevin Samuel's proteges. He is, but he not. He claimed him a lot. Say, I'm like, how? He's not even an eight, according to Ooh. 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 Oh, snap. Shots fired. Oh man. Now, Kevin, <laughs> look, Kevin <laughs> Samuels. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Samuels let them niggas know he Kevin Samuels picked his dream team. He wasn't in it. <laughs> Yeah, him, and, him, and, him and Obsidian been capping for a while. They, they ain't in it. You know. Shout out That's to MTR. Him. He's not yeah, an MTR. He's not MTR, an MTR yeah. You know he can't be a seven, according to Kevin Samuels. Nobody right. can be a seven. Can't, <laughs> can't be. Shout out to MTR. Shout out to Dillis Sperl. And Dennis, Dennis Sperlin was in that picture too, right? Yeah, Dillis Sperl and, and the lead attorney. Shout out yeah. to them. No with That's them. it. That's it. That's, that's Kevin Samuels crew. But you got nobody to back you up fucking with me, bro. You don't. Yeah. You got to come here. We gonna go, we can go to neutral ground. Neutral ground. I ain't coming to your show. I already beat y'all. I thought, why would I go and play in y'all court? I already won that twice. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm good. I'm undefeated on y'all court. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, what y'all y'all? I got y'all. Listen, I pop shit. I just I don't be flexing over here, man. I ain't that type of dude. I ain't never been that type of dude. I you don't, you don't want this man. We will meet on neutral ground. You want you you want to get your little hits back. You know, you gonna... <laughs> but you started it. 
<laughs> you started it. You disrespected somebody in my tribe. Comerica Bank. I, I'm just BP. This nigga is. And I was with one with Comerica Bank specifically. Yeah, but that's only two. So what? What does and, that have and, to do? With I know, but looking at your prior, experience, like a senior analyst, I'm a senior engineer or something, something of that sort. So that your prior my way up in, that okay, quickly got promoted and worked my way up to vice promoted. president okay. user at Comerica okay. Bank. Do you that's only one job back. I can pause. Do you understand how easy it is to become a senior? analysts all that means is that you work in the tech support division so if somebody calls you know because we <laughs> used to get a lot of calls from the Miss, mr singh right so mr singh was the the, the indians who own all the 7-elevens in detroit or in that area like dearborn mm -hmm. michigan so that's all senior analyst means. It means that <laughs> you're the senior on the floor of all the technicians mm -hmm. when they say, well, I don't want to talk to you tech rep anymore. <laughs> Give me your supervisor. <laughs> I'm is, sorry, I'm laughing. This so is hard. the merchant because... services world. I'm going to give it Hold to up. you. The real. Hold the, up. The real. <laughs> Chris, Hold up. Hold on. The reason why I'm laughing because y'all remember the show The Rock. They didn't call him a trash man. They call him like a, a something technician. Like nigga. Oh you yeah, trash no, no. Man. a sanitary technician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to start dressing words up because people will get offended. It's like the janitor. No, he's not the janitor. He's the he's the uh he's a school maintenance he's a engineer. No, he's the janitor. <laughs> But look, the janitor got the keys to every to building. Everything. <laughs> did I say? Did I not say that earlier? Just oh, about that. I just, just said that. that. I said. I said yeah. you got to watch the janitor. The janitor got I the said, keys to the city. He got the keys to the city, and he got the keys that the CEO and most mayors don't have. Man. You gotta have fat. You gotta have respect for that janitor. When all no. kind, that's a whole show by itself. He knows that's everybody business. <laughs> everybody business. I'm, I'm, hey, huh? Mister Mister J, Mister Smith got a nice Lexus. Yeah, he look at him. Look at him. Environment specialist. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I started laughing with sis was talking because I'm like, yo, they be dressing words up to make you sound important. Like, that sounds bro, important. You just answer the phone. Look, <laughs> you know what it is reminds me of. Miguel, remember back in the day when we used to remember my Domin Mall right had the mayor's office of the city of Baltimore. Yeah, I see it. And we used to go to the mayor's office to go apply for jobs, right? They had computers. And everybody was just in there applying for jobs, talking all day. You know, you go to you go to the mall part, you go get you something to eat, and you just meet all types of people. And you'll be in there, you know, just doctoring up your resume. <laughs> you're, you're an analyst. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a senior bro. analyst for <laughs> American <laughs> Bank. Oh, it's just so Gail said, Gail said, put some respect on my old job. I wore my scrubs <laughs> and died uh -huh. shoes proudly. <laughs> I, I, I used to work so I and I used to work for a company called Global Payments. And Global <laughs> Payments used to in, in, in Comerica Bank. So you had Global Payments, you got Comerica Bank, you got First Data, you have Bank of America, you have Bank of America. And these were like your top one, top one, uh, or tier one, tier two uh, merchant processing banks or merchant services mm -hmm. that process these, you know, credit card transactions all day. So I'm just laughing when he said, see your analyst for Comerica Bank, you're nothing than a team lead <laughs> of tech support. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and you can't make this up. You cannot make any of this. Like, they don't think that other people have worked in these industries and they're going to be able to say, well, that's all that means. I know these people have to look at us. And I'm talking about other nationalities. They have to look at us and just laugh. 
That's why I said this is satire. <clears throat> because if we're laughing, I know that other nationalities are looking at us just laughing. What else would they do? What else would they do? This is why we had this immigrant problem because you got niggas like this helping them. This is comedy. This man literally has that he's a senior analyst and it says that he's a VP, a vice president of Comerica Bank. Like, well, that's good. <sighs> I work in corporate that that is confirmed to be a big bag. The other jobs that you have in there, those are not big bags. So where do you, when you said your W-2 was the primary way for you to have your multi-millions, where the, the does not oh, wait, 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 let me explain it to you. Let me break it down for you. Don't over talk me. Yep. Give me a second. The W-2 is the vehicle, the investment vehicle. Okay. Huh. There's w no W. Okay. W-2 is an investment vehicle. If, if you are a multimillionaire, right? If you're a multimillionaire, you no longer have a W-2. I don't care what... Position, oh, no, no. I don't care what position you're working in. I don't care where you like what arena you're working in. When you're a multimillionaire, you no longer get a W. When you're a multimillionaire, your taxes are so extensive because you have to be able to show where you receive money from, what it's gone to. Because if you're a multimillionaire, you're only at, if anything, you're, you're just, a, you're going to be a 1099 worker. Uh, you, you're going to have some type of nonprofit, you know, where you sit on a board or something like that, some type of foundation. Right? You're not a multimillionaire as a W-2 worker, it does not work like that. No one in their right mind is going to be a multimillionaire and it's going to be a W-2 worker. It just it does not make lot. And this is what he's saying. It's not making logical sense in the corporate sense. But this is what's bad. And that's what the dude said. He asked him that. What's bad is this nigga is saying that the W-2 was an investment vehicle. W-2 is a fucking form for employees to be taxed. It's not a vehicle. You don't get a Series 6, Series 26, Series 72. You don't not get enough. none of these. You don't get that to be able to use that. It has yeah. nothing. You don't have get nothing for 1099. It's not an investment vehicle. You're just saying stupid shit. Been in finances at 20 years old. Nobody has ever said that a W-2 is an investment vehicle because, because you know how not, to make the job slave, income work. That's, you're a slave. It's if dumb. You, your w, you, if you have a W-2, it's a, you got a W-2, <clears throat> then those are slave wages, right? First and foremost, the tax laws was created for corporations. So you're being taxed as an individual versus being taxed as a corporation. You make no logical sense if you're saying you're a multimillionaire and the W-2 is a vehicle. Investment vehicle. Investment vehicle. Or investing. An investment vehicle would be life insurance. An investment vehicle would be the stock market. An investment vehicle would even be just investing time with yourself and with your family, but not a W-2. You can't make this goofy, stupid, retarded, satanic shit up. He just says anything. Anything. Okay. The way in which we evaluate whether or not somebody is a millionaire is specifically by your net worth, which includes your property, it includes your real estate. It includes your assets. Any asset that you have contributes to your net worth. The primary vehicle that I used in order to propel myself, in order to be able to invest in all of these different things is from my corporate position. As a, okay. 
So you can't make this stupid ass shit up. That sh- none of that shit had anything to do if with you. He's a VP. That means that he will be on the board, right? So that means that he will be a part of the partnership. The the, the partnership is that that's why it makes no sense. You're not getting a W two as a partner. I don't understand how you would have that position, which would be salary. We have that salary. It, it, most and bonuses they pay them. Most of the bonuses they pay ten ninety nine. That's what I'm saying. You you not so where's the W? You're not even W. You don't get receive a W two. First, this is so, this is frustrating to me right now because you have children who actually follow individuals like this on the internet mm-hmm. every day, and because they got some IKEA shelves with some ebay shoes in the background because that's his audience his audience that he's going Ooh. for is children facts little little 20 year olds 21 year olds children young kids th- this is the appeal in the children mm-hmm. there's no grown woman that that's there's no grown woman adult that's going to say okay yeah I, I see him that's a grown man that's someone i want to invest my time with that's that's someone i want to procreate with that's someone i want him to be my husband. no no grown woman does that but a child would say okay oh yeah he's balling look look at oh. his watch oh wait yeah a wait a minute sis he's, he's, he... hold on hold up i don't know if you heard me earlier earlier i do you, do you know he what he refers to his wife as he has what mm, mm, mm. do you know what he refers to his wife as no. did you hear that part Mm-mm. oh he he thirty he's forty now. He's thirty nine when I see him say it. He just had a birthday. He refers to his wife as his chick. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said when I first came on, he's in his second childhood. Mm-hmm. All the time you hear the big boy say it, he it's his turn now. Everybody gotta hear it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't he he hit his and it's sad because these children who are coming up really believe, okay, yeah. My W two is going to your W two is going. The time to from the time when they take out all those taxes from a W two, you've made nothing. Look at pocket washer with JT. Look at his face. Look at his face. He like what did you just call that shit? Yes, he's looking at like, like I said, I don't a lot of stuff that pocket watcher does is, I'm just like you know. You're an accountant. These these are things you shouldn't even be doing. But I, and I understand why he does it. But at the same time, he's looking like, yeah, what what are you, what are you doing? What are you saying? Why are you doing this? Hmm. It's all for clout. It's all to just get followers. And then if you want his information, it's oh, you gotta join my Patreon. That is. The scheme. That's the scam. Oh, you want to know about me? You need to join my Patreon. Okay. And any business, there's called corporate governance, right? Mm-hmm. And with corporate governance, if he's a VP of Comerica Bank, he then he knows about corporate governance. You have to be transparent in business. No one is supposed to have to pay for your public business information. Mm-hmm. That's pretty heavy. That's that's facts, though. You understand look, it now? Look, 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 look. Okay, Anton, I'm not. You know, so you don't know them about, about, about me, right? But I'm not a regular person, right? I'm I'm up bigly at a very young age. So I work in corporate. What does that mean? I work in, I, I work in finance. So you're you're, you're talking. It's, it's it's kind of cloudy. Right mm-hmm. when you, I know how you can leverage W two and four one k IRAs, all other investments. Right? What was the prime? What was the investments that you claim to have made to get you multi millions? I just told you. Because, okay, but it's like okay, real estate. And, and, hold on, wait, wait. I, I'll give you another thing because I don't want this to be really, really drawn out. If you want to go and look at the market, question. wait, wait, wait. Give me. Let me answer. If you okay. want to go and look at some of my property, it is very publicly available on my channel 
Anton, a great recession. In a great recession, you was living. You was living with your parents, which is there's not, nothing wrong about that. But in the last ten years, what has been the if primary you accelerant? Go and look at some of my properties. It is available on the on YouTube. And if you want to find out some of my businesses specifically, you are more than welcome to join the Patreon. So you're saying the last ten years, you went from zero to multi millionaire. Do you do you not I understand how how, how that saying, seems? If you I say you're struggling say, during a recession and that's like 10 years. Wait, 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 wait. I wouldn't say 10 years. I would say probably about 13. 13 years. Okay. Do you do not understand why people have, you know, some, some, you know, can poke some holes in your story that you're selling? They're more than welcome to, but then you can also go and look at my brokerage account and my Patreon. What does your brokerage account have to do with it? I'm telling you. It shows you what contributes to my net worth. So there was, so you're saying your W2 income that you relate into investments cause you to have your multi-million dollar no, work is that <laughs> two things can be true at the same time it's a multi-layered approach when you look at the the appreciation of real estate like expressions when <laughs> he's saying like it's a multi he's just adding on it's like it's it's like get out at this point <laughs> like get out don't even don't say nothing else. Don't don't just get out. Just, dude, just, just get out. This dude is he came prepared. Like he he came he came ready for him. Like oh, it's just, yeah. when you when you when you I, that's why I like this kid. I don't know who he is. I, I think Gail know him. I know him and know about him. When you if you're gonna target somebody, that's why I love what he did here. It's a good show. It, it's a good show that's based off analytics and facts and shit. But you come, you come prepared. He's not insulting him. Uh, Mr. Daniels need a way. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Daniels needs he's, you know, he's sassy. He's a bad bitch. So <sighs> he destroying this dude with facts, questioning him, eating every I love his response to him. The one thing I appreciate is his responses to, to every assertion or every question and uh Miss Daniels asks. And I think I think I think people need to pay close attention to it on how you deal with people like this. This People really do look. need to pay close attention. Yeah. I want all the children, I want all the youth to look at him and don't follow this because what will happen to someone like him is they'll end up in the feds for mm -hmm. interstate commerce violations because it sounds good and it looks cute for the internet. But he'll be gone to to prison for for white collar crime. <laughs> Thirty nine years old, or forty now. You keep giving legal tax and financial advice without a license. Now they'll let you get away with it, but other people—that's how they usually do it. They'll get the little bottom feeders that don't know no better. Because you may play safe, you may be safe when you do it, but the young dudes coming behind you are going to make, uh, you know, over. They're going to overstate a performance of their vehicle mm -hmm. or whatever it is they're doing, and that's going to get them jammed up. Mm -hmm. That's why I come on the internet. I use my religion, consecrated and appointed missionary, more science temple of America. Right. So I can so, use. Uh, I was just going to say, you know, just like the whole polite so, so, uh, situation, right? What a lot of people is not not realizing is this 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 thing that polite is going through right now is a state case. But after the state case is over with, now it's going to flow into the federal case with all of the complaints that the feds have received about him and the different money schemes mm -hmm. and the money scams. See, this was just a setup to be able to then be placed into federal custody because... I'm I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, okay. yeah, I, I'm I'm looking at. It, I'm like, they they don't even. A lot of people don't even realize like this whole polite situation. This is not the end with this state case. They're gonna then indict him. There's gonna be a federal indictment that comes after this, and it's gonna be for the money schemes. Remember there was um. Re remember the attorney. I don't remember her name. She's out of New York. She was an attorney and she was telling Polite 
to return, I think it was like $70,000 $70, of a young man. He received an inheritance from his family. And he gave that money to Polite and Polite was supposed to, uh, you know, invest it and give him, you know, a certain type of return and so on and so forth. Look, I've, I, I have deflated situations where it was a young, a young girl in Philly and she gave not just her, but a lot of people gave this man 20,000, 10,000, 5,000. Mm -hmm. They was giving him their retirement funds. Like they would actually take out of their retirement funds give it to him because he said that he had a so like kind of like a tribal organization mm -hmm. and it was a trust and all they had to do was give them their retirement he would put it in the community trust the quote-unquote community trust and then after he puts it in the community trust he would then take it and then put it in their own personal trust but then when I begin to ask them, did they have a copy of, you know, like I'm asking all of them because they're calling me now saying, well, uh, we want our money back. And, you know, he he didn't give us this back. He said he was going to give me back this. And he was going to say, OK, at this point, I'm asking the, the pertinent questions. Where is your declaration of trust? Oh, we don't have that. OK. Do you have a copy of his declaration of trust what you all listed on there as beneficiaries oh no we don't have that and then i ask him the same question he says oh no but they're, they're not listed as beneficiaries on the declaration of trust but they're all beneficiaries because they all benefit from the trust and i'm just like this right here is <laughs> this is crazy y'all just gave this man Free bands for him to put in his account. And then when he's ready to send you the money back, because he's like, yeah, I'm just going to pay off all your bills and you just send me your money. I'm going to pay. Why would I send you my money for you to pay my bills for me? Oh yeah, because I don't, I, I we don't use cash. We just use credit. Okay, but you want me to send send you my cash though, in a form of a cashier's check or a money order. Make it make sense. And these are the type of schemes and scams that happens all the time because you know, our people really don't understand. Find, like we, we would rather learn about finances from someone on YouTube than actually go in and take an actual course. There's courses every day where accredited universities and colleges are providing every day. You can go and you can take the course, you can take the class, you can go to school and you can apply yourself. But it's like we don't want to learn. We want to learn from the school of YouTube. Can't hear you, Miguel. Oh, that's my bad. I said you need to um y'all can go. I need y'all can go to Prime America, play that and get world class information on finances. Mm -hmm. You can go to you can take the courses like she just told you. You can you can get a trading book. Yeah, you can go buy you can go buy college courses on yeah. corporate finances. Yeah. You can go buy the books. You go fucking I'm gonna if I gotta do it myself, I do it. I'll go over modern money mechanics on this channel. Yeah. Where the fucking central bank is telling you exactly what how money works. Yep. Y'all have to stop, bro. If you have anybody talking to you about money and they're not mentioning modern money mechanics, get the fuck away from them. Don't talk to me about, about how money works, but you're not teaching me how money works. Mm -hmm. Nobody has more money than a bank, than the central mm -hmm. bank. Nobody. Mm -hmm. They're not teaching you anything. If you think it's just some Morris thing, you think it's just my thing. You can go Google Robert Kiyosaki and he talks about the shit. He talks about the, the all the laws that apply and affect currency. He says the same shit that we say. He one of the best in the world at teaching people finances and financial literacy for the last 
25, 30 years. Yeah. I, I, and I'm just looking at this. this. This makes no logical sense whatsoever. Yeah, man. He's literally saying, he's saying Nothing. that it's W2 is what he used as a layer of, I'm just, a it's vehicle, sickening. An, invest, an investment vehicle. It, I've never is, heard that a day in my life. It Ever. is sickening. Because you're getting taxed with a W-2, you're getting taxed at what, like 33%? Mm -hmm. 37%? Mm -hmm. You're not a multimillionaire getting taxed like that. Did you, I'm sorry, but no, I'm not sorry. And sales tax. And tax at the end of the year. You get taxed four times on the same dollar. And you're using the W-2. Got it. Got it. What I've been able to do with my businesses, especially the web development company, and then also what, what development and company also, you got to let me talk, bro. And then also what I've been able to parlay with regard to my actual jobs that I work, including the one that I have now and my W-2s is available in there and my Patreon. You can put it all together. That's three, from four months ago for the new VP role. And it was one VP role prior to that. And the other roles was no, like there were smaller roles. They did there's not have other, large W-2s attached to it. In there. I got, there, listen. I got those not large. Those are not oh, large W two income jobs. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I have over fifty four videos in there. You are more than welcome to go through it. And the, the, the fuck does that have to do with the time slot that he just said? You had a, the, the position you have now was only three months ago. You only had it for three or four months, and then the other one was from a couple years ago. So how would you get a million dollars using the W two as a vehicle, as an investment vehicle, which doesn't exist, and the other ones were lesser roles? Uh, the only way I, I, I'm still can't get over this Comerica thing. Only way he could ever be a VP of Comerica is because of COVID. Everybody quit. Everybody quit. That's how he got the position. <laughs> because of COVID. No, because with that resume. <laughs> Anton, you're capping about the other roles. The other roles, respectfully. <laughs> Especially the locale oh, you're located the in, they are not paying you oh, a large sum of money. Bank roll? That's only one big bag roll that's been confirmed prior to the new one you just got a couple months ago. The other roles are smaller roles in nature. I'm capping about my about my Comerica bank roll, about my vice president. JT, role JT, bank. did right. I say he was capping about it, or I was talking about the prior roles to that? You only had one. You wait, had wait, one confirmed. Wait, wait, big so you, wait, wait. So I, I can't have a web development company <laughs> Anton, that was successful. Anton, Anton. You said your W-2 asking, income. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a question. I can't have a web development company that's successful? Where is your web development company? Uh, JT, can you scroll down on his experience prior to the VP of user experience? And Co America Bank is not a large bank, and VP is a role that's given in the type of industry I work to pretty much anyone with like 10 years of experience. So yeah, but they're <laughs> there, there are different levels of VPs. There are VPs who are VPs, and there are well, VPs who report to C-suite. If you know that. Because because I'm trying to see if you're capping, you're capping. So if you go to project management, right, that's the senior level role. They're not paying the big bags. Star Tech Solutions. That's not that, that's not a widely known name. The other ones is quality control. That's entry level. The help desk analyst is definitely entry level. Correct. So well, look at the years on it. Look at the, exactly. They was not paying yeah. you the big bags that you claim to have, have finessed and leveraged through corporate. Look at the year on it. They're not paying. They was not paying you the big bags that you have claimed to leverage from it in order for you to have multi millions. That's, okay, that's all so I'm saying. You don't listen. It's listen. not adding up. You don't. You don't want to look at. You don't believe the companies, right? The you companies that you that have I, in there. Oh, there oh, I didn't oh, say I didn't believe oh, them, but they weren't paying you big you bags that you claim to have finessed. You don't believe the company, and you don't believe that I've made a significant <laughs> amount of money in corporate America to be able to justify my spending. Correct. The significant amount of money I believe came from that one VP role and the current VP role you have now. The other, so the okay, other so experience wait, wait, that you have is not paying you big bags. Oh wait. Let's play devil's advocate. What do you think I made at Comerica Bank? Mm -hmm. Anton, that was a role that you have a couple of years. The other roles behind that was not paying you more than $60,000. Stop capping. What do you think I made at Comerica Bank? You have one VP role that translates to multi-millions. Do you not understand how, you, how, how, how this, that's a disconnect? Question. If you had to guess what's You make over six figures. Congratulations. Other people make over six if figures too. If you had to guess based off of your experience, how much do you think I made? Comerica Bank is, is probably more of a regional bank. And that's not a bank or an, a radar of a lot of people, right? Uh, I, 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 would, I would say six figures. I would say six figures, right? And I'll say you probably have some equity options that vested over a period of three, three years. Wait, 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 wait. You want to kind of, what'd you say? Yeah, I said, like, he, he's right. Comerica Bank isn't a, really a bank. Like, when you 
think about traditional banking. Right. It's a merchant services processor that's able to offer financial solutions. So that's why it, it, it's calling itself Comer you know, a bank, but it's not a traditional bank. And you can't walk in there and go and get a loan. That, that's not the way it works. I mean, you can get approved for, um, you, you know, you can get approved for a certain amount of um, lending through other entities, but you can't get a loan directly from Comerica Bank. You know, you can't finance a mortgage through Comerica Bank. Like that's, it, it's, it's, I, I, it's they, what, they, what they facilitate transactions, basically. Yes, yeah. credit like, card. Um, you go to like 7, Green Dot. Seven Eleven. How may I help you? That's when you swipe your card. That's what Comerica Bank does. Green, like Green they Dot. Process the credit card. No, not even Green Dot. Not even Green Dot. No, no, because Comerica Bank they process the credit card transactions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, when you swipe, yeah, yeah. swipe your card, um, when you swipe your card, that, that's just, Comerica Bank. I just seen a billionaire that invented that. Not too long ago. Uh, yeah. Well, they, they credit for inventing that. Yeah, I mean, it's a good industry to get into because a lot of people aren't in the industry, right? Like, for instance, I work with a uh, company where they're the only company that actually went to D.C. and lobbied and got permission uh, to be able to process cannabis transactions. But it's a certain way that you can process, you, you have to process the cannabis transactions like you have to use it through a gift card so like you got to go take you go to the uh, dispensary and then you purchase the gift card and then you can purchase the cannabis off of the gift card like there's no way that you can possibly go in and because they haven't made it federal you know federal uh interstate commerce yet where it's federally approved for cannabis transactions even though certain states have approved for it right there's mm -hmm. still a certain way that you have to approach it. And this is what I'm saying. Like this guy, he's saying that he's a VP of Comerica Bank. Comerica Bank is not really a bank per se. It's a merchant services processor that calls itself and fashions itself as a banking institution. So you would you would need a you would therefore need a accountant background, right? So he would have to have some type of he would definitely, I mean, well, as a VP, you don't necessarily have to have an accountant background. Um, VP, you can, um, for as, as a VP. Account manager. Account you, manager. You don't even have to be an account manager. You just, you can be a VP in sales. So, you know, you, you can just sell a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you go to different stores. And yeah, that, yep. that a lot of people have worked their ways up gotcha. into the VP spot and merchant gotcha. services just by going and starting out as a sales rep. Gotcha, makes sense. I yeah. understand yeah. that. The more ATMs, the more credit card terminals that you sell, you know, you work your way up uh, into an office space. Because when they put a machine in, or they have they have that link up, like that little stuff, that little OS that comes up for that, right? Right. Um, credit card transaction, they'll get a fee for, for a certain matter. Exactly. Got it. I know. I, like again, I've no. I know this business. This business is lucrative. But even even and they that, have scams. They have scams where they oh, put the, all the time. Whole, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's the whole that's fake the whole, shit on it. Yeah, that's the yeah. and that, that's the Indian scams. Like the, the Sikhs are actually they they started that scam. The ones that own the Seven Elevens. You know, where they put the uh the, the place. Like yeah, the the place. Uh, I forget the name of it. But they'll put it over top of the actual mm -hmm. credit card uh, terminal, and they'll act like, "Oh, I, I don't know how it got, I don't know how they got up there. I don't, right. I don't know. I don't know." They, this is, they got this those is at the at the me. counter, and they got those at the credit. They have yeah, it at the, the ATM um, machine, yeah. The, the ATM machine and mm -hmm. at the gas pump. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And you gotta so, watch out for them. Yeah, yeah three but to watch out for yeah, them. Comerica Bank is not like a. It's not a traditional bank. You know, like that at all. Well, it's I, it's I just, also to say that it's not really reputable. It's not really like, like you got this on his LinkedIn. Like it. So, what did the sales training? What did the sales corporate sales experience you have prior to that? Where did that come in to where you can make millions? Exactly. Like anybody, anybody can get financially literate and flip your 
flip your flip your um your, your job right and in, mm-hmm. in the best that's fine but when you say something like i use my w-2 as an investment vehicle are you flip are you saying you flipped your income taxes i'm i'm so confused at, at how he would talk like that and then have this type of this deal it's not even a real i, I mean if you was at hey. mnt or whatever hey brother think about okay. this here what's another way the other biggest way of transferring wealth besides having a job uh life insurance somebody In, dies. inheritance inheritance yeah, yeah yeah you know that could possibly be you know what i'm saying anybody can bro i'm fucking t- yo it's crazy you said that yeah, that's the biggest way of wealth transfer. So, um, especially when it's in a short period of time, that's how you can account for it in a lot of situations. Let's 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 get through this because keep what you said. I'm a, mm, that's crazy you said that. Let's get through this because I'm a, we gonna come. We gonna, that, if that don't be nothing, that'll be the last one we do. If, if we're talking BP, if we're talking BP, hundred thousand to nine hundred thousand. We talking? Yeah, we're probably talking you know, one fifty to two fifty. So I made one fifty to two fifty. Probably all in, yeah. Okay. For a couple of years. Okay. You know, I'm not capping that number. The other rolls less than sixty thousand dollars. So what are it's we talking about? Capping, you just don't know. The other rolls are less than sixty thousand dollars. Okay. So you're saying you leverage less than sixty thousand dollars with a family and kid, and took a W two and translated to multi millions. That math right there. Thank you, kid. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Because you're gonna have to pay taxes on a sixty. You got to take care of your wife. You got to mm-hmm. take care of the child. And your responsibilities and take money away and invest and leverage that so you would have to do some extremely for 13 years you claim that's some that's some that's some serious leveraging you would have to be doing putting your family at risk risk risking who knows to invest now if you got if you work in something like that you're doing salary you may have to be putting in 60 hours a week not to say that it's impossible but you had to be doing like 60, 60 hours a week. I say that because you have to, I mean, if you're on salary, y'all know, y'all that's been on salary, y'all, y'all shit is crazy. Uh, those of us that's been entrepreneurs, self, self-employed, it's kind of similar because you you, you got to do what you got to do when you got to do it. However, I say that because you would have to have to be doing active capital, investing your money physically. For you to, in 13 years, work a regular job, have a salary that pays well, to, enough to where another company will hire you off of that experience so I, I feel this kid when he says that because the math is math on his end no one's you no one's no, one, no, no one's going against what you have right now it just, wait 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 wait, wait. It's, it's a you're bridge more than off. welcome to join the patreon you're more than welcome to find out about the businesses look at jt so it seems to be oh shit, so man. it seems to be that's a disconnect question. if you had to guess what you make over six three oh, years wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You know, I'm not capping that number. The other rolls are less than $60,000. So what are it's we talking about? Capping, you just don't know. The other rolls are less than $60,000. Okay. So you're saying you leverage less than $60,000 with a family and kid and took a W-2 and translated to multi-millions. No one's, no one, no, no no one's going against what you have right now. It's just that... Wait, 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 the, wait. The, it's, it's a you're more than on. welcome to join the Patreon. You're more than welcome to find out about the businesses. <laughs> and it is what it is. See JT laughing at him. It is, and and I'm more than welcome to show my bank accounts and my brokerage account. And no one's, ca- no one's more, capping. Hold about, on, I can you don't pull even up my brokerage to, accounts too. No one's capping to, about your brokerage. No, wait, wait, wait. You don't even have to join the Patreon and look at the bank accounts. That's Anti. Part, that's available Anti. on the internet too. Anti. No one's saying that you don't have what you have now. It just it's a bridge. It's missing a large. The bridge is missing. It's a so large hole in the bridge. To which y'all agree that he gave him out. I would say yeah. Yeah, they 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 just never take outs. <laughs> Gabe, I think I think he, he framing his 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 he's literally getting into the actual fact that he said it the bridge between what we have here and where you say you are with respects to your claim. The thing that you said was you use this investment vehicle and you you put up this these this career that you have. And it math ain't math. I respect it. It's solid. What I'm saying is because wait, 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 your history wait, 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 wait. does not together. indicate someone who has multi millions. Are you saying that I became a millionaire? Else, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a question here. Because you saying that nobody nobody's saying that I don't have what I have, right? 
Anton. Is that wait? Is that I, what you said? Anton? I can pull up brokerage accounts can you, can you too. Like question, I, I don't, I, I don't get can you it. Ask a question, because I know it's more people in the back. Let me ask you a question. Did I get rich off YouTube? You got richer off of YouTube. I got richer off of YouTube. Yes. So you saying that I was rich before YouTube? Anton, rich is relative. What are we talking about here? Okay. All right. Anton, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, asked, I, asked, I, asked, I came up here as being respectful. I asked several questions. You're unable to answer the questions. You. You're, you're, I didn't say you did. You're, so you're not you listening. About? See, you're, you're listening to respond instead of listening to alignment. I'm asking just questions. You're not able to answer the questions directly, which tells me that I you're am. hiding something. That I, I choose not to. I choose not to expose certain information in order to make sure that I protect the business. You may claim that you sold a software company in the past in one of your older videos. And now you're saying that you haven't sold that company. You yep. You not no, I, own I own a software you company you sold now. It. You said I own a software engineering company now. And more importantly, I also, well, I'm not going to talk about that because that's you said you sold one. You, you definitely yeah. said you sold one. True Listen, or not? I own one now. Did and you have, I sold have you sold? I still what was the one you sold in the past? Right what was the one you have sold in the past, Anton? I'm not telling you that. I can't. That tell made you. That. you. that made you multiple bags. You said you, you. You said you got I paid for that. that. You can't I can tell, tell you. Tell you that. What, I can tell you what the application that we built that allowed us to get bought out. Just let's just breathe for a second. There's a lot of shit that he just said just now, but this is the reason people don't um can't trust him. Man, I, I literally had no idea who this dude was before the other night. Before he came in and was disrespectful. <clears throat> Never seen him a day in my life before the other night. Hmm. This YouTube thing is interesting, man. Some interesting people out here. JT, JT, I, I I know there's not your guy and stuff like that, but I am asking I some good questions here. And he's not answering it. Order. Wait, wait, well, wait, wait. Let's, let's hear I this. I want to hear that. What's that the application? That, that allowed us to get bought out, but what's it's certain app? things that I cannot say about the company. All right, what's the app? So back at the time that the mixtape ah, circuit okay, was, was on, born, pause. right? Right before the mixtape. I can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Whenever they start off with so, you know what follows after that. <laughs> Lies. Hmm. Oh, let's know it's about to get rocky. You about to slide down a hill. Because he, he's explaining uh, the app. Cool. He, did you ask him for the name of the company? He said, well, what I can explain is the application. Well, okay, let's explain the application. Hey, circuit was booming. We built an application that right tell you that. You I can tell, tell you what, I can tell you what the application that we built that allowed us to get bought out. JT, JT, I I, I know there's not your guy and stuff like that, but I am asking I some good questions here. He's not answering it. Order. Wait, wait, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's hear I this. I want to hear that. What's that the application? That, that allowed us to get bought out. But what's it's certain app? things that I cannot say about the company. Even JT asked him, what's the app? All right, what's the app? So right. back at the time that the mixtape circuit was, was booming, right? Right before the mixtape circuit was booming, we built an application that rivaled certain other mixtape sites. What we wind up doing was we wind up getting a lot of traction, but we wasn't one of the biggest sites. So what we wind up doing is we wind up selling out the company because we got a really good offer. We sold it to a bigger mixtape site. What they did was they folded our company and they used our technology and our software in order to in order to build out their new site. That's exactly the type of company that we did. We, we built. What is the company? Ah! Like? And I'm, I cannot tell you that. That's the company that we built and sold. So specifically, it wasn't a web development company. It was an application that we sold, which is why I still own the web development company today. You said we sold those multiple partners in the prior business that you sold. Maybe. Not Maybe. Come on, JT. He can't answer this basic Maybe. question. Maybe. 
Come on. Oh my god. I want oh, okay. Dance so, on. I'm this is this is okay. So there's <laughs> several issues, right? And the several issues is that okay. all right, you know, we're we're from the mis- mixtape era, right? And you know, being originally being from New York, there was no such thing as mixtape companies, right? You had DJs who would just burn the songs on CDs and everybody in the hood was selling them. It was just like your bootleg DVDs or your VHS tapes. Like there was no such thing Oh, I was over here struggling trying to fit, think what, what mixtape mix tape websites like there wasn't a such thing back in the day. So he said before mixtapes became a hot thing. Um, when mixtapes became a hot thing, there was no such thing as mixtapes <laughs> like mixtape websites. That wasn't a <sighs> What, what that piff? I mean, that that's something that came way later on. At like that was at the end of that. That's when that's why with mixtapes be they died out because you had these mixtape websites that came on because they saw that it was making a lot of money. It was an industry. Okay, look, you know, anytime you got the the Jews that come in. And they see, okay, well, they're making a lot of money off of this. Let's get into the business. They're going to make it corporate. And that's why the mixtape died. But he said before the mixtapes got hot. Like, no. This was after the mixtapes died out. You was a part of one of these companies. If you was ever even a part of them. But you can never be a part of any of these uh, mixtape company before mixtapes got hot because there was no such thing as a mixtape company. But when you when you you lie, you how to lie, and then you ask another question that you're not prepared for, you know, you forget about the other lie. And this lie that you're telling, what you just told on yourself about. That's why you got the shoes behind you. And exactly. Why you the, and why you wearing the Versace robes. And now you just told on yourself on who you're trying to be like. You again look look at his background. He wants to appeal to children. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why you got the mix, you know, the, the whole mixtape thing in there. To make it look like he's a part of the culture, like he was relevant. When the culture was in, you know, still in its developmental stages. Because right now, when we look at the culture, the culture is dead. Mm-hmm. Just saying the way you present yourself on the internet is, is that you're, 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 you're just a solo self made person who did XYZ. I'm just calling cap on that, right? Okay. You 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 can have the millions in brokerage account, right? That you said you had, right? So you had like six to eight million in brokerage account that you sold so many pre on members when you met up in Florida or something like that, right? No one. Wait, wait, wait. Numbers you said numbers. What? I think it's like six to eight million that you said you had in brokerage account. I got you, just, you just you just play, you just playing around the numbers, right? I don't. Nobody. No, no one cares about comparing bags. That that's useless. That doesn't answer the arguments I'm asking. Here. I'm just facts. It's childish. Nobody cares saying how you led up to those bags the story is very is very much and still unclear to many people man that's fair and you're not answering you're not trying there's no attempt for you to try to reconcile the differences that people found we do this and in, in the corporate all the time you'll, you'll have a spreadsheet and you have a different spreadsheet your, your your second spreadsheet has 68 million in your brokerage account all your assets your first spreadsheet is supposed to have everything that led to that point we having problems figuring out the inputs that led to the outputs and you're not answering what we, went into we the inputs. Have that discrepancy, but at the same time, we can also. You're not answering. Up. You're not they, answering they, what they, went they, into those inputs. We so the can, output. You, you don't have to believe the business and how it is that they that, huh. that it manifests. He, right? He's scratching his but head. But the one thing that is a sign. Yeah, he start fooling with his neck and stuff when he. Yeah, when he that, nervous. that's he a sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, those are all signs. Those, that's what you call body language. Yeah. Like 
when you are trying to figure out how to get out of it mm -hmm. and you're under you're under so much pressure so the body begins to react in a certain way so you begin to you know look certain ways you begin to scratch your head right because these are signs of the body saying okay get me out of this stressful environment go ahead go ahead and play it that that we can do is we can pull up the brokerage accounts that doesn't do anything to answer the, the claims or arguments that i have you literally just explained that comparing bags makes no hang on. hey what do you mean and something mm -hmm. i want to add to with people with all that scratching and, and fumbling and stuff like that your body releases histamine when mm -hmm. it when you when it's stressed out Mm -hmm. that's why people can it doesn't matter how good you can lie you can never really beat a lie detector test because that's what the lie detector test measures for is the presence of fluid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in those areas that they put those connections on you at it's it's, it's testing the, the uh fluid that builds up when you're in a stressful situation so that's why people start itching and you know things start bothering you a little bit more i just wanted to add that i don't know what definitely happened. definitely no that's a part of it it's a part of this um, physiological responses on 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 you know race trader 101 i will what do we how to break a bitch that's what that's, i think i'm gonna rename it what break a bitch break a bitch college <laughs> Fuck, we're not, we're we're not the what'd you say See, early registration he said a million it doesn't matter because a millionaire is a millionaire but what he's saying is look we we want to get the financial spreadsheet of the input and the output very early on of how you made your way up yes and he can't provide that so if he's offering quote-unquote financial tools and financial advice right he's supposed to be transparent to show those who's paying this this ticket this dollar for these courses for this advice and if he can't show you that then and this is what i like about the the the, the hood the the trap right because the trap is not going to lie the trap is going to say look i made all my millions in the trap and i was able to take my millions from out of the trap and put it into this investment put it in that investment put it in that investment and that's how it became legit that's what i respect about the trap but these type of dudes right here you can tell that he's never been in the trap he's worked in you know, a, a technical support he's taken a couple of google courses and now he's a senior VP. VP couple. It's frustrating lucky. at this point. He got lucky. He caped for for his benefactor, aka the white white person, and put him on. And that's the only way he got up. He's a system guy. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that, he wouldn't be there. And that's fine. That's that's fine. Just say that. That's that's okay. And you you don't even say that, but you don't even have to. But just the other shit you're doing, being disrespectful, how you are, that's what causes all of this. You don't you can have all of that nobody cares about how you win long as you're not hurting somebody to get there then you don't shit on people that wasn't ever even looking your way that's the shit that bothered me but we are questioning the input a million is a million jt that's sign language gail um i appreciate you coming through i'm i feel like uh watching your premiere actually yeah shout out to gail definitely i'll definitely I'll look oh post your post your premiere please uh, post it in uh, the um, in the chat, so we can um make sure that's that scene too. When people watch this, you know it'll be looped. And I'm gonna probably loop your um, put your premiere in the playlist. I appreciate all your help throughout the day. Definitely, go we'll handle your business. Shame, insult, guilt, and need to be right. He's comparing I'm sticks against each other. Like Jesus Christ, I'm we're not kids. Anybody. We're adults. We're we're all black men on this panel. No big mic sign language yeah sign language but, but, but what was we going right before you left the victim shit. now he the victim yeah i wasn't doing anything to anybody i didn't say anything to anybody this is yeah. karen yeah right this is karen wouldn't put some paul we'll call him al keisha al karen al <laughs> baby mama turns it's in 30 minutes okay it's only 30 minutes okay no it's, yeah let me get you up there. Mm -hmm. 
we're all established professionals. I'm not shaming or insulting anybody. Like, all right, just just pull up brokerage accounts. What what does that do, Anton? It does show, that make that, does that make your claims any more valid against the things I'm telling you? I'm telling you the inputs do not equal the outputs, and you're unwilling, and you have not been clear in the inputs that went to the outputs. I, Plenty of other people have done this. Let, let's try to reframe the question in a way that maybe he can answer. Let's. So what that is is now he needs. Okay, so now he sees that he's getting beat up, right? So now he's showing empathy because mm -hmm. he's saying, okay, he's getting beat up so bad he can't answer any of these questions because he can't relate because he's really not a multimillionaire. He know JT knows that he's really not a multimillionaire, right? right. So he's saying, okay, well, let's ask him in a way that he could understand what it is that you're saying mm. yes because he realized he doesn't understand financials right mm. facts right and this is the difference but, this but is it'd be quick to tell somebody he doesn't know that they don't understand how money works mm -hmm. facts. somebody he doesn't know anything about he don't understand how money works for the second time tonight, we're showing a video, or today, we're showing a video where people, the, the same people that are of the culture that you said was trash, is doing the best they can to help you when you've already fucked yourself. It's the second time JT is helping you. Not to say that you do anything bad to JT, but he comes from the same culture that you said was trash. It's interesting how that works. We help all these clowns, man. <laughs> it's in our nature. See, let's see if this works. You have right. an answer. Well, well, That's let's, why it's let's, happening. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I got to try. All right. So working the corporate job, making what you're making mm -hmm. within a span of 13 years, mm -hmm. right? If you were able to invest, because it seems as if you know, maybe or maybe not you didn't own the company that you sold 100%. Oh, no, if I'll, you were I'll, able to get I'll, in and invest. Had, oh, you said not 100%. I got you. Okay. Right, yeah, not, not 100%. You could be majority, but not, it, you know, it seems as if there was there, there was some other people involved. Not All right. Maybe. In order to do that. Oh, my goodness. Hold what? on. <sighs> and they said maybe. Why? Why? Just why? Just shut up. He's you can't make you can't make this up. It's abuse. This is abusive. Like that's why that's why brother Bernard dropped off. It really is abusive. This is abusive. Watching him talk is abusive. It's 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 like it's tr it's triggering because you you grow up young dealing with these single mothers, and when you watch him, that's all you do is single mother shit. Mm. This is verbally and emotionally abusive. Like, so and again. Done. He he's uh someone that the, these children look up to because the image that he's portraying on the internet. And when we say when we say children, I'm talking twenty something and under. Yeah, I mean between nineteen and they, they these are children we talking about. Y'all don't want to call it, I get it. And man, for oh, the eighteen is a man. I nigga, please shut up. I think it's just, you got forty year old children like this. He's yes. a child. Yes, that's a little boy. Yes, because this is a product of the crack era. Damn. My bad. I fucked up. Let's see what we Frame have. the question in a way that maybe he can answer. Let's see. Let's see if this works. You have an answer. Well, well, That's well, why it's happening. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I got to try. All right. So working the corporate job, making what you're making mm -hmm. within a span of 13 years, mm -hmm. right? If you were able to invest because it seems as if you know maybe or maybe not you didn't own the company that you sold 100%. Oh no. If I'll, you were I'll, able to get I'll, in I'll, and invest. Had, oh, you said not 100%. I got you. Okay. Right, yeah, not not 100%. You could be majority but not it, you know it seems as if there was there, there was some other people involved. All right. Maybe. In order to do that, what kind of budget I mean cuz clearly the what the brother's trying to point out is the previous positions couldn't have led up to the cash being able to you to invest in private equity just like that. Why? How why are you would, able to? But why? Why do I need to invest cash into a into the business in which we were software engineers? So building you're saying you're, you're saying you are able to get into or found a company where you want you were wasn't the money. You were the brains, meaning the equity that you earned in it wasn't from investment. It was the IP. 
intellectual it didn't take, a, it didn't take a, lar a large investment to build out a software engineering company in which we build an application. Oh, this is so that's not a capital, exhausting. a very big. This this is exhausting. He fighting just to fight. He doesn't even understand what he's asking him. Yeah, I know. He's not even listening. He can't even hear. But, oh, oh, you asked me this, but you was talking before. Why you start talking if you ain't know what the fuck was going on? It's just, it's just, yeah. But we'll tell somebody on, acting like you don't know what um a point, acting like you don't know what's going on. Disingenuous. But we'll say that to people every day, all day on his show. This is disingenuous. It's, it's projection. It's projection. It doesn't take a lot of capital. I'm asking you which part of the business were you on? The intellectual right. part and the creative part, or were you financing it? Were you the he, investor? He or were you the talent? Yeah, because he said, No, I didn't have to invest. So he said, Okay, well, you didn't have to invest monetarily. Okay, so then you provided your sweat equity, right? right. So with your sweat equity, that's how you was able to, you know be able to sell because that's how you be able that's how you basically have that's how you was able to become partner of the company you didn't actually have to invest any financials into it you just invested your services right. into it again and then here he goes well no it didn't cost that much to invest like what you you just said you didn't have to pay nothing to invest it's is eerily familiar to Jonathan Barronville earlier where you fighting the person that's trying to help you I know it's a long live for people that's watching this and people that's watching this on the replay. I know it's a long live, but do you, do you see the theme? Do you see the mentality? So I always fight people say uh, opposites attract. No, like attracts like. Those two dudes are together because they do the same idiot shit. You just say shit just to be saying shit. And you and you are a victim. We're going to get that. I can't wait to get to that part. Watch. We, we're going to get to that part. It's coming. And then we done. Capital intense company. You don't have to you don't have to put a lot of cash in a building that you can literally stop what the fuck you ask you dumbass really do that in your in your basement or your garage okay all right look, but let's say this at face value let's say that's true you are able to start a company the overhead didn't require multiple millions of dollars to start you had an idea into an application it shot up you were able to get bought out you made your money. Okay, great. Let's say that's true. Mm -hmm. How is that something that can be repeated? How can that be used as a example of what others can do? Because I'm gonna say it right here. You know. Okay, so that is not that is not realistic. What others can do. You're the one success but that's story. Not, but that's not but what I teach. Real quick, real quick. Yeah, I'm just saying. You're that's the not what one I teach people. Success story. But out of one, that's one out of thousands who fail horribly trying to replicate that model. But see, the problem, JT, is that we automatically assume that we teach people to be millionaires. Mm -hmm. That's not what I teach. I don't even label myself a guru. I show people and I teach people and I show examples of how it is that they can negotiate their pay packages, for example. Right. How it is that they need to be able to level up exactly what the difference is between a Roth 401k and a 401k, right? I also teach them that they need to open up businesses, not necessarily to open up a business, but also to, to, to understand that it's better to have a business understanding and a mindset. As a person that had finance licenses, to hear him say, I'm talking to people about what the difference is between a 401, uh, 401. Uh, mm. All right, bro, I, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, any young dude following him, stop following him. The shit he say just now is gonna get you in trouble. Don't, don't, he just said you taught people that, like on the internet at 39 years old or 40, one of them two, shut up. It's stupid. We automatically think that we're, teaching people to be millionaires which we are you talking about how are you both people are you i don't bro I, this kid just oh this you can't make this goofy stupid shit up bro this nigga's a dumbass because having a business mindset has nothing to do with opening up a business 
right? I teach them a lot of the practical information that the majority of people can use in order to level up in their life and actually make enough money to where they'll, they'll be able to retire and they don't have to necessarily, see, I may live lavish, right? right? But I don't necessarily teach people that they have to be a Here millionaire. But go. I do teach them important the importance of how they need to move so that they, they can beat the rate of inflation. Why they need to buy. I show them the difference between a liability and an appreciating. Hold up. That's, that's just too many catchphrases. You just run into a bunch of words saddling. I, every, thank you, Brother Bernard. Wow. You're just saying random shit that goes along with the, the industry of helping people to make money. Who, are you have any serious licenses to help people with retirement? Parker? Mm. You need a Series 6 license to do what you said, dumbass. Series 65. Series 63. That's it. I teach practical information in my stuff. All right. Well, what do you say to I'm this? I'm not teaching them how to be a millionaire. Uh, Okay, I got it. What do you? But those those are the people who make it on to and 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 uh, brother, I'm I'm gonna let you go because there's other people in the back. I oh, appreciate yeah. it. Thank, thank you so much, JT Anton. You, I think you know appreciate you know you've been question, exposed. Bro. Yeah, but you have answered my questions. Thank. You. All right, th I, I'm not bad. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to cut you off. But I, I, I yeah, that was it for that one. Um, this will be the last video. This is late. We've been, we've been going at it for a minute. Um. Real men work. We love God. We love God. We work. We take care of our families. And we don't make excuses. Is this the... Hold Ain't on. no excuse. Hold on. Hold oh, I didn't... I, you know, I just... I, I, you know, I just couldn't go... Remember uh, Big Mike, you was talking about inheritances? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. This... <sighs> it's the same person. Yes. Same guy, Versace Road. He had to get him in his rare form. This is his final form. Uh, the keys to wealth is to a strong family unit and household, and it starts with men. After hours, and on after hours. Let's go. Real men work. We love God. We love God. We work. We take care of our families. And we don't make excuses. Ain't no excuses. Ain't no victim Olympics. Ain't no code. He told me, he said, Anton, I don't care what nobody tell you. You don't rock with somebody just because they look like you or because they a man or because they a woman. He said, you rock with somebody because they a good person, because they got good character. Straight up. I don't give a piss about what nobody talking about. I don't care if the whole world come against me, yo. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody say. I love God. I love people. I'm going to continue to do the work. And I'm coming for you. Every last one of y'all suckers. Every last one of these dudes that's ruining our communities. Every last one of these people who the earth is worse off as a result of you being born. I'm coming for you. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Either you're going to get on this train or you can get off. I'm done, man. I don't even want to talk about this no more, bro. So why did I show that? That video, what he explained was, and I'd only showed that part for a reason. I saved that a while ago. That video, he was crying because he was talking about his dad that died in a construction accident. Wow. Which goes to the inheritance part that you talked about which is more than likely where his money came from because his dad had a construction company. That's exactly where his money that's came from. That's where the money might have come from. Uh-huh. And uh, in which case... Which is fine. That's, that's definitely fine because that's what fine. we're supposed to be doing is what it was yeah. supposed to be creating inheritance for our children and insurance immediately creates an estate. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Absolutely. Being properly insured immediately creates an estate. Facts. So, nah, that you know, but nah, that's what I thought about. I'm like, inheritance happens, you know what I mean? And so that's usually what accounts for somebody's sudden jump in status and wealth. I wanted to do it in order so we can mm -hmm. see this kid, see what he produced, see him get questioned on his finances, and then see the real him. 
it all makes sense at this point. Now it makes sense. All of that anger and all of that stuff. Oh, sad. See, that's that shit he was doing at you is sadness. You're sad. Mm. And you're crying. For his dad. Because your dad died. Mm -hmm. And watch this. Mm -hmm. Early in that video, I wanted to make it short because I, I I wanted to get that in before I finished. I knew I was going to be on for a while today. Because I wanted to say something in. cheeky about me not having a dad. You see what I'm saying? He said something like that because I said I got a dad. You remember uh -huh. that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And what you pick up, sis? You pick up the same shit, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh huh. So what happened was he talked about his dad. That's why he was crying about his dad because his dad is the one that got. He said. He said we love God. His dad is the one that took him to Christ or took him to Christianity. His dad took him to God, and then God took his dad. Wow. And that's what he's mad at. I know it because I did it too. My hero was my big brother. Right. My mom used to fuck me up, beat the shit out of me. My dad was gone in jail. My brother got killed. So why the fuck would you leave me here with this evil person? I know what it looked like when you hate God. I did it. Can't hide that from me. You need to get therapy and get your ass to fuck off the internet. Go get some therapy. Mm. But that's what, care, I, that's what I, I said. Just one second, real quick. I don't care who get offended. I don't care who get offended about this. And I, I just mean this for Anton Daniels. You spent five thousand dollars. The evidence again. You spent five thousand dollars for a fucking Versace robe, but you won't spend two hundred dollars for a personal trainer. Mm. The math ain't mathing. Go get you some fucking help and get your stupid ass to fuck off the internet. This generation deserves better than you. You need to get help. You run around being disrespectful to everybody because you don't know how to control your anger with the God you pray to. That's your business. Keep that shit to fuck off the internet. Play them games with niggas that don't know what to look for. I heard enough of God's children to know when you're not one of them. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead, sis. That's Go what ahead. I was saying where this platform allows for a lot of these males who are hurting who they don't have that man in their life to bring them up to teach them who was absent you know whether it be from them just not wanting to be with the mother or being deceased early or going to prison they don't have that man there so what happens is they are allowed to be able to come on to a world platform and they can be seen and now they can be heard. Yes. Because they were never seen and never heard in real life. Yes. And this gives them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So they're on here catching all these L's and everybody else is seeing it and saying, no, go shut up. Go sit in the corner. Get you a juice box. Time out. And instead of just shutting up, sitting in the corner, getting the juice box, getting your time out time, they're in the corner trying to fight you. Right. Mm. This I was said, deep, man. Huh? This was deep today, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, you went, it's, it's went deep. You, you, you. You said it earlier. This was definitely Kate's. Would you say? Would you say earlier? What was the specific you said? You didn't say it was case study. What did you say? A case study. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a case study. It's a, it's, a, it's it's a perfect example on personality disorder. Not you, son. Not you. You are everybody. Mm -hmm. On personality disorder, and what is it? Aggression displacement. Is that the term for that? Displace. Displace, displace aggression. Yeah. And. You know, I could I could get on them about the lack of study, lack of research and inaccuracies. But that's what I've seen with this dude the entire time. That's not the first thing I've seen, but I've seen that lead attorney thing. I'm not even I might go if I go over it or just to be thorough, thorough. Like if I go over it tomorrow, I'll go over that first video to see the inaccuracies. But let me know, like something wrong with this dude. Then when I seen that video and that video is old, it's more shit. It's more shit. There's a lot of shit on him that, that you just see by accident. But. This kid needs help. 
He needs help. He needs help. I've been around a lot of strong people that, you know, they're not going to ask for help. The, I, I've seen people that are weak and that pretend to be strong and they don't ask for help because they're trying to pretend to be something they're not. You know I mean, this kid needs help, man, because it doesn't mean, make any sense for you to meet somebody on your platform and tell them, fuck them. The first time you're talking to him for the first 20 minutes. That's not a man. Mm-hmm. It's not an adult. Fuck you. You shouldn't get nothing. About a hypothetical. Something that may or may not happen in reparations. And you telling me, fuck you, you shouldn't get nothing? That interrupts yeah. your potential Patreon traffic. Like, what's wrong? Bro, I, uh, I, you know, they just, at the end of the day, man, you're not going to get me to believe that he's not a a, 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 a immigrant or something. I'm sure we'll find out down the road at least. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's an immigrant. You can, first yeah. of all, you, you can tell by the features. You know, like, yeah. we, we just look a certain type of way. Right. He doesn't match our phenotype at no. all. No. But, um, and definitely not our mental type either. Mm-mm. Like I said, we got to... We, like people in nature recognize their own animals that's all we really are we recognize our own Mm -hmm. we recognize our own species our own type and and, and, you know when it's really black people fba people and you know i'm not saying all immigrants people from immigrant families are like this because it's a lot of cool ass immigrant you know people that are down with the cause too because they got the same struggle back in their countries but they're, they're cognizant enough to understand that but what we're talking about is people that are tethered Mm-hmm. What they call tethers, you know, and they want to keep you tethered to this system. Yeah, because they they love the system because it's better than what they had back home. Right. So they look at us as if, well, what is wrong with you all? This is great. You know, I love this. I I wish I was born here. You know, I wish I could have had the opportunities that you had, but they don't understand that they get opportunities that we don't. It's never been afforded to us. Right. Like every there's a rarity where we get those type of type of opportunities, and then when we do get those type of opportunities, what happens is we are the opportunity for everyone in our society and in our local society. Right. So now the city is hoping for us to come up so that they can come up. Right. Do you understand how hard it is for an entire city? of people who are mentally ill, who are underclass, who are the most disrespected and overworked for you to have to be the one to come up for that entire population. Yeah. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. We have that too. It's a lot of us that have that here too. So I can, we can empathize with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's intense. And this is and and we laugh like we laugh whenever we see certain certain of those who who did make it out, right? A lot of times we'll laugh and we'll joke like, ah ha ha, you know they they're broke now, they ain't got no money now, you know. They went broke and they got no money because they took care of the city. Right. The MC Hammer thing. Man, I like to call it. It's like the MC Hammer thing, the way you feel obligated to so many people that that you have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And you could look like look at Benzino and his situation right now. <clears throat> well, I, I've seen something about Benzino. Uh some things came out on the man, but I still don't quite understand the situation. I'm I'm just talking about the situation where he said, you know, the reason why he, he doesn't have the wealth that he used to have. Now remember Benzino, he was a multimillionaire. Right. His thing is, I'm no longer a multimillionaire because I took care of everyone around me. Right. He didn't know how to say no. And that's a lot of us because we have the weight of the city. Like We don't even have the weight of the neighborhoods on us. For us, we have the weight of an entire city of people on us. Yep. Yep. Especially being from a city like I'm from. So that means we got to create the foundation. We got to create the nonprofit organizations, right? Because we got to give back to the the children in in the neighborhoods, right? We got to give back to the schools that we went to because they're all expecting for us to give back. We got to give back to 
all of the community centers that we grew up at because now they're expecting for us to give back. All right, we got to give back to everyone else who we grew up with because they're like, okay, I know you're not going to leave me out here because I was with you when you didn't have anything, right? So there's so many factors of us having to give back. And this is the reason why we really don't have that generational wealth that's passed down from generation to generation. I was watching, uh, and I told Miguel this other day, I was watching a European and he made a video and they asked him what would be the uh, best advice that you can give black people in 2020. And he said, if every black person got an insurance policy, Mm -hmm. you would never see another black person murdered again. Unjustly. You would never see them arrested again. Right. Unjustly. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. Because the insurance companies are step in. They're exactly. not getting ready to pay all that money out. Exactly. And I, and I still think to an to a extent we need to do that. Yeah. We need to promote that. And, and what's funny, man, is I got a partner that has an insurance agency, man, as far as life insurance and whatnot. They do actually financial planning and whatnot. And the brother's Jamaican-American. Mm-hmm. One, of my, one of my tight partners. You know what I'm saying? So this isn't, you know, on everybody, man. It's just certain certain types and certain types of people that are agents and you know it's it's strange man we live in some strange times it's you know i'm usually rarely at a loss for words but i'm almost at a loss for words just you know what's going on it's 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 mind-boggling it's a lot it's mind-boggling it's more than it's more than too much at this point it's more than too much to be dealing with stupid shit and foolishness we're gonna um gonna shut down yeah man i'm glad i got a chance to come back and catch the rest of y'all me too man i'm glad you got back yeah, we, i'm glad we i was definitely... able to get on yeah yeah well, good yeah I, I love we... listening to you talk you know about you know what your your knowledge share your knowledge thank you man. yeah she's a she's a wealth of knowledge bro she's yeah. the asset of assets in our community yeah and um i'm proud she's my sister she make everything in life easy uh you know and better and um, so the, tomorrow I will get up. Yeah, we'll probably be up nine thirty. Got two more of these videos to go over, and then I'm gonna go over another video. Okay. Um, that 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 to changes the perspective. It kind of points out why this kid is like he is, but that that last video is why he's like he is. But it's gonna mm-hmm. show. I'm gonna show these other two. One is gonna be when I first seen him on the lead attorney show, and the other one is gonna be um the one you wanted to pick out with the. The, the light skin dude did. Oh, and the dude with the hat. Yeah, so we can go over that. <laughs> and uh, we might not do that last video because I don't want that to be super long. This is eight hours. You know, we put in the ship today. Yeah, but I had time today. I had time because today we were supposed to. Since we were supposed to go over doing the um, you know, the the nationalization act and all that shit. Um, mm-hmm. We can get together. I want to put a. I want it to be super. I want it to be right the first time and not just researching. Put the slides together. We'll just work on that. Make sure that shit's solid, so it can it can we can you can put it on your channel, we can put it on my channel, and or, or whatever, and that can be out and done, and we'll have to have a worry about that part again, because it it helps this FBA versus ignorant uh, immigrant argument or or whatever, and it helps Moors understand the classification and nationality part part and portion, um, a little bit further, because you know we be stuck on that free white person shit, and. We trying to like you said the other day you're trying to get that shit back and we can get off of that because that the, that white part is not really for us either yeah right. it, it's not for us just the same as you know the whole indian thing is not for us and the reason why it's not for us is because that's not what well, first and foremost you know indian is a copyright a trademark that they own right off of the back of the uh, you know, the East India Company, right? So the, the Indians are the same ones that were said to have been on the ships who threw off the tea during the Boston Tea Party, right? They mm-hmm. said they were dressed up like some Indians, right? When King George said, I, I'll get, give me my bread, you know, run me my taxes, give me my tariffs mm-hmm. that you owe me on the tea tax. And they didn't want to give them the taxes. Instead, they 
acted as if they threw up. Now, just think about it, right? When you have uh, really, because that's what they really were peasant farmers. Yes. So when you have a class of peasant farmers, where do they get enough money <laughs> to go to war with Britain? <laughs> Says, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We don't got we don't got no Patreon over here. <laughs> we don't got no Patreon over here. We're gonna save all that. Another time. <laughs> it's been a lot. Cut no Patreon. We try sales funnel you into anything, but we wanted to be thorough. We wanted to be thorough. We want to walk. We gonna let's construct a whole damn near curriculum on this whole aspect so people can get it. It'd be dope to have brother say on it because I watched him talk about it a few times. And um, yeah, let's just put it. Let's put something together and uh, and present it. Mm -hmm. We can do a live or whatever, so it can be thorough. We can go from the root to the two improve it because you know to kill all the potential of the noise yeah. 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 slaughter it man this is all i understand we just be working she just just be teaching in the temple dealing with our own circle we won't be out here but it's like now that I, how i'm looking people need to learn how to research people need to know what shit really look like because you got all this half ass oh i got receipts i got receipts like nigga, get that shit out of here you niggas don't know how to read you don't know what to look for you got receipts you i got the cash it. register That's facts good. Facts, nigga. We setting banks up around where you talking about a receipt, nigga. Yeah. You doing real, uh, real accounting of this bitch. Yeah. So, real, um, real, real accounting, not, not this. Facts. I appreciate it, Gail. I, listen, you are a superstar. You the MVP. You ain't had to come up here and speak with your words were seen and felt. Um, I never seen nobody get somebody's uh YouTube that fast. I'm that was amazing. Um, Big Mike, bro. What up? I appreciate you coming through. You rock with us today, man. Yeah, man. I told you I was in. I was in it for the in it for the long haul today, yeah, man. man. Yeah, we didn't definitely went to war, and um, uh, I, I appreciate your wisdom, bro. You've been you, you can look from each video and you speaking today, in your live, you get the same quality and wisdom to and through, and that, and I noticed that from the first time I seen you talk on uh, Mr. Palmer show. I'm like, yo, y'all need to listen to the big mic, bro. Like y'all not y'all not y'all he's kicking out like bro you on it you got it well, and, appreciate uh, you, man. you know it's appreciate been reciprocated that. between both of us and um the, the entire time and i, I just I, I thank a lot for you i definitely do bro yeah, you, uh, you too bro i appreciate it man appreciate yeah. um mrs amber alert um thank you for allowing us to have him um brother bernard that came up yeah man shout out to bernard always important always adding to conversation high value um got the best background i've ever speaking of backgrounds he got the best background <laughs> I've ever seen you got to see oh you did see it with the video he got the best background his deck that tone that color his logo in the back with the screen i'm like this brother got it yeah yeah he, 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 he Yo, it's fire bro it's fire it's yeah fire. so i can't wait till he get rolling they fooling with his internet or whatever but I, we definitely gonna be up there and support and um this is the beginning of the village and uh, in the more sphere you know what I mean? We More just, sure. <laughs> this is what we're doing, man. We're putting it together and um, yeah, man. Do I like what y'all got going, man. I like I love mm -hmm. I love the knowledge. I love the courses. I mean, I this this is something I can really use, man. This is real food. So oh man, it's so much yeah. talent in our in our circle and in our like our immediate uh, kind of out circle. It's a lot of talent, it's a lot of stuff, and then we just gonna make the call and bring people here and um you know bring the nation through through this channel one way to upload both and um grow it and um people like yourself um apart <laughs> salute more yeah um like i said this channel is for me to train for the my my son so i can give him something and practice what we preach in real time i'm gonna pass this channel on to him he got a hey, son miguel noble he got his headphones on oh you got you got you got six subscribers today <laughs> You got six new subscribers. Cool. You cool. cool. Yeah, you got six new subscribers. <laughs> All right. So um nephew. So what's up? Got his headphones back on. So you know how we do, man. Um, it ain't but two classes on this planet, never been three. You have a world class or you outclass. And the question is not which class do you want to live in? The question is which class do the ones coming behind you deserve for you to die in? On your feet or on your knees, respect the craft noble 
Salute.